Welcome to part number 45 of Gran Turismo 5 Beastback. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're going to begin the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Now, a lot has happened since I recorded the last segment. I beat Need for Speed Underground 2, and I did a lot of level grinding and money grinding because I went and bought all the rest of the cars that I'm going to be using in this LP for the Beastback part. And by getting level 35, we get a free Red Bull X2010, which is cool, but... It wasn't really necessary. We have a 2011 because of DLC. But regardless, um, yeah, 24 hours of Le Mans time. We're going to use this bad boy, the Nissan R92 CP race car from 1992. Let's go ahead and get in it. And yeah, the reason why I'm doing Le Mans right now is because I want to build up the level for all of my drivers as much as possible. And Le Mans will be the best race, so that way I can unlock the Nurburg 24. And that way I can have some of the highest rated drivers for the rest of these events. So, we're not anywhere near done the game, or near completion with B-Spec yet. We still have all these events to go. And then the Endurances. But, you know what? If we can develop our drivers to become better by doing this race, so be it. So here it is, 24 Hours Le Mans. And we're going to have Alonzo, Kobayashi, and Weber drive at Le Mans. Because all three of these drivers have driven at the 24. The other ones? I don't think so. I don't think Rossi's driven at the 24 in real life. So this is our competition. Man, it's been a while since I've done this for GT5. <laughs> Luckily, there's no other R92 in the field, so... Oh, really? It's your second favorite Le Mans prototype card? Nice. So there is rain in the forecast. So that means... Wet weather tires, woo! And I went and bought all compounds before. Am I going to use the Bentley for the 24 hours nerve ring? You guessed it right. So, wet weather tires are on. 100% rain on the track. And here we go. It's time for Lamar. In the rain, here we go. Green flag is out. 24 hours of Lamar is underway. Wow, the Pescarolo is really slow at the start. So this is a 24 hour. Whoa, there's a Viper in front. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. See, for me, rain doesn't really matter because it's a timed race, so regardless, it's going to take 24 hours to win. So it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Of course, everyone else is on rain tires. The idea is for Alonzo to be a little bit comfortable here at the start, and then start to make moves down the straight. See, Alonzo was going really wide. Look at the guys going wide behind us. Holy crap. Now we can hit the overtake button and get Alonzo to get around Van Villet quickly. There we go. Good job, Fernando. Up to P4, you know what? Not bad, considering that a McLaren F1 is leading the field. We have a McLaren F1, or actually it's the Bentley. Never mind. The Bentley's starting to pull away, but you know what? That's fine. Remember, he can start to calm down when he gets a huge lead. And when he gets a huge lead and starts to calm down, then, you know, Alonso will be able to close the gap, or whoever else. You know, it's raining hard here. And you know what the worst part is? Rain in the night. Imagine if it stays this way throughout the entire race, which it could. It could be raining the entire time. So let's just pace him down a little bit. No need for him to be really hot this early on. Remember, we have a whole 24 hours here. I think that's a good pace for him to maintain. Where's Wit? See, Wit is already calm.
boy. <laughs> I didn't think that we'd be doing a race in the rain, but this is cool. I actually like this. Kind of brings a little bit of variety, you know? Maybe if we had Kobayashi start the race, maybe he could have made moves early on, but you know what? This is good. Hey, CK, what's up, dude? Hey, man, I, I appreciate the like nonetheless, bro. At least you dropped by to say hi. Anyways, back to our regularly scheduled broadcast of the 24 Hours of Le Mans. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that would be cool, but dude, that would be so brutal. Imagine, that would just be brutal. Someone crashed? Who? I wasn't even paying attention. To be honest, I'm really focused on Alonzo's progress right now. That I didn't even notice that somebody hit the wall or something. See, I told you Alonzo would catch up to Wit into the Porsche curves. Or well, not necessarily into the Porsche curves, but he's in the Porsche curves. You know what I mean. <laughs> oh man, it's been it's been a while since I did commentary that like I forgot how you do this. <laughs> Let me start over again. Hi, my name is the movie Chicane. And uh yeah. Damn, passing the grass, Fernando? Okay. The ultimate strats. Anyways, at least Fernando can say, oh, Petit in the freaking Pescarolo. Oh boy. That C60 hybrid is going to be a real tough car to battle with throughout the entirety of this endurance. Gus, if we fall out in the last three minutes, I will hunt you down. <laughs> Imagine. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, somebody crashed. I'm, I'm wondering who crashed. Now that Barney mentioned it, I'm just like, who, who the hell hit the wall or who went off or whatever? I mean, the rain does make it a little bit slower paced. So we can't see these guys going fast, but at the same time, I actually like this. There's one driver named Bentley, but he's not in a Bentley. I know, he's in a McLaren. They should have named him McLaren instead. Come on now. Come on, Polyphony. Okay, how are Wit and Petit feeling? Eh, they're like on the same level as Alonzo in terms of driver emotions. Hey, Greenleaf City, how's it going, dude? Wait, I thought... I thought you said the R92 was your second favorite. I'm doing great, thanks for asking, dude. Now, I've never done an endurance in the rain in this game. I wonder what the wet tires are like in terms of degradation. Looks like the Bentley's doing a little bit better on fuel than the rest of us are. So that could be a determining factor in this race. Everything is really slow paced. <laughs> Jesus. Alright. So, right now should be a good time to look through the rest of the field while Alonzo's. Actually, he's starting to calm, or calm down a little bit. Gotta keep him in the middle. Gotta keep his emotions in check. And yeah, look at the Pescarello starting to pull away from the Bentley. Anyways, run down through the field fourth place. Alright, these guys for the top five.
Oh, nice, Barney. Um, my favorite group C? I don't know, man. It could be the R92, to be honest. Well, of course, Gus. That's what rain does. But what I like about the rain is that, in particular, the uncertainty. It just mixes everything up. And, you know, the game gave us rain, so therefore you ran in the rain. I didn't want to change the weather. I wanted it to be like this, you know? These are just the cards that we have to deal with, you know what I mean? But it makes it interesting with strategy, you know? Like, at least... The Pescarello had a bad start, which is what we wanted. Not that I knew he was racing, I didn't pay attention to that. But... In terms of what I wanted the start to be like, I wanted some people to have a bad start. I wanted some of the Vipers and, like, other cars to... Oh, there's two Vipers? Oh, it's the 51 and the 91. Um, I wanted these guys to have a bad start. I wanted Alonzo to just kind of, like, pick them off one by one, take the lead on the first lap. By the end, it worked out just fine. At least Fernando's smart enough to not just snap the throttle and, like... In this, uh weird, you know, scenario with the rain. A lot of people's favorite prototypes is the 787B. Yeah, a lot of people really like that car, but, you know, at, at the time, you know, before this year, it was the only Japanese car to win the Le Mans 24. And it's just the rotary, you know, the, the rotary engine is really cool, and just the overall look of the car, you know, I can understand why. And also Gran Turismo, that helps a lot. Same way that the GT1 is one of my favorite cars. Okay, wrong car. It was fourth place. Same reason why the GT1 is one of my favorites of all time, because of Gran Turismo 2. So what's the gap like now? Ooh, these guys are start look, these guys are starting to chill. See, I'm a mind reader. That's how I knew, Gus. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, no, it's just I, I can I can speak for myself on that, but I can imagine that other people feel the same way about these kind of LMP cars because of Gran Turismo. Honestly, it would be a dream come true if some of the IMSA GTP cars from the '90s came into this game. And while they're different from Group C because they have a shit ton of downforce, like they're still wicked cars to drive. Like that one uh, Nissan. Um, IMSA GTP car and iRacing. I want to get it so bad because it's like so much fun to watch Jimmer just race that in um, in the Camel GT series. See, this is the kind of pace that I want from Fernando. He's doing really good right now. Actually, extending his gap. Surprisingly, what's the gap like right now? Six seconds, not bad, not bad, okay. All right, Nando. Damn, we just went deep there. <laughs> Shit. Ah, uh, you and me both, Gus, you and me both. So, uh, yeah. How's everyone's day going so far? Damn, I keep clicking things and I keep clicking the wrong stuff. I keep opening up my Opera browser. Instead of, okay, move there, move that there. I'm trying to look at the browser and look at the stream, but at the same time, look at the comments. Oh, you're both having good days? Awesome. I, I woke up, so my day just started. But I guess it's been good so far. <laughs> Although I've only been up for about an hour or so. Alright, let's take a look at the guys in the back. The two Vipers. Eh. How is the Audi R10? Okay. 
Kevin Hart over here is starting to catch up to Simon. That poor Mercedes CLK. All by himself. Damn, these guys are way off the pace. Ooh, there's an R390 in the field. Everyone is just cruising right now. Except for Alonzo. He's actually putting in fast laps. Your day is just finishing. Oh, yeah, because you're in Europe. Good luck. Ah, oh, thanks, Art55. Appreciate it. Although, look, it looks like luck is on our side right now. Because Fernando right now is uh, pulling out a pretty big gap over Petit. Yeah, Petit's barely exiting the Porsche curves. You remember that Mark Webber flipped? Well, Mark Webber's... Maybe he's going to take the wheel for the next run. I don't know. He, he might, or it might be Kobayashi. Whichever one Polyphony gives us. But yeah, I don't think uh, Weber's going to flip here. I think we'll be okay. It's crazy to think that, you know, Mark Weber, he flipped, what, twice in his career? Like, in two different eras? Like, he flipped in the late 90s, and then he flipped in the early 2010s in a freaking Formula 1 car at Valencia. Both, their, both different circumstances, you know, one was faulty design with the aerodynamics of that Mercedes, and then the other, it was just him crashing into a Caterham, or Lotus F1, or whatever the team was called at the time, I don't remember. Yeah, Fernando's doing really good right now. Holy shit. Where's Petit? F3, wait, he flipped an F3000 as well? Where and when? You see, I, I didn't, obviously as a kid, I didn't follow F3000 because we didn't really have it broadcasted here in the States. And on top of that, F3000 just kind of ended early. Like, what, 2005, 2006, and then somewhere around there, it became GP2, right? If I remember correctly, I don't know. But, point is, I only followed, like, the season summaries of, like, 98, I believe, when Montoya won the championship, and then 2001 when Justin Wilson won that championship. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on a second. What? GP3 is ending. Wait, did you guys know that GP3 was ending? I didn't know the GP3 was coming to an end. I guess it was kind of ine inevitable, considering the fact that GP2 became Formula 2. I just saw F1 upload that on their YouTube channel. I actually didn't know that. So it says here, after nine incredible seasons, we bid farewell to the GP3 series as it makes way for the FIA Formula 3 Championship in 2019. Got it. Okay, I actually didn't know that. Well, that sucks, but at the same time... Oh, shit. <laughs> Alonzo's starting to calm down. Hey, LT. How's it going, man? And yes, not all 24 hours today, but... I'm actually going to do the 24 hours in Le Mans. We got to do it. It's part of the LP, my man. It is part of the project. And when I look at one of the Toyota LMPs, I remember all the fails of Toyota had to Le Mans. Oh, yes. Of course. I mean, you feel so bad for them, but at the same time, it's like they, they already won. They won now, this year. And before people give me the argument of like, Oh, well, they didn't have any competition. They were the only manufacturers. Like, cost or works teams. Well, that's how Le Mans is. Look at all the times that Audi dominated. You know what I mean? So, like, hey. So, the battle for fourth. Oh, wait, the BMW got... 
Wait, was he always in fourth? Oh, yes, he was. Yes, he was. I actually forgot about this car being there. It used to be a yearly tradition? Nice! See, for the A-spec version of these races, I want to do a, like, three-man team. Like, I know Marvin the Gamer's interested. I know Ambush King is interested. I know 18 Diego DD is interested. But, it's like, okay, I gotta find the time, the date, that we're all, you know, available. And, first of all, I have to even start the A-spec project first, you know? We can't do any of that until we start the A-Spec project. Oh yes, or I remember when Jackie Chan Racing almost won the race. That was insane, dude. I think that was my favorite Lamar race, to be honest. Out of like the modern ones, I think that one was my favorite because because of how much crazy shit just happened. Oh, and Kobayashi's pole lap, which was incredible. So, Alonzo with a big lead still. Nothing new to report. Holy shit, look at Wit and Petit. Dude, these guys are slowing down so much. Like, they're just cool as cucumbers. Oh, yes, and Aston Martin versus Corvette on the final lap. Dude, that was amazing. I forgot about that fight, to be honest. I just remember the freaking Porsche just reeling in laps. Just, not laps, but they unlapped themselves from the overall, you know, overall standings and managed to win the race over Jackie Chan Racing. Which, imagine if Jackie Chan had won the race overall. That would have been insane. Still, it, it didn't matter. The race was fantastic. Regardless of who won overall. I still remember Petit Le Mans in 2015 when um, the freaking Porsche 911 won it overall in the rain. That was madness. But also, what helped too was that the Michelin tires were better in the wets, while the Continentals that the prototypes were running were honestly they're they're shitty tires in my opinion. That's why I'm happy that Michelin's going to be doing all the tires for IMSA next year in 2019 because now that the leash has been you know taken off of the DPIs, now they're going to be just fast as fuck. Oh really? The 908? I think Rhino GT4 used the 908 in his A-spec run. But yeah, that's an option. That's an option for, um, for my A-spec version of, of this run. I could either use that or the Minolta. I don't know yet. Obviously, the, the A-spec run for this game is going to be way later. Once I get my wheel fixed, or if I buy a new wheel for the PS3, which could be a G29, or it could be a DFGT, one of those two. And when I actually figure all that stuff out. But yeah, that's why A-spec won't come immediately after B-spec. Alright, let's take a look at the rest of the field. So I'm really curious. I want to see how Petit takes Indianapolis. Let's ride on board with him. Let's see. Uh, let's put the telemetry back on. Okay, so he's running Indianapolis like around 90 miles an hour. When Alonzo comes back to Indy, I want to see how he runs that corner, because... I want to see how much the speed difference is in terms of the driver emotions, because Alonzo's running, you know, hot right now. While he's running cool. And of course, he has more strength, but that's because... I'm pretty sure that the other AIs have a higher level than Fernando does, but... We're able to manage these guys much better than the other cars are. Okay, maybe increasing his pace was not a good idea. I just thought about that right now.
And it did it minces. Okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You're absolutely right about that. You gotta know the car. See, my dumbass didn't even do any practice with the R92. For all I knew, this car can either last 20 laps on fuel or 5. You know, so I was just like, whatever. Whatever it does is whatever it does. But given the fact that we're managing Alonzo's pace much better than the other cars, you know, the other AI cars are doing in the rain, that's going to help us out whether or not the um, C60 is way better on tires and fuel than the R92 is, which I'm pretty sure it is. Look at that. See the difference there? But it's pace. We're going to run a much faster pace than Petit is. And whoever else drives the Pescarolo in this race. guys no not at all the viper is just starting to fall off the pace big time surprisingly so three car battle for eighth place okay we're near indianapolis so we can you know check out the speed difference soon you know it also doesn't help the fact that the pescarolo has more downforce we could go faster on the straightaways with our lower downforce r92 without a tow that's going to help us out as well. So, we're about to approach Indianapolis now. Let's see what the speed difference is. So, with Petit being all the way to the left on the, on the blue bar, and us being pretty much all the way to the right, on the red bar, let's see how fast they take the corners. So 95 was he previously did. Look at that, 115, that's a 20 mile an hour difference. That might not seem like a lot, but that's going to be a huge difference in determining who wins this race. As we learned the hard way back in GT4, we had an RNA2, we were within a millisecond of second place car, all because we went with the best car, plus we were really disorganized. So, I'm guessing that you were within a millisecond, and that meant that you guys ran out of fuel? Like, you guys' pit strategy was all fucked up, or what? Like, the R92 is a really good car for, like, the Fuji 1000. I don't know about Le Mans. I think the R the 787B might be one of the best Group C cars for Le Mans. My favorite hatchback. Um, good question. Um, Ford Focus RS is one of them from 2002. Um, Ford Fiesta ST is another one, just because my good friend drives a Ford Fiesta ST, and road tripping in that car is so much fun. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, Renault Clio, uh, you know, Renault Clio Clio Sport or Renault Sport, I mean, Clio Sport. The Renault Clio Renault Sport from 2000 is one of them. Toyota Starlet, um, VW Golf is another. There's so many, dude. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Like, Audi A3 is another one that I really like. Hmm. Other favorite hatchbacks. I'm trying to think here. I don't know. I don't know what another good hatchback could be. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yes, Gus, the, um... The Indy 500 strategy that I screwed up so badly <laughs> during that one stream. Yeah, I, I know. It doesn't look like it's gonna get dry anytime soon, though. Dude, look at the weather. It's 100% rain right now. The track is 100% wet, and it just keeps on raining. I highly doubt we're gonna be able to, you know, get any wet, uh, dry running. Maybe towards the end, who knows? Oh, really? Oh, that's cool. It's already been thir uh, 29 minutes. It doesn't even feel like it, to be honest. Oh, this kind of felt quick. Hey, we can do all 24 hours in one stream. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, do I get the... No, I don't. Honestly, I'm sorry. He's an A3-2. I... I didn't even notice the dash 2, to be honest. I just kind of glimpsed at the comment. No, I, I don't get the joke. I'm sorry. Please excuse my pea brain for not understanding such complex and log uh, logical jokes. Alright guys, I'm gonna grab... Oh! An eighth... Oh, okay. Okay, I get it now. Alright guys, I'm gonna grab some water, I'll be right back. Enjoy the sight and sounds of the Nissan R92CP and its fake GT5 vacuum noises. I'll be back in like a minute. Jesus Christ, I barely leave for not even, more than a, not even a minute. Maybe it was a minute, but damn, I barely leave and Alonzo's already starting to calm down. Come on, Fernando, we can win this. Wait, I like your sense of humor. <laughs> but this is not embarrassing. Yeah, that's what I was mentioning too, about the R92 CP being really bad on fuel. It's just like, in GT4, because of the fact that, you know. I, I would never try that car in Le Mans for the 24, only the um, Fuji 1000. It's such a, a really good car for Fuji, just not Le Mans. See, the thing about these tracks is, is that... They're too long. For cars with shit fuel mileage, they're way too long. Okay, we really need to get Alonso's pace back up. What's the gap? Okay, we don't have a gap just yet. I think Petit needs to cross one of the, um... Sector markers or something. So we can get an accurate gap.
a minute 19 holy shit <laughs> dude he he was pushing really hard early on Look at that poor Viper in the back. The number 51. Pobrecito. And then Kevin Hart over here in the 91. Pobrecito. See, that's the one thing that Gran Turismo really needs, especially in sport, in GT Sport. We need multi-class racing. But, like, legit multi-class stuff. See, in, in this lead that I run in sometimes... Well, not sometimes. I only ran two races in it, called TRS... Which is like a Le Mans, like a like a WC style league. You have to do every like BOP and all that stuff manually because there is no multi class feature in the game. So it'd be nice to have a multi uh, multi class feature in Gran Turismo Sport. Somehow the ninety one. Is faster than the 51. Yeah, Kevin Hart looks like he has more ment uh, more physical strength. Actually, they're both about the same. No, it looks like Hart has less uh, physical strength. What kind of gas does a Red Bull prototype use? Hmm. I don't know. Doesn't it just run on wings? Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm not funny. Oh really? <laughs> oh shit. So that's why the that's why you guys wanted the R92. We've never used it since. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, well, for good reason. I mean, you guys nearly lost a freaking 24-hour race with an R92. But you know what, dude? The fact that you went and had a yearly tradition with your friends to do a 24-hour race, dude, that is seriously badass. I wish I had friends back then who were, like, committed to something like this because... I did the whole 24 hours of Nurburgring in GT4 when I was in high school, like, in all in one sitting. And, like, the thing is, like, I'd get up and stretch and just kind of, like, stretch out, you know, and, and do stuff like that when I was in the pits. But other than that, you know, it was pretty much just me by myself. And I was, like, never again, like, falling asleep around, like, the 21st to 22nd hour. Hey, Antonio! Is falling asleep. I'm just like, uh, a few more hours to go. And I was using the Mazda RX-8 Concept LM race car. And the only competition was like the 190E uh, DTM car, and it wasn't even close to dethroning us. Alright, so, at this point, we don't need Alonso to push that much. I just want Alonso to maintain a decent pace since he's losing his strength, and he's losing tires, losing fuel, losing everything, and... Yeah, we just want him to just chill and just bring home some clean laps. 
even at this rate, he's still running a much faster pace than Petit ever is. My RX-8 race car? Um, Suzuka 1000 KM. Either that or the Super GT series. One of those two. I know it's not a Super GT car, but honestly, who cares? <laughs> I found it in the UCD. I was just like, eh, might as well use it. Why not? Let's take a look at the rest of the guys once again. Witt is still calm. Schmitz is calm. Bentley's calm. Collins is calm. V is in the middle. Simon is starting to get hot. Leo is calm. Quinn, Hart, and Villette all are really calm. Everyone except for like two drivers are like on the blue, so that helps us out as well. So I want to predict lap 11 or lap 12 is when we're going to have to pit. And at this rate, we're not um, we're not going to see any kind of uh, change in the weather. Look at the big gap between us and the rest of the field in terms of our best laps. I don't think we're close to lapping the Vipers, but at the same time, like we're just doing some really ridiculous laps right now. Damn, you guys went all out with the information. Like, did you get all that from like GT Planet or GT Vault or those kind of websites? Because that would be kind of helpful. Do you remember where you got that information from? Damn. So when he has no strength at all, then he starts to just make kind of like little mistakes here and there. He's starting to really snap that throttle. Petit's starting to lose his strength too. So really, the level of our drivers weren't that far off. It's still manageable to win this race with a level 20 something driver or barely a level 30 guy like i mentioned in the intro of the video i just really wanted to go and get all six of my drivers a higher skill level so that way the rest of the races not nurburgring but like the other races like the other races in um this entire rest of the playthrough are just a little bit easier because I know uh, Formula GT is going to be insanely hard, especially at Monaco, considering it's Monaco and it's freaking beast bet cars. Okay, so you guys went, did the Toyota RSC Capri Rally grind, bought every single, bought every single prototype, and yet, okay, so you, what? You guys really did all that? 
Okay, that's pretty, dude. That's amazing. Gotta be honest with you. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. If that's not dedication, I don't know what is. How many laps am I gonna do? Gee, I don't know. It's a timed race, dude. Hey, Apollo, I'm good. How are you? Okay, is that one of the Vipers that's ahead? It is! Okay, one of the Vipers is barely entering the Porsche curves. Relaxing on your sofa? That's what's up. So I'm thinking lap 11 or lap 12, like I mentioned earlier, for the first pit stop. I don't know which lap we can do. We're probably going to do 12. Hell, we could even go to lap 13, maybe. But that might be stretching it out a little bit too much. Oh, and Alonzo's starting to get squirrely. Let's just calm him down. He doesn't need to run a super fast pace anymore. Petit is still slow. Yeah, okay, he's gonna pit lap 11. Alright. See, the game knows all. So we're gonna have to pit on this lap. Okay, that's fine. I guess if we're going to pit this lap, we might as well just push a little bit. Have a good end lap, I suppose. Yep, that's one of the Vipers. That's Villette. Or, how do you pronounce it? Wait, that's V-L-I-E-T. Oh. That was V-I-L-E-T. Okay, never mind. Or maybe the V silent, so it's Liet. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Just one of those randomly generated names that Polyphony gave us for AI competitors. Look at Alonzo, the big bad bully coming in the R92. Got to go around a freaking Viper. I mean, if it was Gran Turismo 2, that Viper would be like super OP and we'll be able to fight against the prototype cars, but... After GT4, they really can't anymore. They actually made them a little bit more realistic. See, what ma what amazes me the most about that dude is the fact that you guys really went... And how many prototypes are in there in the game? Like, there's like, what, 16? 15? Dude, that takes a lot of time. That takes a long time, especially, like, if you have to... Even in B-Spec, even if you B-Spec everything, that's still a lot of, like, effort and time to actually go and write down all that data and then compare everything. That That's not something you can do in, like, an hour. You, that'll take a long time. Because not like Gran Turismo 4 actually gives you, like, a percentage for the field number. It gives you, like, eight, eight blue bars or something. Which makes it a little bit more work, you know? So you really have to play the lap game. You can't say, oh, we lose 8% of fuel per lap or something, you know? 
Oh, it's a Dutch name? Okay. Gus says it's a French name. You say it's a Dutch name. Can we get around Kevin Hart before we pit? The answer is most likely. So Nando's giving us a really good end lap. Which is all I can ask for. Hey Arthur, what's up dude? Welcome to the wet weather stream. It's actually not raining where I'm at. It was raining hard yesterday. Like, the rain and the, the wind were so hard, like, I could hear just shit outside, like, getting moved left and right. I felt like an earthquake, like, it seemed like an earthquake for some reason. Like, all you heard was just, like, just fumbling and stuff, you know? Like, everywhere. <laughs> it's like, oh shit, the trash can got knocked down. Oh shit, this happened. Oh shit, the tarp that we had up for the Thanksgiving dinner, it got knocked down. This race is moist. You're having a free sample of hell? Oh jeez. Okay. So, who's gonna take the wheel? Kobayashi? Alright. Kobayashi's gonna take the wheel. That's cool. Damn, Alonzo's a busy man. You know, he just finished the Formula 1 season. Just finished the F1 season. Just did all of that. And here he is. See, the nice thing is we can actually we can actually manage their pace. While they're in the pits, so we can actually like, like get him to have a, a, a heated mentality before that. Hey Arthur, I just sent you something cool on Discord. Check it out. So Kobayashi is no longer cold. So here we go. Come on, Kobayashi. What can you do for us? Oh yeah, I forget. Not even summer. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys are south of the equator. That's right. So that way, it's the the weather or not weather. The seasons are the opposite for you guys. So right now it'd be summer for you guys. Right? It's winter for us because we're on the northern part of the equator. I keep forgetting that. You know, like. We don't want him to get a little too hot. There we go. That's the kind of pace that we want Kobayashi to have. End of spring.
Of course, LT, of course, dude. And like I said, man, you guys deserve all the props in the world for all of that. It, it's fucking awesome. And that's really, really cool, dude. Like, it'd be cool if you could play these games online again, and you could do the career together, like, for endurances, because that would be pretty cool. I can imagine, you know, nowadays, you know, with the internet and just with how online gaming is, just people would probably team up for these kind of races in GT5 and GT6 and whatnot. That would have been pretty cool. Damn. What happened to your PC, dude? Yeah, it's uh, well. Is it autumn for you guys still? I thought it, I thought by now it'd be considered winter. When does winter officially start? Let's see. All right, Google. Actually, since I'm an iPhone user, hey Siri, when does winter start? Winter begins December twenty first, two thousand eighteen. Okay, thank you. It just stopped. <laughs> oh, you're, you're talking about your computer. Okay, I think you meant like me, like, like stop. Wait, you spelled, oh, you spelled autumn wrong. Oh, dude, I didn't even notice. And even then, I don't even give a damn. It's, it's the internet, dude, like, who cares? I, I spell stuff wrong all the time, unless it's like a business email, then I can understand that, or a school project, but in a, you know, in a YouTube chat for a live stream? Nah, who cares? Alright, so since we made our first stop, oh, wait a minute, did, um, did the Pescarello stop already? Oh, they did, okay. Well, the driver font is really calm. Okay, I think it's really clear that we're gonna win this race, and we're gonna win this race by a massive margin. Unless something extreme happens. That's the only way we're going to actually lose this damn race. Let's give Wit some love while he goes into the pits. Come on, Wit. You can do it. Don't be shy. There you go. Good job, Wit. Damn, dude. He's going 20 miles an hour into the pit lane. He's really, really, really stressed out and just calm overall. Oh, it started as a joke? You're doing a comeback story to Bentley? Not even. He's too scared. He's like, oh no, it's the rain. It's too wet outside. Kobayashi's like, fuck it. But damn, we do lose a lot of fuel in this car. Oh, 
Oh, the GT1's in as well. And the C60 non-hybrid is in. The BMW stayed out. I don't want to wet the uniform. Like, no, like, <laughs> like, shut up. Just go out and drive, brother. Go win. It's the 24 hours of Le Mans. Go for it. Come on. See, Kobayashi and Alonzo know what they're doing. Well, Alonzo's already won the race. Weber's never won. Neither is Kobayashi. In the virtual world, we can at least say they won, even though we have 23 hours to go. Let's see here. Oh my God, they changed the sport mode system again. While on good, it allows us to race more than one. One of the ones in a certain round, it divided the game in five. Okay, so North North America, Europe, Middle East. I think that's what EMEA stands for, like Europe and Middle East. Central and South America, Asia and Oceania. Actually, Arthur, I actually kind of like that. Well, okay. If that means that they limit the amount of people from every region, like if it's just 30 people still, then... Yeah, that would kind of suck, but if they can make it 50 people and give more players the opportunity to go, that would be actually pretty awesome. So while I won't complain about that just yet, I will say, however, that let's see what direction Polyphony takes it in. But at the same time, that means that we're not going to be able to race with, Braz <laughs> with Brazilians, and at least for someone in North America, no more Brazilians, no more... Chileans, no more Argentinos, no more Colombianos, so yeah. It's interesting, yeah. But, exactly. That's what I'm thinking too, like, if it all, you know, if they have 10 representatives still, or however many representatives for every final, then fuck it. That would be awesome. If it's still 30 or whatever for the World Finals, then... That would suck. Wait, no more Portuguese? Wait, what? Are you sure about that, Gus? Oh, and I missed LT's comment. Sorry about that, dude. Oh, you guys split? Yeah, that still takes a long time, though. You got it done in a week? So imagine if you guys didn't split up the project. Imagine if you guys had one person do all the data recording. That would have been a month. <laughs> that, so there's 16, okay. So there's about 16 prototypes. That Viper is just not letting our boy Kobayashi by. SMH. Wait, what? Okay, yeah, Font is gonna take second place away from the BMW. So it looks like the BMW is probably the best car on fuel and tires, but they were just slow overall. At least in this race. Maybe in the maybe in the rain. They're the best in, on fuel and stuff. Who knows? But yeah, I, I I would be stressed out too if that Viper was just weaving left and right like that. Alright, so who are we about to lap? Ooh, uh, uh, okay. 10th place? Yep. The R390. That was easy. <laughs> no problem at all for Kobayashi. Team orders there. Oksana, and this is James. That's what just happened right now. Oh, 
I just realized we hit the one hour mark. Even though I said, oh, 23 hours to go, right? We, we hit the one hour mark, like, last lap. Well, okay. 23 hours to go, guys. No, no problem, you know. No worries whatsoever. Let's see here. Alright, so let's take a look through the field once again, because we have nothing else to do. Because Kobayashi is just completely controlling the field. So that set of pit cycles really spread the field out quite a bit. Oh, really, Roman? Um, you know, my PC also has problems with updating Windows as well. Dude, that's the crappy part about Windows 10. Like, I don't know if it's just my computer, but dude, my computer is like, okay, my computer is not the worst. It's, it's not the worst computer on the planet. It's like the most powerful computer in the world for like 2012 specs, you know? It, it, it's kind of dated, but it's not the worst thing I can have right now, but the point is... Every time I try every time I try to update Windows, the fucking computer crashes like around 75%. So I get scared that my computer's gonna get bricked. My computer got bricked once. Because of a Windows update crash. And I had to lose everything. But this was before I started doing LPs, so it didn't really matter. But now I'm like shitting bricks about it. And I don't know how to circumvent that because it's really annoying. Alright, I missed a lot of comments by explaining that. Let's see here. Oh, Rano GC4 would be like, hooray, one hour complete. <laughs> yep. 23 hours to go. We had people saying we should be recognized for what we did, but our response was that at the end of the day, it's just for people playing the game. Absolutely. I mean, look, I wouldn't say GC Planet should recognize you guys, blah, blah, blah. You know, you guys should be in, like, every polyphony monument. You know, ab absolutely. At the end of the day, it's just you guys having fun. And that's what it's all about, at, at, you know, at the end of the day. There's four guys just having fun with the game, trying out a challenge, experimenting with it, trying out all these different cars and stuff, you know? Okay, the Vipers are gonna come in this lap. Or, okay, that Viper pitted. The 91 was in, the 51's coming in this lap. You know, I was kind of hoping that the second through twelfth battle would be a little bit more interesting, but holy shit, the pit strategies really made this race at least a snooze fest for these guys. Dude, look how slow Alfred is! Holy shit, he's going 50 miles an hour through the Porsche curves! I like how the McLaren F1 is just really dirty. But I don't think it's seen that much combat in this race. Guys, look at every single driver. Everyone is blue. Kobayashi's the only one that's actually, like, putting in some pace. We have a three-minute gap. Almost a three-minute gap to second place. By the end of this, um... By the end of this, uh, what's it called? Oh my god, why am I forgetting the word? Jesus Christ. Um, by the end of this stint, we could probably lap the entire field. It's possible at this point. 
stance. There we go. Yes. <laughs> Dude, I've only been awake for like... You know, I've only been awake for like two hours. And I haven't had breakfast. So you know what? I'll be right back. I'm going to get some quick breakfast right now. I'll be right back. Enjoy the sights and sounds of the R92 CP. That's probably a good idea right now. Oh, hold on. Before I do that, with the right tire changing sequence for any GT4 Endurance, Pest Gorilla, Cross Judd, best overall, all things considered, best Endurance Racer true. I wish the, CC, I wish the C60 Hybrid was in GT4, but it came out first in GT PSP, which was a shame. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to get something to eat real quick. All right, I am back with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Good old PB and J. So now we can continue this race. Hey, Shashank, what's up, dude? Yeah, Arthur's right, Gus. Dude, no, no need to be harsh, man. You say the autistic guy can't write, but the autistic guy here can't fucking commentate for shit, so... Hey. I'm pretty sure Gus is joking, but at the same time, if he's being harsh on himself on purpose, then, you know, no need to be, dude. Nobody is perfect. Like I said, you're all good, dude. These guys are still calm. That's pretty much just going to be the pace overall, isn't it? Mm. You know, peanut butter is the best. Honey roasted peanut butter. Peanut butter from those type of peanuts is the best. This is weird. I normally don't eat while I stream. Oh, come on, dude. Come come on, man. <laughs> Freaking holding us up team orders or what? Yeah, I think that was team orders, big time. Nobody's perfect, right? Nobody's perfect. I'm the one who put way too much time into about 5% of a PS2 game. 
No, seriously, nobody's perfect, man. We all make mistakes. And yeah, Gus, that's what Arthur's here for too, dude. And myself, you know. Like I said, no need to no no need to be harsh on yourself either. Peanut butter and banana smoothie? Yes! That is dude, hell yeah. Hell fucking yes. Dude, just peanut butter in general is really good. Last day of no no November? Ah, oh, dude, unfortunately I lost on November 2nd, so, you know, I, I don't have the willpower for any of that, sadly. What, I, I, I bet you've been counting down the days, huh, Greenleaf? <laughs> Marking down on your fucking calendar just the X's on the dates. You're like, oh boy, closer and closer to December. GT1. No, it's the V V12? No, no. It's the McLaren, I think. No, it's not the McLaren. It's whoever's sixth place. Pinto. Oh, it's the R10. Okay. <laughs> so you were counting down the days, weren't you, Greenleaf? I knew it. Oh, you're about to shave your little beard off? Oh yeah, I forgot No Shave November was a thing too, but this year it was No Nut November. Actually, I just got a jo I just got a new job, so I'm probably gonna have to shave whatever beard that started to grow. Cause like the thing about my facial hair is that I grow a lot of facial hair, but it doesn't grow like evenly. You know, it it just kind of sporadic. So therefore, you know, um, I I'll see if I can try to like maybe clean it up a little. But if I have to shave at all, then that would suck. You're gonna order a pizza because it's Friday. Oh, damn. Well, at least you know what, dude? The week is over for you. At least you can have another week to look forward to. And you know what? Pizza. That should put a smile on anyone's face. Hey, Shashank, I appreciate that, dude. Thank you very much. You know what, dude? One step at a time. Well, you know, I know we'll get there eventually. And even if I don't, dude, I don't care. This is all for fun. You know what? You guys are all, like, friends to me. That's all I can ask for. You know what I mean? We're, we're just all buddies hanging out watching me play and be stupid on some game. <laughs> you know? That's what it's all about at the end of the day. So, you know what I'm thinking about, guys? Thumbnails. How are thumbnails going to work for this video? Obviously, what I'm thinking here is this. Hey, Sky, welcome back, dude. Pineapple on pizza? It depends. It really depends. I mean, if it's pepperonis and pineapples, ugh, no. But if it's like ham and pineapples, like a Hawaiian style pizza, then sure. That works. You never tasted pineapple pizza? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not too crazy over it, but, um,. It is good. Like I said, it just really depends on... It depends on what exactly the pizza has on it with it, you know? Like, plain pineapple? No, I, I can't do that. You just arrived home and you're tired as hell? Well, at least you can kick back and relax and watch the stream, right? Or make some music, one of those two. Or both. 
Who knows? <laughs> well, not music, but um, mashups. One of those two. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yes, I remember now. Um, thumbnail. So, obviously, the first thumbnail for the first part of this video, or this whole race, is going to be um, the start. But then everything else after... What the hell am I going to do? Probably one in the pits, maybe one... At, maybe for the final video, maybe the checkered flag. There's a lot of things we can do for thumbnails. So that, that's going to be really interesting. Anyways, let's read the comments again. Really? You prefer just cheese pizza? Well, cheese pizza's good. You know what I really like? V uh, veggie pizzas, to be honest. Like mushroom and peppers and stuff? Bomb. Here in Brazil, we have banana and cinnamon sugar pizza. Oh, really? Is that like a dessert? See, banana and cinnamon sugar sounds like a really good combination. Really? Why would it be considered spam? Cheese, other ingredients that don't remember, and pineapple just that. Oh, okay. You know what? There's, there's this one place I used to go to as a kid. Where it was a Thai restaurant, and they made Thai pizzas. So they had, like, um... They had some pizzas like like Tom Cook High, you know, like like that that um, coconut soup or whatever. They had pizzas like those, and dude, they were so good. Matter of fact, I might even consider ordering from there tonight. <laughs> just just for the hell of it. Now I'm thinking about it. A lot of dessert pizzas, in fact. Yeah, I never really had a dessert pizza before. I mean, all we really have, dude. Like, you know what? Abstract, dude. You, you're the homie, dude. You, you can talk about your channel if you'd like. You're not just one of those random people trying to get attention and be like, hey, hey guys, check out my stuff, you know what I mean? It's like, dude, you're a regular. If you want to talk about whatever mashup you're doing right now, go for it. You're more than welcome to. It goes for the regulars on this channel. Obviously, don't spam your own promotion and be like, hey guys, come, come to my stream. That's what my Discord is for. For my promote yourself here, but... You know what I mean. You're more than welcome to talk about your channel. That's fine. But anyways, um... We don't have a lot of dessert pizzas here. All we have is, like, the big chains, like Pizza Hut or, like, Domino's or Papa John's. And they, they sometimes have, like, a dessert pizza where it's just, like, a big-ass chocolate chip cookie. That's sliced into eight slices, like, pizza, which is dumb. And that's, like, all we have, really. Maybe I have to go to, like... Maybe, like, Mom and Pop bakeries or something, you know? White cheese and guava paste? Chocolate? Dude, that sounds bomb. <laughs> oh, it's five euros each? That's not bad. For Oh, for a chocolate pizza? That, that's not bad at all. Damn. You know, I was experimenting with uh, music the other day, too, on, on the YouTube channel. I was experimenting with doing, um, like, a Spotify music request thing, but it just didn't work out that well. I got a lot of copyright um, mutes and stuff and blocks, and I was fortunate enough not to get strikes either. But at the same time, I just didn't want to risk it, because I'm like, you know what? It's way easier to balance out me uh, volume levels in a video game rather than on OBS because at least like the Gran Turismo soundtrack, it's easy as hell to balance out the volume levels. You can still hear the music somewhat, which is the most important part for me, but not enough for YouTube's algorithm to, or copyright detective system to actually pick it up. You know, and it's just like, I just gave up on that idea. I was like, this isn't going to work out. This is way too much work. I need to put in a lot and like, a, I mean, a lot of experimenting on a stream like that for to for even even a chance to have a Spotify music request thing.
That's the way it should be, Arthur. That's exactly the way it should be. You know, I, I don't want to sound like a freaking hipster and be like, I only shop local, blah, 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 but it's like... At the same time, it's like, it's much better, you know what I mean? It's way better to shop, you know, mom and pop places. Because they always make the best stuff. It's true. So, like, burgers, for example. Like, like I I'd rather not go to McDonald's or Burger King. Hell, In-N-Out is not even something that I'd say, like, oh, I'm down to go to In-N-Out, you know, if I go out with friends or a girl or whatever. You know, take them to a, a local spot. You know, s you know, things like that. That's the best thing to do, in my opinion. And you support... You support smaller people, of course. And on top of that, it just tastes better overall. Revealed recordings have been deleting every single video's music lately, and man, it sucks. Yeah, see, that's the thing I don't understand. It's like, YouTube has this system where... Well, they have, um, like, the auto-detection for copyright materials. And I understand that they block the material... If you're monetizing it or whatever, but you're not making money off of it, which is what I don't, I don't get. And there's what I, what I don't understand is this: one of the songs that got blocked worldwide was "It Was a Good Day" by Ice Cube. And I understand if the Ice Cube, um, whatever those channels are, Ice Cube Topic or whatever those music channels are called, the ones that are randomly made by YouTube. I understand those channels having the songs there because it's. It's the actual song, right, uh, song holder making money off of it with ad revenue. But I still see some small ass channels, like those channels from back in the day, like in 2007, 2008, that upload Ice Cubes It Was a Good Day with Comic Sans, you know, writing out all the lyrics like five seconds late. And yet, they don't get taken down. Like, they don't get blocked. It doesn't make any sense. It's so, like, schizophrenic. It's so stupid. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't I don't understand it. I'm just like, I give up. <laughs> I'm like, I'm done. Oh yes, Article 13. An exaggerated way. Oh, okay. Yeah, I heard, I heard there's a lot of stuff like that going around in the EU as well. With the internet and stuff. I just hope that doesn't... I, I hope it goes well for you guys, honestly. Because all that sounds lame. Your pizza's on its way. Ah, oh, LT. I, dude, I appreciate that, man. You know, it's people like you, LT, that, that keep me going, dude. I'm glad I'm your favorite streamer. And that, that seriously, that means a lot, dude. I'm, I'm really flattered to hear that. Okay, who are we? <laughs> huh, gay? Okay, who are we gonna clap now? Oh, you thought it was clickbait at first? Oh. Yeah, th that's that's how it usually is. I mean... Like, without really going into too much detail, like, look at the whole net neutrality scare in the United States that we had. I mean, a lot of people were... A lot of people were really opposed to the idea, and while I have my own opinions on it, I... All I'm gonna say is just, like... A lot of people were opposed to whatever they were doing, like the FCC or whatever, and just... Nobody gave a shit about the people's opinions. That, that's all I'm going to say. What? No way, dude. Are you serious? Okay, Kobayashi is losing a lot of strength and he hit the wall. But, no damage. Well, there's no damage in GT5 mechanically, but... He's starting to lose a lot of patience. 
But really, dude? Even memes can get banned? What, is it just like... One big fucking censorship cesspool? Cesspit? That's what it just sounds like to me. I mean, but the memes are just jokes. Oh my god, dude, that's fucking... That's retarded. I'm sorry. But that's stupid. Slip Phantom. I never heard of Slip Phantom. All right, Kamui. Easy. See, it sucks because at least in the United States, we have the whole fair use. You have all the fair use laws, you know, which is good. Which is good for us. Where in that case, it's being used as like a parody or whatever, or it's not really taking away anything from the copyright holders. That's why, like, video reviews are a thing, you know? So this is a really interesting development. Holy shit, the Kamui, get out of the grass, please, for the love of God. I know you have a huge lead. Alonzo did all the work, but... Holy shit, dude, you're really starting to scare me. Okay, but yeah, we have a little bit of downtime. Let's go ahead and check... I want to go up to that channel real quick and see here. So... Slip Phantom. I think you might have told me about Slip Phantom when I was streaming Underground 2. Oh, it's this guy! Oh! Oh, shit! It's the guy who made the, the Dodge fucking Neon video. Oh, dude, this guy's funny! Kobayashi the Japanese cowboy. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, you guys got Brexit? <laughs> oh, boy. That's right. I forgot about Brexit. Yeah, I get it, I guess. Oh, my God, dude. Okay. What kind of pace is Font running at? He's running a slow pace still. Okay, I shouldn't be worried too much about this because, look, Font is barely starting lap 20. We're about to finish lap 20. So if there's one thing that my drivers are really suffering at, it's their level. They have a really weak level, but they should be able to level up and get a bunch of XP after this race. That's my idea here, is while I know they will struggle they will get a lot of valuable experience, which will help us for the remainder of the game. And then after I do this race, I'm gonna do the whole Le Mans race again, but with the other three drivers, so that way they get their levels up. And, on top of that, I'm using the Red Bull, so it'll be easier. But you know, it's just all part of the process here. Kobayashi would be like, dude, I haven't driven a car, I haven't driven a car year, how am I going to go fast? Only one car could be yours, this one. Yes. So right now, the BMW behind us in fourth place? He's starting to get a little bit hot. And on top of that, he has better tires, so he might pass Kobayashi. All right, I'll look into that a little bit more. Thanks, Gus. Obviously, um, Article 13 doesn't affect me in any way, shape, or form because I'm, I'm in the United States, but still, that's still a good thing to know. All right, guys, I'm getting a phone call, so I'll be right back.
Oh, okay. So I'm back. It was just a buddy of mine asking me about uh, the LA Auto Show. Okay. But anyways, back to the stream itself. Yeah, the BMW is really keeping up with Kobayashi. A lack of strength on his end and shitty tires and lower fuel. All gonna play a big role in this. But you know what? We only need one more lap and we can pit. Oh, oh yes, it just dropped. Yep, the Indianapolis 500 video. Oh, so Gus, um, and everyone else watching, the ones who watched during the Indy 500 stream, at the very end of the video, I want to say the last five minutes, or last, yeah, five minutes of the video, you guys will see my actual winning run. I kept the original footage of me losing in the stream, and then I went and did the race again, and I won by over like five or six laps using that um, soft fronts, hard rear strategy. But yeah, that Indy 500 race was pretty funny. I mean, it was just a one big shit post because there was what Mikhail 24RD and then the UFC veteran on, and then I became the very first person on the internet to ban Jimmy Broadbent from something, so that felt nice. <laughs> I banned him from the stream for like five seconds because he was making fun of me losing and messing up my strategy, but obviously in a playful way, of course. All right, so the BMW. I'm surprised it hasn't passed us yet. Yeah, <laughs> I think I banned Jimmy from my chat around like lap 150 or so. He he just joins in. He's like, I forget what he said. He's like, he's like you're in second SMH or like banned from YouTube or some shit. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Okay, I think we're going to pit this lap. All that wheel spin, though. Yep, we're pitting this lap. So what's the gap right now between us and the other cars? Okay, only four cars running on the lead lap right now. Fonz is about to enter the straightaway. We got the Bentley ahead of us, being driven by Alfred. Ah, oh, yes, I was watching that stream, dude. That race room stream, I think it was? Yeah, 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 it, it, it was race room, and then his fucking wheel pops off, dude, that was so goddamn funny. Dude, I feel kind of bad for him, though, because it's like, dude, he has... Like, he has that really expensive rim, and the freaking button box isn't even working. I was like, what the fuck is a button box? And I realized, oh, that's a real racing rim that they just added buttons on. That's what a button box is. I was like, dude... That whole um, IndyCar stream just kind of went disastrous. And then he had that one dumbass guy he was racing against yesterday, like... Yeah, that was just... That was stupid. <laughs> Come on, Kobayashi, get around him. You have a faster car on the straight. Is Christensen gonna have the pit? No, of course not. Okay, so there's a Viper in the way. Get around the Viper, there you go. Okay. It's not like we're raising for position anyways, I just want to make sure that we're ahead of the BMW so that way we can eventually lap them later. And I was completely wrong on us lapping every single car on this uh, stint. You see, I know the word now because I I had breakfast, so I'm good now. <laughs> Never stream and then not eat breakfast first, guys. This is a public service announcement brought to you by Simple Los Angeles. Vroom vroom in, in my brand old Nissan. <laughs> Yes, this is car. It goes vroom. So 
sometimes it goes I appreciate that, Gus. Thanks, dude. <laughs> nice! You got a 4K TV? That's awesome, bro. Sometimes you lose some bailing wire. Alright, welcome back from that short hiatus. Yeah, Christensen's just having a much better run out of the corners than... I mean, it doesn't really take that much... It doesn't really take long to hit the like button. <laughs> Honestly. Which, by the way, smash that like button, guys, if you're enjoying the stream. Only if you want to. It's free. Kobayashi's about a pit. Weber's gonna take the wheel. Weber, I I don't remember what level he is. I think he's level 30. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't care, honestly. This is a car that goes scra when it does the fire on the exhaust. Damn, how loud was I there? Alright, Weber. Mark Weber taking the wheel. Please do not flip the car. That's the one thing I ask for you, Mark. We gotta increase his pace right now in the pits. Get him to be an angry boy so that way he can put off some good laps. Scrap papa! You know what's really cool? Those videos where those um where people make like Formula One engine sounds with like a tin can. I fucking love those videos. There's one I cracked a damn. No windshield wipers on the standard cars either. Oh wait, it does it manually. <laughs> so how the fuck can you see out of the window, dude? Anyways, um, there's this one meme, or I don't know if it was a meme, but it was one of those funny videos where this dude was like, he made a fucking race car set up out of like pillows and he had like a fucking like dish or something, like a, like a dinner dish. And then he, he had like a shifter knob, which was just like a steam, like a, little steam hose so he was going like Ooh, psh, oh. it was so funny oh my car is not a neon sir take that back my car is not disgusting you know to be honest I wanted to start my underground 1 LP with the Dodge Neon but no my chat had to vote for the VW Golf instead because they can't allow me to have fun meme cars. I'm kidding. <laughs> it was. This is a democracy. Whatever. There's a votes. There's a votes going on, so it's cool. It is. This is not a neon. Come on now. You take that back, sir. This car is way too nice to be a Dodge neon. Okay, I'll admit the SRT4 is a nice neon. The base model neons, however, garbage. Uh, 
Oh, nice! You went to see the WT WTCC race? That's awesome, dude. No, you did not. Stop, dude. Uh, okay. I call bullshit on that. There's no way you did like to win an SRT4. Did you? I, I have to try that, maybe. Okay, I, I gotta try that in GT4 then. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, when is Fonz gonna pit? I think he's gonna pit next lap. Which should open the opportunity for us to lap him. gap like now four minutes and 19 seconds we pretty much are gonna say we lapped this damn car <laughs> they caught mesothelioma from the asbestos brakes holy shit dude <laughs> um wait which like the wind are we talking about are we talking about gt4 or gt5 like the wind because what brakes do you have to use on test course unless you're talking about the um Daytona Road Course in Indianapolis races. See, for like the wind. GT5, okay. Um, no, Gus. I, I think the only people who pit no, on that sequence, nope. Everyone else pits about two laps after me, and then the BMW pits about three laps after me, roughly. Font is coming in this lap, which by the time that he pits and by the time he comes out, we should be able to, we should be able to lap him, maybe. I mean, so far Weber's doing a really good job. But okay, yeah, see, here's, here's the thing, I was wondering about that, because I was like, wait, there's no way a Neon could be like 240 miles an hour to catch up to LMP cars, dude. But, I'll give it a try. I'm, I'm considering it. I don't know. Eh, probably not. <laughs> but anyways. Because your pit crew get messed with the Leoma. Well, if you or a loved one have one, you can just call like the consult. You can get a free consultation. Just call the 1-800 number from the commercials. You'll be good. Don't matter. Anyways, um, the thing I like the wind is that I don't like to use LMP cars or like race cars that are like obviously meant for high speeds. The way I look at like the wind is this: it's like obviously it's supposed to be a, a take on the Mega Speed Cup from GT1. So you might as well just buy like a regular street car and give it like 900 horsepower and just have fun. Like, I like to use a Nissan 300ZX, I mean ZX. Uh, it feels kind of weird for me. A yank to say Z. I'll just stick with Z. <laughs> a 300ZX and just go all out. Or a 3000 GT. One of those two. Is what I really like to use for, like, the win. Dude, everyone just slipping and sliding around here. 
I, I wonder if the weather's gonna improve at all in this race. It's probably not. We're probably gonna have to deal with rain the entire 24 hours. Which, fuck it. I mean, that's the weather. Nothing we can do about it, you know? The mesothelioma, 24 hours of mesothelioma, thelioma breaks, yeah. Oh, it's like a little won't hurt, it's cool. Sorry about that. I know it's quiet for a bit, just texting my cousin. Anyways, because we're playing... So, like, the iPhones have this app called, uh... Wait, what? Oh, that's right, they changed drivers. Duh. Um... Yeah, so iPhone has an app called, um... Game Pigeon? Where you can play games like chess and checkers and... And pool and basketball through text messages, which is pretty awesome. So I was playing chess with my cousin, and we had like about like a three-day game because of the fact that he works, I go to school, so we take turns every once in a while, and... I think that's what the um, Red Bull X challenges are for, but who knows what they're going to be like now. If, if we ever have Red Bull challenges again, I highly doubt we're going to have them back. Because Rebel aren't on the top of their game, and they're not winning world championships and stuff. And it's all about Mercedes now, so probably Mercedes would do something. But anyways, um, yeah, I was playing chess with my cousin, and we had a really intense game going on. <laughs> yeah, LT. Um, it was funny because during the Indy 500, I was using the Toyota 7. And the fucking fuel man was pouring fuel into the cockpit. It was really dumb and funny at the same time. But yeah, we were having a really tight chess game. Like, it was really close. It was really, really close. I make one simple mistake, and my whole strategy gets derailed, and my cousin just starts taking all of my pieces. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I make one simple mistake, and yet, here we go. This event will make the dream of flying come true. Of course, you gotta get your advertisement in there. Because Red Bull gives you wings. Okay! Um. Oh wait, we haven't lapped the entire field yet. The BMW still has to pit. Along with the Bentley, which... The Bentley will pit. Yeah, the Pescarolo is way behind. We're good. I think we've lapped the entire field now. At least when the cycles are done. <laughs> All of you literally got gnomed. You need Elytra. Let's 
So guys, for this particular stream, I think I'm gonna do the first two hours. I might end the stream after the next, um, the next stint. But of course, in terms of a video, it's gonna be six hours long, so I'll just have to do some editing. I'll be good. No biggie. No, no big deal. That's why I streamed kind of early today. Just so that way I can, um... I can get, you know, I can get some of the stuff done today. Some of the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Get started on it, and then move on from there. Of course, I won't be probably streaming this every single time around the European times. I gotta stream... I, I gotta mix up the stream schedule a bit for this race, because I feel like it would be fair... Oh, I didn't know that's what the wings were were, uh, were called on Minecraft. I know Elytra are basically the wings on a beetle. That's what they're called, but... But yeah, um... I don't really- I don't play Minecraft at all. I'm not- I'm not a fan. I don't- I don't really find it that much fun, to be honest. But, um, yeah. In terms of actually doing the streams for this race, I feel like I have to mix up the schedule a bit. Stream for you guys in, in Europe for your, your guys' nighttime, and then stream for some people in Asia and Oceania, because I have some fans there that, that join the stream from time to time. So I feel like it's only fair to just mix the stream schedule around a bit for this race, that way at least everybody can get a chance to see the 24 hours of Le Mans life. But yeah, um, I don't know yet. Of course, school is my main priority right now, because I still have a few weeks left. Need the wings if it just cost three. Yes. <laughs> first few hours, I get it now. Yeah, exactly. That's why I said like the first few hours. I'm not doing the whole 24 today. That because I got some stuff going on today as well. I have some friends from I have some friends from out of town and out of the country who are here that I want to go see and hang out with today. And then tomorrow I'm going to a 12-hour go kart race. Sunday, I'm going to an auto. Sh I'm going to an auto show. Let's see if I can win another um, Xbox. Maybe we'll see. Hey, Roman, welcome back, dude. But yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking about in terms of uh, mixing up the scheduling for for these streams a bit. Try to give everybody an opportunity to watch this live. You know, the people from Europe got to see the first couple hours, and then. Maybe the people in the States and Oceania and Asia get to see the next couple hours. I don't know, we'll see. I'm looking at the time right now and... Like I said, I have time for maybe one or two more stints after this one. Maybe. Maybe two is pushing it a little bit, but one for sure. One for sure. Maybe I'll even have a guest on next time, who knows. We'll see. So the BMW is still out. Yeah, the Pescarolo is lapped, officially. Yep, I'm barely entering the second chicane, he's barely entering the first chicane. The BMW is the only car ahead of us, but not by a huge margin. Considering the fact that he's gonna have the pit. Next time around. So we're fine. You know, if anything, I think the BMW might be one of the cars that could sneak his way to second, possibly. Maybe, you know, maybe he can steal second or third place from the Pescarolo or the Bentley. You know, just on on uh, pit strategy alone, that is very possible, because these AI cars are pretty... They're not super close, but they're not lapping each other either, like we are. You know, we're just managing all of this efficiently. The R9 2CP sounds like the modern bikes on low RPMs. I don't know, I kind of like the engine sound for this car. Maybe because of nostalgia, because they kept this almost the same sound for the engine from GT4 in this game, and then in GT6 as well. Maybe it's a nostalgia thing, because the R9 2CP is one of my favorite cars, hands down, from the Group C era. Look at that thing, dude. That thing is sexy. 
I was really happy to find it in the used car dealership too. Like when I saw it in the UCD, I was like, I have to get it. I wanted to find like a Pescarolo or an Audi R8, but I was like, nope. You gotta mix it up. I found a Bentley for the Nurburgring. I found the Bentley, and originally I was gonna use the Bentley for this race, but then I thought about it, I was like, I saw the Group C R92, I was like, nope, we can mix it up. Group C for Le Mans, LMP1 for Nurburgring. Although I did buy an Escudo, but then I got rid of it, because I was like, no, it's, it's not gonna work. Dodge Neon kit car. You and your freaking Dodge Neon memes. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah it is, Arthur. Uh, I, I don't know what exactly the issue is, Ramon. I mean, like, I would have to see the PC in order to give you advice. I don't want to just tell you to do it and then, you know, you corrupt your brick, your PC or whatever, you know? Maybe it'll work. I mean, for me personally, like, don't, pre don't take this as gospel and, like, as the way you should be doing this, but... Whenever my computer would freeze, I would hard reset it maybe like an hour after it's been frozen. I would wait a bit and just make sure it's absolutely frozen, nothing's being installed, and then from there I would take action and be like, okay, let's reset. The time that I broke my computer, however, I don't think I waited that long. I think I waited like 10 minutes, which, to be honest, was a relatively short amount of time. So the BMW's in. Pescarello's barely gonna enter the chicanes and cross the start finish line, and we've officially lapped the entire field, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time. So, if we keep this up for 24 hours straight, we should have a 12 lap lead by the checker flag. Maybe. The Karashi 60 sounds like a Vespa, which the sound is noisy on real life. Yeah, Vespas are pretty noisy. I've never ridden one, but I, I, I used to know a girl who, who had one. Unless you have an SRT4, LT. Unless you have an S SRT4. Hey, Bill, what's up, man? How's it going? I actually really like the look of these cars in the rain, to be honest. Like, seeing the cars, like, splash all the water behind them, it looks really cool. And damn it, GT Sport, we need weather. Doing great, thank you for asking. I've already got a team, sir, it's called TC Racing. Stands for Tusho, Tusho, Chicane. <laughs> God damn it, I'm so bad at saying that. TMC Motorsport. You know, I've thought about that. I was like, what if I win the lottery one day and I start a team? And like, TMC Motorsport. And then like, nobody in the paddock is going to know what it stands for. And then when they realize it's the moving chicane, they're going to treat us like jokes. Which, hey, I am a joke. <laughs> I mean, but fuck it. TMC Motorsport sounds catchy, but it's like... When you actually learn the act, what the acronym stands for, it's like, can you know? Can can your drivers be taken seriously when they're being called moving chicanes? Like, who am I gonna have on my team? I'll probably have like Francesco Dracone. I'll probably have like Yarno Truly. I'll probably have like, well, not Monaco form Yarno Truly. Like, late in his career, I'll have like Bruno Senna. I'll have like drivers like that. Duso Trula. Yep. Yeah, one day I'll get it. Maybe in a couple years, but we'll see. It's just with ex accents, I'm really bad at like rolling it off my tongue. So like, even in even with Spanish words, like I'm really bad at rolling some of the accents off my tongue. Like when you say dog, it's like perro. Like I, I can't roll the you know I can't roll some of the words. It's like ugh. <laughs> so that's what I need to practice on.
You'd be on piss strategy? Oh, dude, if you took all the time to do all the um, GT Sport, or GT Sport, GT4 calculations, then fuck it. <laughs> You'd be our strategy, man. Okay, Weber's starting to ease the pace a little bit. We don't want that to happen. We want to lap everybody. GT1, okay. He's in a pit. Two cars are going to pit together, essentially. See, what I was hoping for, I was hoping to see the Vipers actually have a close battle, but... Dude, the 91 is just... Completely dominating the GT class. I guess if it's... Oh, you're going to rename your PSN? Oh, okay. I, I guess if 11th and 12th is the GT category, the Viper is just dominating the GT race. By a big margin. Not as big as our margin, though. We have a whole lap on the entire field. We actually have two laps on the Viper and two laps on the R390. Which, I didn't even know we had two laps on the R390, to be honest. I only recall seeing that car once on the track. What do you think about naming or renaming your PSN name to? I thought that name that name changing feature was already a thing. See, I wish that name changing feature was a thing before, because like I have so many accounts that like I look at the names, I'm just like, why the fuck did I name myself this? Like this is cringe. And I have like a bunch of trophies on them from Gran Turismo, from like Grand Theft Auto 4, from other games too. I'm just like, I lost all my trophies. I don't feel like doing them again. You consider an LMP2 car? Well, it's not really an LMP2. I mean, sure, I, I I guess in terms of pace. But, I forget what the category was. Like, you'd be the moving hairpin. Well, my brother likes to call himself the, the sharp left turn. Whenever he randomly hops on the stream for whatever reason. See, your, your, one, your one requirement for being part of my team is you have to be really bad at racing and you have to you have to make fun of how bad you are. What? What kind of... How long is that name? Holy shit. I think that's like a Polish name? But dude, like, you need to have the ellipses here. Like, that's how long that name is. The Moving Apex. be down <laughs> oh shit Weber's hitting the Mercedes that he flipped in see the thing is like I don't really have anything going on right now in terms of making a team and even then I'm already part of a kind of I'm already kind of part of a team already I mean Arthur and I kind of have a team together so that's kind of out of the window, you know? <laughs> Get out of my head, Mercedes. Yeah, this car is fast, dude. This car's ridiculously fast. That's why I got it for this race, because, you know, Le Mans not really a high downforce circuit. And so I figured a Group C car would be great on pace. And the rain's helping, too.
you know, I wanted a Sauber C9 for, well, in terms of this race, like I said, I was considering the Bentley, but then in terms of a Group C car, I was actually wanting to do the Sauber C9 for, oh, that's a Russian name. Oh, oh, oh you guess. I don't know. It could be, it's some sort of European, I know that. But anyways, um, in terms of that um, choice of the Nerva 24 race, I wanted to do the Sauber C9. Because I know you win a CLK from the AMG Academy in this game, and I want to use a CLK for the Nerdberg 24 in A-Spec. So I kind of wanted to make it interchangeable, you know, like A-Spec with a CLK, B-Spec with the Sauber, so that way it's two Mercedes cars, but... Eh. I'm not really, like, picky when it comes to that kind of stuff. I found the R92, I'm happy with it. So we're just destroying everyone right now. Oh, you were lucky to find one in the UCD? Yeah, finding LMP cars in the UCD is a pain in the ass. Oh, you found the XJR9? Nice. Well, I have the DLC, so I have the premium version. Which I'm most likely going to use for, like, the wind in my A-Spec playthrough. P2P. <laughs> You know what's worse? The formula Gran Turismo. It took me literally... I, I recorded how much time it took me to like do that, uh, find that car in the UCD. And what I would do is literally I would like do a homework assignment and I would just go through um, through a B-Spec race over and over again like Sunday Cup or something. Like, you know, entering and exiting. I shit you not, it took me at least like 20 hours to find that fucking car, and I recorded that down, like, I don't have the, I don't have the timestamps anymore, but like, I recorded it with a stopwatch, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, he does. Uh, it took him forever to find it, and see, this is the thing. I don't normally do this, but when I win the level 24 coupon from all the endurances, I'm gonna do the save, uh, the save game trick. Meaning, you know, I'm going to turn off autosave, and if I don't get the Formula GT, then I'm going to restart the game. Because, fuck that. The game put me through all this stress to find that car. I want a new Formula GT. The one with zero miles for my A-Spec run of the game. So the one I have right now in the, whatchamacallit, in the garage, that one's just for B-Spec. And I want a different color FGT for A-Spec. Yeah, the R92 CP is expensive. It's like three or four million, depending on the mileage. It's not a cheap car, dude. <laughs> so whoever's losing strength. And now is a good chance to get him to calm down. And guess what? Status report. Weather has not changed at all. We're still running in the rain. 100% wet track. Oh, you're only a million off? Dude, you know what the worst part is? When you're, when you're only that much off, like, a million is not a whole lot. Well, it is, but... You can get about 800,000 from the, like, the wind event, or not like the wind, 
the Dream Car Championship. And the, the car only stays in the dealership for like five days. Depending on whenever you get it in the cycle. Like the first day you get it, you get it, you only get it for five game days. You can't get a million exactly in five game days, which sucks. The most you can get is 800,000. Unless you want to do an endurance race over and over and over again. But that takes a lot of time. You see, I thought about that too, LT, but the thing is, is like, when I first played this game, I was like, Beastpic is stupid, Beastpic is mandatory, it's gonna suck, you know, it's not gonna be fun, and this other guy on YouTube named Catcool, he believes the same thing, he really thinks that Beastpic is gonna suck, and he doesn't believe me when I tell him, dude, Beastpic is actually a lot of fun. I sort of kind of regret doing Beastpic first, but at the same time, I'm like, you know what? Some of my Beast Pick videos were so much fun to do that I don't really regret it at the same time because it's like, I wouldn't have had all the issues with Flynn, I wouldn't have had Sanchez completely give the race away, I wouldn't have had Kobayashi, you know, win Grand Valley for the Tune Core Championship on the last lap. A lot of stuff like that really made this whole Beast Pick thing worthwhile. And when you actually develop the drivers, it's fun. I don't do the glitch all- or it's not really a glitch, it's more just like a trick. You know, you just take off autosave. And if you don't get the car you want, turn off the console and then come- or turn off the console or exit the game and come back to it. I don't like to do that at all. But there's only two scenarios where I'm gonna do that. At the end of this B-Spec playthrough, when I- after the Nurbur 24, and in Gran Turismo 3. Yeah, it's an exploit, exactly. And in Gran Turismo 3, in the Japanese version, when, um... I'm trying to get the Lamborghini Diablo. Those are the only two times I'm ever going to do a memory card exploit. Other than that, whatever car I get is whatever car I get. Memory card exploit. It's a hard drive exploit in this game. Alright, I'm going to stretch real quick because, yeah, I've been sitting down for quite a while. If I get the F2007, then I'm just going to turn off the console and, and try it again. <sighs> That's the plan. I mean, this is, like I said, the level 24 coupon for B-Spec is the only time I'm going to do the, do the um, save game exploit. That's it. That and in Gran Turismo 3 with the Lamborghini Diablo, because I know where you can win the Diablo at. Oh, snap, Bill. Okay. Well, good night, dude. And you know what, man? Good luck on that. Um, hope it goes well for you, bro. Yeah, dude. That's, see, that's the thing I don't get. It's like they had the Ferrari F2007 and F uh, F10. And yet, they never utilize them. Those cars are not, they are not eligible for the FGT championship. And the only time you got to use them, no problem, dude. See ya, man. The only time you got to use them when was when they had seasonal events. That's it. It was so dumb, dude. They should have just had the Ferrari F1, like a Ferrari championship or something, you know? Like a call it Ferrari, Ferrari open wheel series or something, you know what I mean? I would have done that. That would have been amazing. I think this YouTuber by the name of Color Shed Production said it best when it was like, the problem with online only games, he was reviewing Gran Turismo 5 by the way, the problem with online only games is like, when it's not online anymore, then a lot of the events that you had and a lot of the purpose of the game is like missed. So, for this game, for example, like, we had so many cool seasonal events, you know, like the multiple performance points hatchback series, or random NASCAR races, or like, in GT6 we had the 24 minutes at Daytona. When a game goes offline, we lose a lot of those events, when they should have been events you do in the career mode, you know?
Like, I just hope that we get... If Gran Turismo 7 is ever a... Dude, that, that would have been amazing. Dude, even if even if the uh, Formula GT cars from GT3 were all standard cars, I would not give a shit. As long as they were in the game, that would have been amazing. Call the series like Formula GT Classic or something, you know? That would have been badass. I know this will never happen, but it would be so awesome if, like... Grand, they made a Gran Turismo kind of like, you know, everyone is here, kind of like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Everyone is here, so like Vector, Venturi, all those cars came back. All the cars from like every game, obviously with new graphics. That would never happen, of course. It would never happen. But it would, you know, it would be so badass. Should have been in GT4, to be honest. Yes, I agree with that. Although I do like the modern day FGT, the classic ones were still really fun to drive. And. It would have been amazing to drive them with a wheel. Because let's be honest, Gran Turismo 3 wheel support is not the best. It came out in 2001, and it came out when the first Driving Force came out. So 90 degree steering is all you really had in that game. But GT4 introduced four, or not four, 900 degree steering. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. It's that hot in your house? Well, it's cold as fuck here because of all the rain and wind last night. And like I said before, my house is not the best for ventilation, so whatever air gets trapped in here, it stays. So if it's cold outside, it gets cold here for like days. But alright man, see you later dude. Have I ever driven the stealth at FGT? No I haven't, sir. Because I've never beaten the game 100%. Another Viper? Who is this? Okay, it's Jagger. Alright. One hundred percent club privileges. That or if you have the Japanese version and you win the FGT championship. Because in the Japanese version of Gran Turismo 4, they don't give you any cars for percentages. So that one Audi concept is not in the game, the HCR9 is not in the game. And yeah, I, I've tested it. I've went to 50% before in the Japanese version. They don't give you any prizes for reaching a milestone. And on top of that, the black FGT is the prize card for the FGT championship in GT4, not the Salver. See, I thought about ending Gran Turismo 4 with the FGT Championship, but at the same time, I'm just like, there's so many cool events that I could end the game with. And it's like, how do I want to end the game? Because I'm not the type of person. Got the EU version, for so for once, it's not the worst version. See, here's the thing. Arguably, this sucks to say, but arguably the Japanese version is the inferior version. Here's why. And you can't really blame it because it was the one that was released first, but here's the reason why. The soundtrack is the best, because it has some of the original compositions by Masahiro Ando from the first game that were remixed, and it combines both the EU and the US soundtracks all together in the jukebox. With that being said, there's like 10 missing cars, so like the Chrysler 300C, the Audi Pikes Peak concept, the Audi Nuvolari concept, the Peugeot 905, the Jaguar XJR9, did I say Chrysler 300 C already? Yeah, I did. Um, the Mitsubishi Eclipse 2006. Uh, what else is missing? I know there's more than that. The Chaparral 2D, the Chaparral 2J, and several, uh, like a couple other cars, bringing the total to like 10 or 12, are completely missing from, from uh, GT4's Japanese version. Yeah. So it's like normally the Japanese versions, in my opinion, are sometimes the best. 
but in this case, GT4's Japanese version is the worst. If anything, the Korean version is probably the best version of the game because it has it obviously has everything from every other region, including those um, exclusive Hyundai cars, which it doesn't sound like a big deal. But at the same, you know, because it's a fucking Hyundai Tiburon or Tus Tuscany CZS concept or the Hyundai Click. But at the same time, it's still exclusive cars. And that little Click is a cool little race car. And it has that one Lexus IS Korean GT car. Race car. So, yeah, you have that. Which I think is pretty awesome, to be honest. I actually really like that car a lot. So that's the reason why I think the Korean version is the best, but it's actually really hard to find it. Because it was obviously only recently... Uh, speaking too fast. It was obviously only released in Korea. And I don't know any stores in my area that sell Korean games. I can only find certain stores that sell... That sell, what's it called? Uh, Japanese or European games. UFC, what's up, dude? What's going on, man? How you doing? Welcome back, dude, from your hiatus from YouTube. How's the hand uh, going? Hopefully the hand injury is doing much better now. Underground 2, on the other hand, I really want to drive the Civic and the RSX, but no. Oh, you know what? I had to. I had to copy that. That's how I feel. Good, dude. Good. I'm, I'm glad to hear, man. I'm so glad to hear that, bro. So yeah, uh, UFC, you just showed it to the stream. Unlike the Indy 500, are you sure I'm not missing much? Are you sure about that? I mean, I don't know. I'm really curious to see how that 106 and that Corsa handle, though, because we don't have it. You know, it's like it's one of those mystery things. You know, where it's like I've never used it before. I really want to see. Yeah, you're probably just used to it at that point, dude. You're probably just used to it, and then, like, you just tell yourself, oh, I'm not getting better, but you really are. Like, the other day, I know this doesn't compare, but the other day, dude, I cut my, I cut three of my fingers washing dishes the other day because there was broken glass under some pots, and I fucking grabbed it, and I got, like, three deep-ass cuts on three fingers. You know, and it's like, my fingers still hurt, but, like, I'm noticing improvements. I know it's like, oh, it's a boo-boo, but... Yeah, you have tendons. I have fucking boo-boos, but, I mean... At the same time, dude, I couldn't use my left hand for, like, shit, because it, it was cut up, but yeah. Yeah, it is painful. Solve this plate, yes, sir. Yeah, I did see GT Rufus finishing the game. I, I did see that, but like I said, it's just that mystery thing, you know? It's like, since you don't have the Civic and the RSX, you want to try it out. Since I don't have the 106 or the Corsa, I want to try it out. But yeah, anyways, you guys see, unlike the Indy 500 where we were down two laps, we have a one lap gap over the leader, or second place, I mean. Two laps over seventh, and then three laps over third. Or 12th, I mean, 3rd. Swap discs. <laughs> okay. What is this, Metal Gear Solid? No, no thank you. I'm not swapping discs, sir. Oh yeah, Weber's doing a really good... Actually, Weber 
surprisingly, I think he's done the best job out of everybody in terms of the late... <laughs> Beast Pick in a nutshell. Domination or being dominated, yeah. Although Alonzo came really close to winning the Indy 500 at the end of that one race we were commentating on together. But he kept slowing down on the fucking straights, but then I ended up winning it over six laps when I just adjusted the transmission. Daytona was insane. You mean Indianapolis? Yeah, Indianapolis is what you meant. <laughs> but anyways, um... You're not an Ovo expert? Ah, no worries. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. We're pretty much just dominating this race. We're all just chilling here, just talking about nonsense. Occasionally looking at the rest of the field, see how slow everyone else is in the rain. It's been 100% rain, by the way, this entire race. But yeah, um, in terms of, like, late stints, Weber did the best out of everybody. He's been, the, like, relatively calm. Alonzo was... Alonzo was pushing it, and Kobayashi was kind of getting a little squirrely with the other drivers. Like, he was passing people in the grass, and, like, he was really snapping on the throttle early on. If it were GT4, I'd put the speed on time stream and go to sleep. Well... If Gran Turismo 4 had a, a, a you know, like a um, requirement for B-Spec, I wouldn't do the times 3 thing. Because I feel like, you know what, just let's just do everything. Like for GT4, I'm going to do no B-Spec at all. But I don't plan on doing the 24s by myself. I plan on having friends. Like I mentioned earlier in the stream today, I plan on having friends with me. But that's going to be like a long time from now. Alright, Alonzo's next. So Weber's done. No more strength. Let's see how much strength Alonzo has. I wonder what if he gets all his strength back or if he gets like a minimal amount. Let's see. Oh come on, Gus. It, NASCAR's a little bit harder than that now. You gotta give those guys a little bit more credit than that. Pit accuracy. <laughs> Wait, there's an over there's an open weight glitch in UFC three? I don't even know about that. Jesus is gonna slam Brock. Alright, Clarkson. NASCAR is good. <laughs> Undisputed 3. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't even know there was an open weight glitch. Alright guys, last stint of this stream, and then for those who are watching this, if you've managed to watch a whole 2 hours and 30 minutes into this YouTube video, you're amazing. Just like the people who are watching in chat, you guys are fucking amazing too, for sitting here and watching these three drivers just dominate this whole rain, rain race. You say that because of all tracks. I mean... Maybe I'm a, maybe I, I see it a little different because like I know a few people who who do oval racing, you know. So that's just like when you actually get to see that, and you get to like get to know them a little bit more and see how much more effort it does. And then also i racing, oval racing is insane too, and I still suck at it. Then you know, yeah, I see why the Eminem Camry for life. Fuck no, I hate Kyle Busch. Can't stand him.
and driving like a bull in the time in a china shop yep in the rain too he is a madman Oh shoot, someone doing 24 hours of lemons. What's <laughs> up, Francisco? It's been a while, man. How you doing? And I'm doing the 24 hours of lemons. And we're just dominating this thing in the rain. Dude, I wish GT6 Online was back. When life gives you lemons, you make beef stew. Wait, where's that from? Oh, it's that one dumbass Annie Milanaka show on MTV, that's right. Because the real saying is, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Because in his, in that stupid ass Annie Milanaka show, he was like, in his opening rap song, he was like, because it's my show, you can't tell me what to do, when life gives you lemons, I make beef stew. Because, you know, you have to rhyme with everything, you know what I mean? Busy with work? Nice, dude. Gotta make that cheddar, right? Drive him into the ground for 24 hours. Every day. Well, life gives you lemons to sell the bloody neon. But yeah, um, I don't know what else to say, guys. <laughs> we have a whole long endurance ahead of us. Got to make some of that lemonade bills. Le Mans one, once per year. Oh, and life gives you Le Mans. Well, the Bugatti circuit, I mean, eh, it's still... Eh, I mean, it's not Circuit de la Sarth. Yes. So like Sky Hurricanes lobbies were just buggy as hell towards the end of GT6 because whenever like his lobbies were some of the best in GT6. But the issue is is that he would have 16 people in the, in a lobby and only like 9 would appear on someone's, you know, on on someone's game. People wouldn't even show up. Have I seen Slip Phantom's NFS Most Wanted is Broken video? No. The only video of his that I actually saw was that one uh, Dodge Neon video from NFS Underground 1. I thought it was really funny, but then I didn't like subscribe to him or anything. I'll check it out later. What if the 24-hour races were done in a combined layout of the Sark and the Bugatti Circuit? Hmm. What if they have two 24-hour races going on at the same time? You know, just have one at Circuit de la Sarth and have one at Bugatti Circuit. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? See, the thing is that GT6 had the best online, but GT5 had more people because... GT5 came out in the height of the PS3's popularity. GT6 came out when the PS4 barely dropped. Heck no, he is not from... He is not from the UK, bro. <laughs> dude, he's... Dude, he's he's from the United States, dude. He's a Midwesterner. He's from the Midwest. Dude, he's from the countryside. That's... That's not a British accent. That's a... Dude, that's a country accent that he has. Yeah, he, he is nowhere near being... He is nowhere close to being English. <laughs> nah, if you're watching Sky, we love you, bro. <laughs> Seriously. Nah, man, Sky is super cool. He's seriously one of the nicest people you will ever find on YouTube. Which, by the way, guys, 
if he reaches, if Sky reaches 4,000 subscribers by, well, it's already going to be December. Not for the people who are watching this uh, as a video upload on YouTube, but yeah, I know he's going to do a PS4 giveaway soon if he reaches 4,000 subscribers by his announcement. But there's obviously some some requirements to enter his giveaway. Guys, go check out his channel. He's almost at 4K. If you guys aren't subscribed to him, go check it out. He's super cool and down to earth. He does a lot of retro games and he does uh, Gran Turismo content as well. I don't think he'd be offended, dude. Nah, he'd probably laugh. Dude, he, he, he makes fun of his own accent all the time. He's like, my annoying voice. I'm like, dude, you're not annoying. I'm like, my voice is annoying. Come on now. I listen to my own streams. I listen to my own videos. I'm just like, ugh. Like, why do I, why do I sound like this? Bruh, why don't you just do a stream? Do a stream and just have your lady co-drive. That'll work. Do this a, do a Sakuba 9 hours. Just get an easy all-wheel drive car or something. Or do the Roadster 4 hours and just co-drive with your lady. Do that. Come on. You're going to do a spec? Well, there you go. She isn't that into racing. You gotta start him off somehow, bro. Well, you have a steering wheel set up, don't you? Dude, I'll tell you this, dude. I've had girls come over to the house. And when I still have my G27 and my, my race room, um, my race room play seat. And they'd see it, dude. They'd, they'd see that and they would just want to play on it. Like, they would want to play Gran Turismo or whatever for a little bit, and they would just crack up playing it. They'd be like, oh my god, it's like a real car! <laughs> you don't have to give her a Red Bull. Like I said, do the Roadster 4 hour. Just get her an MX-5 and you're set. Have a grand old time, you know, going around Sakuba. Not a bad way to get her in started with Endurances. God damn it, Bet. <laughs> I just saw that vi I just saw that unlisted video. God damn it, dude. <laughs> Freaking Jesus in the crucifix position when when the tables have turned. Mario Kart. <laughs> yes, Mario Kart, dude. That is that is another correct answer. Well, I, I think it depends on how they were raised, too, Gus. I mean, when I started going to, like, you know, short tracks and stuff, like short ovals and dirt courses and stuff, like, dude, you'll be surprised the kind of girls that you'll meet at a racetrack. At least, at least here in the States. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it, Francisco. All right. Marry your, marry your Corey. <laughs> Mario Kart. But yeah, you'll be surprised by the kind of girls that you meet at a at a at a short old boy like dirt track and stuff. Like local stuff. Big events? Not really. They're they're probably not all into it, but like at the kart tracks and stuff, you'll be surprised. You have two more called Holy Strength and Holy Judo. Oh, they're egocentric? Yeah. It's not the kind of girls I like, personally. Superstar, how I wonder what you are. 
When are you gonna upload those other um other vids? I mean they're not really videos, they're more just like short clips that are unlisted. Miss me with those social media thoughts. See, I like Instagram, but the thing is, is that there's a lot of those stupid freaking bots, dude. Like, those goddamn bots that are always like, hey, baby, and they just send like kissing emojis. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Oh, they haven't been published yet? Why do you have a Wii? That's not a real game, recall. So what do you have? Wii Sports? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, dude, Wiis are cool. There's some good games. You know, like uh, Hannah Montana and uh, what other shovel work can I think of? No, I'm kidding. Um, no, seriously, Mario Kart Wii is pretty good. Su Brawl, Super Smash Bros. Brawl is awesome. Mario Odyssey is really good. Oh, no, not Odyssey. Galaxy. That's one thing about it. Super Mario Galaxy is really cool. <laughs> Wii's are for weebs. But Wii's are really good consoles to mod. Holy strength. Let's see this one. Damn, you just pick some up like that, huh? How to make budget on YouTube? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, vet or, or Plep King. Hey, what's up, Plep King? I wasn't paying attention to a guy in 10th place, honestly. <laughs> Jesus has one standing strike offense and is incredibly weak on the feet. Despite having 95 strength. Good lord. Is that a meme? I wouldn't say it's a meme. I would just say, like, he just made Jesus Christ on UFC Undisputed 3 and just decided to have Jesus fight other MMA fighters. That's it. 1,000 horsepower. Red Bull can do 10 laps of the lemon tree. GT Pro Series? Which one is that one? You heard I got the G29? Yeah, I heard. You got it on Black Friday, which is pretty cool, my brother. G29. You have a few unlisted clips here in my garage. See, GT Pro Series. Oh, it's that game by um, Ubisoft. Or Ubisoft published it. Yes, I, okay, I, I, I remember seeing it inside some stores, but it's starting to make a squeaky noise when turning left, but apparently it's really common amongst them. Really? Yeah, Francisco, I'm considering getting a DFGT because my G27 is already dying. Like the force feedback motor, I had G29. <sighs> What's a Russian gunship doing here? <laughs> um, I'm not saying too many quotes. In case Marvin is watching the stream, he's still blindly playing MGS1. Anyways, um, yeah, my G27 is dying. Like, the force feedback is extremely weak now. Like, there is no force feedback on the thing. The motor's dying, and 
I don't want to buy another G27. I'm just like, eh, like, I don't really need all that. We, you know, I don't need that much wheel. I don't need a clutch pedal and stuff for Gran Turismo 4, 5, and 6. I have a Thrustmaster TGT, so it's like, I don't really need anything like that. So the TFGT will be perfect. It's kind of like a middle ground. I can just get one of those, you know what I mean? That's what I'm waiting on. I, I either want to fix the G27, or I want to get a DFGT. And then I'll do GT5's A spec. Until then, no GT5 for me. At least A spec. You consider yourself to have a decent snake voice, to be honest. Yeah, you can do a good snake, you can do a good dark side fail, you know. That's all I know. <laughs> I haven't finished God of War either. I've only played the game a couple times, but you can see a boy just like Kratos. <laughs> yeah, dude. Okay, see, I've tried out the G29 at my friend's house. I've tried out the G29 before, and I've pressed the pedal, and I've always thought to myself, why is the pedal like this? Like, the G27 doesn't have that stupid stopper on it and like I didn't I don't like the brakes at all on that we on that pedal set dude it's so dumb unlike project cars we have to push the stopper a bit to get full brake oh oh okay yeah I, I don't I don't know dude it, the the brake stopper just feels kind of weird to me like I've used the G27 pedal set with uh the pedal mods before and they feel great but But yeah, um, damn, I missed a lot of comments this year. Is this the first 24 hours? Eh, I want to say the first 24, I'd say it the more, more like the first three hours. Or four even, I don't know. We'll see how long I go in this stream, I don't know yet. I like that they translated the boy to the Portuguese Brazilian version, it was funny all the differences on the voice. Okay, at least team orders were in fact. Like every boy was slightly different from another. <laughs> You have a T three hundred RS and is absolutely class. Nice. I've used the. Okay, UFC. See ya, man. Good to see you again, dude. Hey, dude. Hopefully, um, hopefully you can be part of the commentary next time I stream this because obviously I'm not doing the whole twenty four today. I'd love to have you back on because, dude, you're you're a really good guest. Anyways, um, yeah, I've only used the twenty or the T three hundred. <laughs> Alonso Fernando is faster than you. Time to get out the WC before you be right back. But yeah, I've only used a T300 once, and this is before I got my TGT from Thrustmaster. This is when I had a T150 still. And I did feel the, the difference immediately. I was like, okay. I, I tried it out at a Formula Drift event where they had a GT Sport set up and, you know, they had a little challenge. Get the fastest lap around Dragon Trail and win, uh, from Toyota, win a JBL set. So I won, like, a JBL speaker and some headphones, which was cool. I gave the speaker to my brother. I kept the headphones for myself, which I use, actually, for my streams when I use the actual TV to play console games because I actually have a headphone jack on the TV. So I have like a six foot extension cord from Amazon and then I use the headphone jack there. But yeah, that's the only time I've used the T300 and it felt really good. Don't beg for any of this. Why can't I beg for races? Hmm. Well, the only thing you can beg for is to get banned. I'm kidding. I won't, I won't ban you. <laughs> Sorry, Francisco. The faster get richer. Oof. <laughs> I 
Well, Fernando's about halfway through his stint so far. <laughs> Roblox meme, yep. I love that meme so much, dude. Like, that that Roblox face cracks me up. Every, every time I see that face, it makes me laugh my ass off, dude. It's so childish, too, but it, it's, it's so damn funny. Oh, nice, dude. Um, what are your settings like for GT4? Wonder how they thought that was a good sound. Seriously. Minimum as it has a GT7. Oh, okay. Yeah, dude, I seriously wonder about that too. I'm like, hmm. I wonder how they thought this eh, was a good sound. I can't do it that good, but. Like, who sat there and just thought, hmm. This is a good death sound effect, you know? Like, a, it sounds like a lady getting hit. The man's not hot, stream. Or meme. Every, every time you get hit, just move, 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 move. Needs to upload something? Well, you know, okay. So here's a here's a bit of advice that Jimmy Broadbent gave me, LT. Upload what you like. Let me pull up that message to me. Uh, to me hold on, hold on. Let, let me go to my DMs with Jimmy. Let's see here. There it is. Yeah, so he tells me, do what you enjoy. If you force stuff, your audience can tell. So, don't upload for the sake of uploading. Like, I upload every day because I have, you know, I, I, I'm doing an LP. So it's like, I enjoy doing this Let's Play format. If I wasn't doing a Let's Play format, I wouldn't upload every day, because I'd only upload videos that I actually enjoyed making, you know? Jimmy Broad No Security Bolt Bent. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Be authentic, be yourself, the stream will be lighter. Yeah, exactly. Just enjoy what you're doing, that's it. Like, when it becomes forced, then, like you said, your audience can tell, like, the best example is, okay, that Wings of Redemption guy, you know, like, the, look here, look, listen, you know, that guy, um, the one who made Call of Duty content, like, he, he even said it himself, I, I know I'm going down that fucking rabbit hole in this stream, but, like, he said it himself, like, he was just like, I used to make Call of Duty content every day because I had to pay my bills, and it's like, shit, well, you just pretty much just said it right there and then, you know? So like, there was no passion behind the videos, I guess. It was just all, all of it was forced. You just forced yourself to play Call of Duty and you forced yourself to commentate over it. Like, that's not fun, you know? Like, any, even if there is money involved in it, I don't give a damn if like, I don't give a damn if my YouTube videos make $2 or $2,000 a month. I don't give a shit. If I'm not gonna have fun with it, then there's no point in doing it, honestly. Your cat likes to be in the tub? Dude, I wish my dog likes to be in the tub, but my dog, every time I give her a bath, she tries to escape. It's funny because, like, whenever she whenever she sees anyone else walk into the bathroom, like, to see her getting a bath, she will literally, like, try to go to them and end, like, plead for help. Like, if I'm torturing her or something. I'm like, damn. No. <laughs> like, I'm trying to get you clean, damn it. Racing intermediates are not grippier than rain tires in this condition. It's 100% rain, Francisco. Are you trying to sabotage my race, sir? I did a sport race of 530 amps to get better grips of the wheel. SR decreased quite a bit. Penalties happened. Oh, jeez, dude. 
You gotta practice. You gotta practice before you get in, dude. Exactly, Gus. That's that's what it's all about, dude. You hit it right there. You almost spun something like twice. No, we're not talking about Article 13 anymore. We, we talked about it earlier. But yeah, um, we're not talking about Article 13 anymore, Roman. That was kind of earlier. They, you know, him and Abstract Sky told me what Article 13 was all about. But we just kind of like drop that conversation all together. We're talking about other stuff now. We don't really have a structured conversation right now. It's just all random, to be honest. You may start an LP on PS4. Yeah, dude, go for it. You know, go for it and have fun. Just have fun with it, dude. Alonzo, this is James. No, it's a yoke. I like your sense of humor. You want some obnoxious advice? Drive better and stop sucking at it? Well, you know what? How about you comment better, huh? <laughs> Article 13. You have to intensely roll your eyes every time you say an Alonzo quote. <laughs> Turn down for what? <laughs> Even with a rocket ship. <laughs> no more radio for the rest of the race. <laughs> what the fuck? That is how he says it, huh? I guess that's the one thing I'm gonna miss about Fernando in F1 is just the radio quotes, because to be honest, like, him being turned down for gets channel banned. You better not report my channel for copyrighted material. You better not. With that being said, let me go and play a whole album without filtering the audio or anything. Anyways, um... To be honest, like, that's the thing. Everyone talks about, like, I'm gonna miss Fernando, Fernando's... Will it be streamed? No, um, if you're talking about the, I, I can't, I just, dude, I didn't even think about it. Did I even sound like Fernando? I don't think so. And look at that, it's nighttime. The sun's starting to come down, even though the sun wasn't really up. Well, the sun was up, but there was too many clouds. There's too many train. Weather. But if you're talking about this race, Roman, no. If you're talking about the 12-hour, um, the 12-hour kart race that I'm going to, yes, I'll probably do a IRL stream. Yes, I'll do an IRL stream from there. I won't use, I won't do like the whole race, but I'll do like the start of the race and stuff. But the question is, I have two. Okay, here's the thing. I have, you know, 18 Diego DDs racing in the in the slower class. My buddy Luis is racing in the middle class. And then I have a group of friends who have their own team in like the, the smaller class too, so it's like, where do I film from? Whose pits, uh, whose pits, um, pit area do I film from? Oh yeah, yeah, you know what I should do? Content too good for free. <laughs> if you report this for that, I will. Dang, you reported my comment. Put user in timeout now. <laughs> I'm not that cruel.
Holy shit. Okay, I, I looked away for a minute and then I looked back and I heard the car screaming by that loud. I was like, is that Fernando about to lose? Like, he's about to spin out or something, but no, we're good. We're fine. Let's see here. Put user in permanent timeout. That's sweet words for, for being hammer. Really? You got reported for that? Did you get punished by YouTube or something, dude? That doesn't- dude, that's like... the lamest insult. Wait, why did Kuru get banned from Ranked Adventures in Forza Horizon? What? What happened? Why, because he was too good? You know, seeing his content really inspires me to make a Need for Speed Most Wanted um, speedrun. Knowing that I will never be able to beat his world record, but I still want to do it just to see how fast I can beat the game. No glitches or anything, because I've seen him do that glitch. What? Wait, really? I didn't see any of his Forza Horizon streams, to be honest with you. He wall it all the time and pushed people off? I didn't... Wow. <laughs> Lamus Insol is calling a dad someone that makes too many mom jokes. Your mom is so fat that whenever she steps backwards, the, uh, she goes beep, beep, like a truck. Ah. Yeah, mama jokes haven't really aged that well, to be honest. Or maybe, maybe it's like a thing you do as a kid and then you realize they're just kind of lame. Oh, the female versions of dad jokes. Oh, okay. See, I'm stupid. <laughs> so, please excuse me for not understanding what you said. Anyways. Yeah, R Ramon has a good point. That's all people do about it. Wait, there's videos of it, but I still like them as a speedrunner, but you think you can get, get away with speedrun tactics online? Hi, stupid. I'm intelligent. Oh, nice to meet you, intelligent. Um... Wait, so does he... Does he have, like, a ego, then? Does he have, like, an overinflated ego because he's, like, the world record holder for all these Need for Speed games and whatnot? Or... What's the deal with that? Because if that's the case, then... I, I would actually kind of have an issue with that, you know? Guru HS, more like, more like that. Oof. His chat is blind. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't really, I don't really too, watch too much of his live stream stuff. Like, I'll occasionally jump in, but I don't really pay attention to the chat, so I can't really agree or disagree with that. With that being said, he's a hell of a good speedrunner for NFS games. I mean, goddamn, dude, that that one uh, glitch that he did to skip like the even number blacklist members—that's insane, to be honest. Like, it, it's crazy to think that you can actually skip the even number blacklist members by clicking with the mouse on the very bottom corner of like the little box with the text. Wait, really? There's a account that tracks swear words. And what? What does it do? Does it does it just expose people for swearing? And yeah, Flip King, if you could send me that on Discord, I'd appreciate it. But wouldn't you be scared too, Francisco, if you know, you're racing in the rain like this with a freaking group C core after all.
So those are the current standings right now. Nope. Oh, sure. <laughs> Well, we're about to lap with with the wall tightness. Oh, okay, got it. All right, Nando, pick up the pace a little bit, please. You can go a little bit faster through there, I think. Oh yeah, I wouldn't mind passing now. I wouldn't mind dying, you know. The G forces probably kill me, but hey, fuck it. <laughs> Die with a happy face, right? <laughs> yeah, boy. You know what? We can go one more stint. I know I said that this stream was going to end on this stint, but I think we can do one. We have time for one more. So yay, we're going to do one more stint and then... And then we're ending the stream. Be right back. Alright, see ya. See ya in a bit, my friend. So we're really close to lapping wit. I forgot all the original drivers are back in the cars. So Petit, Wit, Bentley. We're really close to lapping Petit. Uh I haven't, actually. Yeah, and it is getting dark gus. The nighttime is upon us. You're about to go to bed soon? Oh, okay. It is late for you guys in Europe, after all. It's what, uh, it's barely noon here in the States for me. So it's 8 p.m. for you, and in Portugal it's 20.43, so 20.43 in military time, that's 8 p.m.? Wait, earthquakes? What? Alaska gets earthquakes too? Oh, they probably do have tectonic plates and shit, they probably do have a fault line there. Which, by the way, no, I didn't hear. Holy crap, 7.0 in Anchorage? Are you serious? Really? It's... What? So the... Let's see here. The U.S. Geological Survey says that earthquakes are common in Alaska. Dude, I didn't even know Alaska had earthquakes. I thought that was just a West Coast, like, California thing. I thought it was, like, California, Nevada kind of thing. Not necessarily Alaska. But I guess they're common. No, Alaska, dude. Well, let's just hope that... Let's just hope that, um... That people are fine over there, dude. I don't know anybody in Alaska, but... If there's anyone who's possibly watching this from Alaska, you know, I hope you guys are doing alright.
that's nuts. Oh shit, Alonzo went off track. But yeah, um, damn. Oh, he got around wit. Okay, cool. Yeah, wit on obviously brand new or newer tires than us. When is it gonna dry? Um, that's a good question. It might not even dry in the race. It might just keep raining throughout the entire race. We'll see. The weather is random after all. It could stop raining in like two minutes. For all we know. Oh, it's under the Ring of Fire. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Seeing the rain race reminds you of the drift of the pace car. What drift? Oh, okay, I remember now, yeah. It also kind of reminds me of, like, IndyCar 2014. I think it was 2014 when, um, at Toronto, when, like, there was a shit ton of rain. And the pace car actually, like, locked up going into turn three. It was pretty nuts. We had a GT1 just ahead of us. Again, not for position, but trying to lap the Bentley. Come on, Alonzo, get around him. There you go. I'm not even concerned or anything. It's just we're just driving here. <laughs> That's pretty much all we're doing right now. Damn, everyone's following close. Well, eh, the GT1's sort of behind, but not by a whole lot. Not, not by a whole lot, to be honest. Now that is a sexy car. I think it's like the third time I've said this in this stream, but hey, it is true. Okay, so one of the Vipers is pitting. We haven't looked at the rest of the field in a while, so let's go ahead and do that. Quinn in the R390 is really slow. Leal in the CLK is really slow. Via in the Pescarello is really slow. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> I'll stop. I'm just saying that over and over again. Yeah, these guys are just way off the pace. The only exception is probably Wit, since he's following us behind, you know, closely. Yeah, Alonzo's getting a little bit more crazy. I think he's gonna pit this lap, because it's every 11 laps with the R92. Just posted it? Okay, cool. Alright, yeah, I'll take a look at that after the stream is over, uh, Blip King. Thanks for posting that. Yep, so Alonzo's gonna pit this lap, and then for the stream itself, one more stop, or one more stint, I mean. But obviously, for the video itself, if you guys managed to watch all the way to this point, well, we stopped the video at the six hour mark. <laughs> Through really shitty editing, of course. You know, I'm actually really surprised I managed to do three hours of this race without a co-commentator. Normally I like to have co-commentators for these races, but I wanted to try something different. But next time I stream this, I'll most likely have the UFC veteran on. Or someone else, who knows.
Oh, I appreciate that, dude. But it's usually... I, I The way I like to do it is, like, I like to invite people onto the streams, you know? But, yeah. Like, I, I just don't have an open, you know, like, an open chat kind of thing, just because, like, it's a little bit too much to manage, especially, you know, like, in case you have any just jackasses just, you know, join in, you know what I mean? Like, it's not really worth having an open, an open chat. Alright, I'm gonna stretch for a bit. I'm gonna get up and stretch for a little bit while Alonzo finishes this lap, so I'm gonna mute myself real quick. So, yeah. See, that's why I can't really play this game with, like, a controller. Well, B-Spec obviously is different, but in terms of, like, an A-Spec thing, I wouldn't be able to do these long endurances with just a controller. I'd have to move around and stuff because, shit, you know, like, I, I, I have, you know, you, you gotta get the blood flowing. You gotta stretch, you gotta get up. You can't just be sitting down the entire time. So you gotta get up, you gotta, you know... Stretch out the, you know, stretch out the legs, stretch out the arms, just get the blood flowing a little bit. But it'd be different if I had a wheel, you know. Like if I used a wheel, it'd be a lot different because you're moving all the time. Then it's just like I don't feel like sitting down the entire time. So yeah, this will be the final stint of the stream itself. And yeah, after the stint is done, we'll end the stream because. Three hours? That's actually a lot. That's actually a lot of progress for this first stream. Initially, I was going to do maybe about an hour and a half or two hours, but we might even get to the four hour mark by the end of the stream. Who knows? But you know what? Like I said, that would be a lot of progress. More than I ever thought we'd get. I just realized something. We never um, increased his pace while he was in the pits. So Kobayashi's completely in the blue right now. You know what, we have a huge lead. I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break, so I'll be right back. Sorry once again that I'm going away from the mic and the stream, but hey, I you know, I gotta use the restroom. I'll be back. Plus, we have a huge lead anyway, so it doesn't really matter right now.
Alright, I'm back. So, look man, even if you, even if you don't know if you could, dude, just give it a try anyways. I mean, like, I'm, I'm going to school for communications, right? And it's like, I've thought about what, what I wanted to do, and it's like, you know what, man, I've been, you know, this year has been incredible with the amount of people, the amount of people I've met, the kind of people I met, and it's just like, it's kind of giving me a, a different outlook on life. What I'm most likely do is, I know it's kind of a Jimmy thing to do, and I know other people, other YouTubers do this as well, but I've thought about doing a 2018 reflection video, because I feel like, without really going too much into it right now, like, because I want to save that for an actual video, maybe I'll upload on the 31st or something of December, um, I have a whole different outlook on things now. So it's just like, I don't know man, it's just like, even if it doesn't happen, let's say, let's say whatever I want to pursue doesn't happen, at least I, you know, I tried, you know what I mean? That's the way I look at it. It's starting to get really dark now. It's getting darker. Matter of fact, Roman, do you want to hop on? Do you want to hop on the stream for a bit? problem I mean I don't know dude it's like look I, I mean I'll be honest with you I'm autistic bro but I don't know man it's just like uh, yeah I'm autistic and sure it's like at times it was kind of a hindrance well it's not really I'll be honest with you when it comes to when it comes to my sake it's like autism only really affected me as a child because I wasn't able to communicate properly as a kid and it took me a little bit longer to get to my age, you know, like, like my age group for communicating. But other than that, it, it had kind of no effect. So, oh, maybe next time? All right. Yeah, sorry, dude. I figured, you know what? Like, I have a few, you know, a little bit of time. Might as well just, you know, maybe have you on for a bit. Maybe next time. We'll see. But anyways, um, I look at it this way. It's like, I went from being a kid who had troubles communicating with people in my age range to somebody who's trying to be a little bit ambitious in life and trying to go for these goals because I'm just like you know what man like I under whatever yeah I have autism I'm autistic I don't talk about it often because it's like number one I don't like to feel I don't, I don't want to like I don't want people to feel pity for me that's that's number one because 
in the past, I've, whenever I've told people about this, they're always kind of like, I'm so sorry to hear that. And I'm just like, don't even be sorry. Just, I, I, don't, I don't give a fuck, honestly. And number two, it's just like, it, it doesn't affect my, it doesn't really affect my, my everyday life. And I know it's kind of, it's kind of greedy for me to say that, but it's the truth. It just doesn't affect me because mine's was very, like, mine's was very slim, I guess. Where it just affected my communication skills as a kid. I couldn't really talk until I was like five or so. Something like that, but it's just... Oh, that's a chip? Okay. Well, you know what, dude? If I mean, if you ever want to talk about it, dude, you know... You, you have me on Discord. You can send me a private message on Discord if you ever want to talk about it. Same with you, Gus. Okay, the Viper is... Why am I even commentating on the Viper? Honestly, we know where the Vipers are. They're dead last. They're GT cars going up against prototypes and whatever these are. GTP or whatever the category was considered. GT prototype or whatever. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, it, it's... It's all about um, early intervention. Like mine's was, my mine's was pretty. I mean, god damn it. it. It's not like I'm getting upset talking about it. It's just like I don't want to sound like a dick, you know? Because because it's a spectrum. It. Oh really? You have a serious talking about it? Okay, I'll check it out, dude. Anyways, um, I don't want to feel like a dick saying like, oh, mine's is like mine's isn't as bad as other people's, but it's just kind of the truth, you know? It's just like. Because it's a spectrum disorder, it, it it it's different for everybody. Everyone has a kind of a different experience with it. But um, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, with my case, it was early intervention, and I'm fine now, dude. I'm studying for communications. I'm I'm studying for communications in college. If you had asked my parents that when I was growing, when I was like a baby, then they they would say you're out of your fucking mind. Or maybe not. My, my parents are pretty supportive about anything that I do, but you know what I mean. It's like, who, who would think that a person who, who had trouble um, communicating when they were a kid would go on to study the subject that they were having so much trouble with when they were young? I know, the generic sound. This car has the same sound as the four GT, four, uh, not GT4, the GT LM race cars and stuff. And the Corvette. I think the fully tuned Corvette, if I'm not mistaken. I just love the way these cars look in the rain, honestly. Like, holy shit. I know I've said that before, but seriously, like, it looks so cool, like, that shot. Like, I can't wait till the till the sun fully goes down and it's fully nighttime, because I know some of the thumbnails for, like, the second video, like, hour 7 through 12, are gonna be badass. And it's gonna be interesting, like I said, to see how I handle the thumbnails. Editing's gonna be tricky, but, you know what? That's all part of the project, part of the LP. Gotta figure it out somehow. Because like I said, I can't press stop record and then press record again. I know losing maybe a second of footage is gonna be, it won't be a big deal, but at the same time, it's like it's still a second of the race that I left out. It would just be kind of awkward, you know? Oh, 
Oh, really? <laughs> I didn't even know that. That R34 in GT2, it sounds pretty cool, to be honest. I thought, you know what? I thought the engine sounds were all the same, like a GT3, GT4. I thought they shared some of the same engine sounds from, the, from Gran Turismo 2. Like, the Viper had the same engine sound, like the GTS. It had the same engine sound forever. Oh look, it's the BMW that was giving us a lot of trouble earlier. That wouldn't allow us to lap him. Oh, it sounds like they're racing R34. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. See, shots like those are gonna be so much fun to do. I seriously can't wait for the thumbnails. Like, I know it's a 24 hour race, so I still have 20, well, about 20 hours to go. But regardless, it's gonna be so much fun to, to take photos of this race. What's our lead like? Still only one lap ahead of Petit. But Petit's gonna have to pit soon, right? Or can he go another lap? Okay, he's gonna go another lap, I believe. See, here's the thing. I could just let the race run by itself and leave. I've thought about doing that before, but here's the thing. Kobayashi only has a one lap lead. That's it. Maybe towards the end of the race, when it starts to get down to like hour 18, hour 19, maybe I could just let the race run, maybe I can go get, go get food or go run an errand or two, you know, I could probably do that, but... I don't want to do that unless I know we can ensure ourselves a victory with Kobayashi cruising. Because everybody else is pretty much cruising at this point. It's not like if... Oh, okay, I thought Petit was in the pits. It's not like Kobayashi's going to cruise and then Petit's going to start muscling laps around Lasarth, you know? I just want to make sure that there's that cushion between laps. So that way we can ensure ourselves a victory. Another thing too is, I don't think the R92 is OP for this race, I just think it's the fact that we've been managing the driver so well through the rain conditions that he's just been able to, you know, lead every single lap and just lap the entire field at least once. So yeah, at this rate, we don't even have to go and maintain his pace or increase his pace. We can just let the race run and probably win, but at the same time, it's like, what would be the point, you know? Like, oh, no, the, the point is so that way we can just win the race and I don't have to, you know, put the effort or whatever, but I, I like this, honestly. 
I didn't. I never thought I'd be doing the 24 hours of Le Mans B spec and actually sitting down here and and navigating through this entire thing. Never did I think that this would actually happen. I didn't think I'd have the patience for this, but this has been fun so far, honestly. It'll be better next time, of course, because I'll actually have guests on. You know, I'll have a guest or two, maybe. And it's like. I wanted to experiment first and see if I had the patience to do this and if I could stomach this. And the answer is yes, I can. Look at that. The last laps, 430.562 for Kobayashi, 449 for Petit. Look at the sector differences, holy shit, like... That's how much he's pushing? In these conditions, Kobayashi's doing an amazing performance. It's getting even darker now. Getting closer to the nighttime. Well, it's already the nighttime technically, but I mean like full sundown, full moon, everything. Sky completely dark with rain. Although I'm hoping to have mixed weather soon. Hopefully, hopefully by the second half of the race we can have some dry weathers, weather conditions because that would be interesting if the weather can be dynamic, you know, not just stay rainy the whole time. Rainy, is that even a word? Probably not. Okay, Kobayashi's trying to take a little bit of a wide line. So let's just calm him down. Tell him to chillax, bruh. Okay, Petit just made his stop while Kobayashi just exited the chicanes. And Wit stopped too. Okay. Alright, guys, so we've officially lapped the field twice now. So, whatever alternate strategy that um, Schmitz and the rest of the BMW squad. Oh yes, I've heard of Mo uh, Motorsport Manager. Before he became a meme on iRacing, Scott Speed actually promoted that game a lot, and it looked interesting. I've always thought about playing it. I might consider giving it a try. I, I used to play Real Racing 3, but then, I don't know, I just kind of stopped playing it. But the only games I really play on mobile are, like game pigeon stuff with, you know, friends and family through text. PUBG Mobile, because in my opinion, PUBG Mobile is the best version since the Xbox version is just a nightmare and then the PC version just has hackers all over. And then Grand Theft Auto. So, like, I have GTA, I have the GTA trilogy, so 3, Vice City, and San Andreas, and then I have Liberty City Stories on my, P on my iPhone. Which, who knew that Rockstar could actually make their... Oh, nice! <laughs> awesome, dude. Is it difficult to play that game? I mean, I can imagine it sort of being like, G you know, the B-Spec in GC5, but a little bit more complex since it's all focused on... Since it's all focused on, you know, 
managing your entire team, not just directing drivers. It is difficult. Okay. I'll give it a try then. I'll definitely give it a try. It sounds interesting. It sounds fun. If I enjoy this, I should be able to enjoy Motorsport Manager. But yeah, um, anyways, who knew Rockstar could make their PS2 games into great mobile ports? Like, GTA San Andreas, I'm surprised by the performance of that game. Like, how well it runs on mobile. And sure, some people might argue that, you know, Oh, you know, you hold down a button to aim and fire, you know, to, to auto-lock and auto-fire, but at the same time, it's like, you know, you, you auto-lock on freaking console anyways. PC, you have to do it manually, so it's like, it's kind of the same thing in my opinion. It's very complex and detailed. Is it free on the App Store? Let me check. Let's see here. App Store. I hope so. If it's not, I'll probably pay for it anyways, if it's not too much money. Motorsport Manager. That's only four bucks? Wait. Wait, which one is it? There's several Motorsport Managers. Are you talking about Motorsport Manager Mo uh, Mobile 3? Is that the one you're talking about? That one's $3.99. I don't know if that's the actual one, because I see other ones, but they don't look like... They look kind of... fake, in my opinion. Yeah, these other one, The first one is free on Android. Yeah, so I'm, I'm wondering which one, then. I'm wondering which one is which one's the real motorsport manager. You have the third? Okay, so it is probably the third one. Team order racing manager is for free. Okay. I don't know really, I don't even know if that's on the the app store. It's your team order racing manager. It's by Hasenberg Games Gus. But yeah, um, oh, it, it's the first, okay, so the first game of Motorsport Manager is free. The third one is $3.99, which isn't a lot. $4, is, that's not bad. I'll probably download the first one and then give it a shot, and if I like it, I'll get the third one. Right, the icon has, like, a fake form of the one car, and it just says Racing Manager on the top in, like, generic letters. There are three, yeah, there's three games, that's all. The first one you said is free. The second one is $1.99 on the App Store, and then the third one is $4.99 on the App Store. We only have a one lap gap to to Schmidt. We have two laps. I don't know. That that's kind of weird. That one. Okay. I'll give it a shot. But yeah, I don't really play too many mobile games. I mean, it's not really my thing. Icon with an F1 car and a pro. Okay, hang on. Test it and leave your opinion. Got it. That's the idea. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah. So the mobile manager or motorsport manager three has yeah it has a LMP car and it has a F1 looking car on the thumbnail. 
is my play sport games and it has a total of it has a 4.9 out of 5 on the iPhone App Store. It has 1,986 ratings. So that definitely sounds like the one. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely plan on getting it. Once I get my first paycheck from this new job, then I'll, I'll definitely consider getting it. It looks like the first Motorsport uh, Manager is not even on, on the App Store. It's only the second and third ones, which sucks. Look at the freaking R390 holding them up. Yes, team orders in effect. Even though we don't really need them. Dude, that R390 is the literal moving chicane. Holy shit. Brian O'Quinn. This is James. <laughs> I say, oh, I said Brian O'Quinn. Oh, because I said Brian because Brian Quinn. If the O Quinn wasn't there, it'd be perfect because it'd be like one of the Impractical Jokers. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that show, but it's it's good. I don't really like TV shows too much, but like especially like reality shows or whatever. And the hell, even some like comedy like skit prank shows are not even that good in my opinion. But Impractical Jokers is like one of them that is actually really really funny. So we're about to hit the four hour mark. By the end of this stint, we're gonna do a whole four hours on this one stream. Which, damn, <laughs> that's a lot of time. Oh, really? Which ones are those? See, the only TV series that I'm like, I watch mainly like Netflix stuff. But, like, the only TV series that I'm really following right now is Black Lightning, besides racing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I watch a couple of shows. Like, I used to watch Top Gear. Grand Tour, I don't really watch a whole lot of. I don't really like the new Top Gear. I especially don't like the USA version. I think it's garbage. Um, but, yeah, the only show I really watch that's not really car or motorsports related or, like, comic book related, that, that is comic book related, is, like, Black Lightning. And the reason why is because um, my best friend, um, you know, his stage name is Davier. He goes, he's on Twitch as Ambush King, which I'll go ahead and link his, um, I'll go ahead and link his uh, Twitch right now. Just tell him that I sent you. Um, he's on the, sh he was on the show. He came, you know, he was a minor character on the show, but he played a massive, you know, he was a minor character <laughs> in the whole series. That's the one thing I hate about Twitch. That is the one thing I hate about Twitch that it automatically plays streams for you. I hate that part. I've I haven't really watched much of BoJack Horseman. From what, I, from what I have seen, it's a pretty good show. Rick and Morty is hilarious. I love Rick and Morty. So yeah, you guys are gonna hear that ah, or like whatever that dumb commentary was on um, Twitch. It's the one thing I hate about the site. It just automatically plays stuff for you, which is annoying. But anyways, this guy, Ambush King on Twitch, he was on Bike Lightning. I know I'm repeating myself, but I feel like I kind of have to. Um, he had a minor role. He had a minor role in the whole series, but he had a major role in the first episode. He basically played one of like the thugs, or like not necessarily like a thug. Yeah, he is a thug. He is he is a gang member of one of the main gangs in the entire show. But it's not like he's like one of those background characters that just, you know, dumb muscle. He actually he ha he actually stirred the plot up quite a bit and he did a really good job at it. Oh, you're planning to watch Big Mouth? You know, I heard about Big Mouth and 
I, I took a um, sex ed class, and my professor was saying, like, like Big Mouth is amazing. I was like, you know what, I'll, I might give it a chance, but if anything, what I really need to get into is two shows. Number one, Castlevania. I need to get into the Castlevania show on, on Netflix because everyone talks about how amazing it is. And I need to finally watch some damn Initial D because I like all the memes and I like all the music, but I don't, I've never seen a, a, a single episode of that damn show. I heard a big thump, that's because my big ass iPhone, I put it down on the desk. This desk makes a lot of noise, and I have like this huge case on my phone, which serves as both a, uh, it serves as a charger, a phone case, and a speaker. But yeah, I really need to watch Initial D. <laughs> Hell, I have a friend who's not even into racing. Like, he's not even into racing. He's sort of into cars. But not, like, by a whole lot. You know, he likes Need for Speed Most Wanted, which is his favorite racing game of all time. But it's like, he's not really into cars. He's more into, like, just regular geek stuff and anime and whatever. He watched Initial D. He was like, Initial D is really good. I was like, really? Shit, okay, I have to watch it now. <laughs> Since he watched it, and I'm not even into anime, and he's not even into cars, and yet he gave it a seal of approval, I'm like, shit. Everyone I know watches it. I don't watch it. Never seen a single episode, never even read any of the mangas. I gotta give it a try now. But yeah, other TV shows I like to watch too are like Aqua Teen Hunger Force, when, when that was still a thing, Squidbillies, um, what else, what else, what else? I used to be a Family Guy person, but I don't know, it just, you watched La Casa de Papel when everyone was watching it, enjoyed it, and you were just like, not for me. Oh, really? Okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, every everything that people preach as gospel is not necessarily something you'd necessarily like. So I could see that. Like, Family Guy, for example. Which is kind of weird, because like, I used to watch Family Guy a lot, but... I don't know, man. It just... It, it hasn't really sat well with me anymore. Like, I, I'll watch an episode, but then, like, I just won't get that same level of enjoyment I used to have anymore. And it's not even like a, I watched this before and I watched this millions of times because hell, I can watch something a million times and still find enjoyment in it. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever watched or heard of a show called Ed, Ed, and, Ed, Ed and Eddie. It was a Cartoon Network show from back in the day. It was kind of like a um, 90s and 2000s take on like, like a, you know, slapstick style, 50s style cartoon. They even did all hand drawings and stuff for everything, which was pretty rad. Um, but yeah, I could watch that show over and over and over and over again and get the same level of enjoyment every single time. Like, my favorite episode of that show, which I'm pretty sure someone out there on this chat has watched Ed, Ed and Eddie, was when they were trying to, when the three Eds were trying to be repairmen. When they were trying to fix stuff, like in the neighborhood. It was, that episode makes me laugh every single time I watch it. So, I don't get bored easily by watching things, you know, by watching reruns. It's just that for some reason, I just don't see the same level of enjoyment in Family Guy like I used to. It's like, I just watch it now and I'm just like, eh, I guess the cutaways, eh, I guess. Like, I like American Dad way more than Family Guy. Honestly, like, South Park? I'm trying to think here, like, South Park, I used to watch a lot of South Park. South Park was pretty good. It still is really good. That's a show that still makes me laugh. Although I haven't, honestly, I haven't seen a single South Park episode. Not counting new stuff, but I mean, like, watch South Park in general in, like, at least a year and a half. Ever since our, you know, my cable company lost Comedy Central. Not, they didn't lose it. It was more like, they made it, like, a premium package kind of thing. They changed the packages around. And we lost Comedy Central at the house, we were just like, eh. And ever since South Park Studios became a Hulu exclusive kind of thing, it was just like, 
I have Hulu now. I, I could watch it. I probably will watch it when I have time. It's just like when when South Park started to go with this whole story arc thing when, when they recently started doing the whole PC principle and all this stuff, I lost interest in the show right away because I'm like, this is not what the show is supposed to be like in my opinion. Still have to give BoJack and Rick and Morty a chance. Yeah, dude. I mean, BoJack, I have to watch more of it to give an opinion. I only watched the first episode, which I don't really remember much of it, to be honest, because it was, like, a while ago. But Rick and Morty, it, it's so funny. of other shows that I've watched before that I'm into. In, in terms of like documentary stuff, I used to like this, um, I mean, I think everyone's heard of the journalist uh, uh, Anthony Bourdain. Well, he's not, I don't know if he's a journalist or he just like does like culinary stuff, but I really enjoyed his stuff back in, you know, when he when he was alive and he still did stuff on Discovery Channel and what. I don't know if it was Discovery. I don't remember what channel it was. One of those channels. Let's see here. I'm one who watches an idiot. That show was the best during the time nowadays. That's what I like that show. Yeah, Screen Leaf. Hell yeah, man. Exactly. Like, dude. I can just see if I'm having a bad day, I can just put on that show and just change my mood immediately. Although I can't watch 24 hours of it, but some yeah, Arthur. So some people basically they they go and stream Edit and Eddie or whatever show that you want 24/7. They just go and stream the whole series infinitely on the loop until YouTube takes them down. And I usually like to go on those streams and just watch a couple episodes and stuff. You like series with criticism and dark humor. I like dark humor too. You're not the only one there, my friend. But yeah, SpongeBob was another show that I really like watching. Although the first three seasons is where it's at. Season four was okay, but then after that, everything else was just stupid in my opinion. Ever since they made that uh, motion. The Chavo the Ultra 24 7 stream? Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Dude, I haven't watched the Chavo in so long. It's been a long time since I actually watched the damn show. But yeah, um, ever since they made that SpongeBob movie, the first one, I feel like that's when the show really went downhill. Everything just went downhill from there, in my opinion. And hell, dude, the Spongebob movie is like the Simpsons movie, where it's just like, there it was shown so much in schools, on TV, like on cable, like every other weekend and stuff, that you just get so tired of it. You get tired of hearing quotes, and you get tired of hearing mentions, like, The Simpsons was another show that was really good, but when it was in its heyday, but like, now it's just beating a dead, it's not even beating a dead horse, dude, it's beating like... Oh shit. I'm sorry, Arthur, so you can't trust me then? Oh wait wait. You simply trust people who don't like okay. I think men who who do like I'm gonna say wait what? I'm gonna say like what? Because like never mind, I read that incorrectly, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna say what? Like, you don't trust people who do like it? Like say what? Anyways, um is this still gonna end now? Um on lap fifty five I believe. That's when the stint is going to end, because it's every 11 laps with this car. But yeah, The Simpsons was another show. Like like I said, not even being a dead horse, you're literally beating, like, the, the skeleton of a damn horse. Or, like, the, um, the cremated remains of a damn horse. Like, you're not even... Like, it's already beyond dead, dude. It's, like, not even... Not even a corpse at this point. Like, The Simpsons is just... It sucks now. And I remember seeing the movie in the theaters, and as a kid, you're just like, oh, it's, it's this is the greatest thing ever, because it's The Simpsons, and it's the humor and stuff, but it's just like... Dude, nobody in the schoolyard would shut the hell up about the spider pig shit. 
everyone would say it, and every kid, ah, oh, it's so funny, like, no. It's not funny when you say it the millionth time. Alright, Ramon, good night, man. And thanks for joining the stream, appreciate it. Dude, thanks for staying all four hours. You, my friend, are a trooper. <laughs> Seriously. So yeah, we have one more lap for the stints, one more lap for the stream. All of you, yeah, Gus, you, Arthur, you, you guys are seriously troopers. Like, seriously, you guys, well, I think Arthur came like an hour after the race started or so, but yeah. The only thing that was pretty much hectic was the start. <laughs> the start was insane, oh my god. Kobayashi is in the grass. See, like a shot like that with the car going into the chicane in the nighttime with the Ferris wheel, that will be sick, you know? Yes, exactly, Arthur. It was fucking annoying, dude. It was so annoying. It's just like, Sparta Pig, Sparta Pig. Uh, I don't even remember the how it goes, man. It's just like, he does something because a Spider Pig does, or I don't fucking know, man. Is this game sunset matching the real world sunset? I think so. I, I'm not sure. I think it does it by. I, I think it starts it at the normal Le Mans time, so that way when it gets to the certain hour, it starts to match, you know, whenever the sun goes down, you know, in real life. So let's say the race starts at 12 local time for France, it'll start at 12 local time or whatever time it starts, you know. I think that's how it works. But yeah, man, that that's why I can't... Honestly, that's why I, I can't, like, go to movie theaters and stuff. Like, trailers, I hate trailers sometimes. Because trailers will go, like, for movies like those, it'll take that one line, it'll take that one line and just beat it, beat it to a pulp and just stretch out, you know, all the jokes with it. Over and over and over again. Like, in a very busy day and tomorrow will be the same. Alright, man, well, you know what, at least I was able to bring you some entertainment. Right? Hopefully. Anyways, um, okay, do you guys remember the Master of the Skies? I remember the Master of the Skies, and I remember seeing... And the only thing they fucking showed in that home, in the trailer, on TV, was the damn turtle scene, you know, when he's like, Turtle, 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 or like, is my, is my jacket not turtly enough for the turtle club? You know, and it's just like... Every time you in elementary school, everyone would be like, Turtle! Turtle! And it was so annoying. But yeah, I, I mean, I, I can't go to movie theaters either. Because I hate, you know, I hate whenever people clap in the audience for stupid shit, or like, people laugh at dumb jokes, you know? I'll give you an example. Like, uh, I went to go see the movie Ted when it first came out, that Seth MacFarlane movie with the one with the teddy bear and Mark Wahlberg. And everyone would laugh at all the slapstick jokes, everyone would laugh at all the simple jokes. And then, I shit you not, when, I remember this one part of the theater, when Ted was like, you know, they were talking about that one Pink Floyd song, Another Brick in the Wall Part 2, at the very end. When I think it's the, in the schoolyard, the, the, the one of the instructors was like, like, if you don't eat your meat, you can't have any pudding. And he's, he quotes that line, and I shit you not, I'm the only person to laugh at that part. And I look around me, and nobody else is laughing. But then everybody else would just laugh at the dumb jokes, with like the Susan Boyle joke, and everybody would be like, ah, woo -hoo -hoo! You know, like, okay, like, I get it, it's funny, but it's like... I, I can't watch comedy movies at movie theaters. Another good example, too, is like Star Wars films. Can't watch them in the theater because people get stupid with them. And there's certain movies I can go see in the movie theaters, like, I don't know if you guys ever heard of that a cult movie, a cult classic movie, The Room, with that one weird Tommy Wiseau guy. 
Like, that movie will make me laugh. And see, like, going to a screening for that is fun because the whole purpose of the screenings in the theaters for the room is to make fun of the movie and to have a fun old time. But whenever Tommy Wiseau or somebody else stars in another film or project, everybody wants to treat it like The Room because of how bad his acting is and stuff. Y you know? And it's just like, I went to go see that movie that Tommy Wiseau and Greg Sestero made best friends. I'm saying this before the stint ends. And everybody was, was laughing at every time, every, everything Tommy would say, they would start laughing their asses off because this guy has a Polish accent, you know? And it's like, I guess, I'm trying to not treat this like The Room, but yeah, it's, it was really annoying. Now you're making me a bit hesitant about watching the Lion King remake. See, see, that's the thing, it's just like, I don't know, man, it's just like, movie theaters sometimes just aren't fun because of the, it depends on the people that you get. Like, some people can just be really obnoxious in movie theaters. But anyways, guys, that is it for this uh, these first four hours. So I'm going to go ahead and transition right now to the next two hours of this video. All right, we are back. Day number two upon us on the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Weber's going to take over the wheel. And this time around on hour number four, I have a guest. So go ahead and introduce yourself because I think it's been a really long time since you've been on the stream. This is funny. What's going on, guys? It's uh, Ambush King. Um, also, Davier. Um as some people have called me, especially you, because you're my boy. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we're, I'm just here to just be an announcer, talk shit, and have a good time. I'm here in Atlanta shooting something new. Close. Um, location and, and name of project, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to announce what's going on, hopefully by the end of next month, in terms of the new year, 2019. Yeah, ah, man, that sounds cool. Ah, thanks for the cash, chump! So, just, uh, just good stuff. Hey, Jimmer! Dude, thanks so much for the $50 donation, bro! Dude, what? sorry for ruining my aunt Jimmy! Come on, bro! Dude, thank you so much for the $50 donation, bro! Holy shit! Dude, thank you so much, bro! Jimmy, Holy you're a guy. crap! Oh my god, dude. Thank you so much, dude. But yeah, man. Um, Diego actually introduced me to one of his buddies named Ryan Pistana, who lives in Vegas. And he's a uh, photographer and a, um, a uh, what's it called? A graphic designer. And so he kind of gave me a little bit of a hookup with a deal for some channel art and some and some stuff like that. Dude. That's sick. My, my boy, Jimmy. Thank you so much for the channel art, bro. <laughs> Go. Holy sh Dude, I'm like shaking right now. I didn't even think I was going to get that. <laughs> hey Jimmy, I, Jimmy, I actually got a uh, Christmas gift for you. It's something a little small I got from the Ellie Auto Show, but um, I'll tell you, it's a Mark Blundell little Hot Wheel from the good old Champ Car days. So you'll be getting that in the mail soon, my friend. But anyways, yeah, dude. So what's been going on in Atlanta, man? Tell us your secret location because I want to know. It's been good, dude. Just been kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it's been weird. Oh, got Jimmy. What's up, Jimmy? Jimmy Broadbent. Um, just wait. Where is? How did he even donate to you? Okay, so I have a Streamlabs donation on. The oh God. Below. <laughs> I don't. I don't even know what to say, dude. <laughs> and by the way, that thanks for the cash chump um, uh, alert is from Need for Speed Underground too. When you lose the very first outrun race with Rachel Scar. So the girl that you race with, she's like, thanks for the gas jump. Like, she's like, like, um, wait till Rachel hears what you've been doing with your ride. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, man, how's the shooting in Atlanta going? I know you can't really say what you're shooting out there, but hey, dude. Um, it's been good, dude. I, I have a fight scene, which I'm really, really excited to like kind of show and, and whatnot, and then um, I fly back tomorrow, actually. Today's my last day. I wrapped Thursday, so I had a couple days to myself. And it's actually been really nice because I've been doing a lot. So basically, I've been in my hotel room just doing nothing but just watching streams and supporting people and blah, blah, blah. Um, and it's been good. I haven't put on pants in like two days, and I love it. Um, <laughs> Like, honestly, it's been freaking fantastic. And now I'm just kind of like, all right, like, like, point where, like, there's so many things planned and getting ready for the new year and, like, things to do, like, before the new year. So it's been, like, it's been crazy, but also, like, super fucking fun. 
and I'm just e excited. Oh, oh, um, thanks for the cash. <laughs> believe it or not, Dom. one of the goals is to actually meet. <laughs> and actually sit down. Hey, thanks for the twenty. Thanks for the twenty dollar donation, Dobby. By the way, appreciate it. <laughs> I just sent the shit. What the fuck? Well, I just got a notification right now. No. I'm about to say. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it just got, it just notified me right now about it. Oh. Superhero guy, how how's my car running? Um. I left some oil at the start line. I have to end the race fast. That's how it's going. Yeah. No, nah, I'm kidding. R92 is running really well. I actually have a two-lap lead over the rest of the field. Actually, one lap because we pitted. But yeah, the the Pescarolo and the Bentley that's in this race, they're no match for the R92. Wait, are you? Wait, how are you doing this exactly? What is it? Okay, so this is B spec. This there's two versions of the game on Gran Turismo 5. There's A spec, which is where you drive, so like licenses and right. you do like the Sunday Cup and stuff. And B spec is where you're actually a um, you're actually like the team manager. So you're actually managing the drivers when they run. Oh, that's sick. And yeah, originally I did B spec first because I wanted to, you know, I thought it was going to be boring, so I was like, eh, I have to finish this game 100%, so let's get this out the way. But then when I started doing it, I was like, dude, this is so much fun. It looks nuts. Oh, you're watching it right now? Yeah, that's why I'm like, wait, this is weird. <laughs> Do servers work in this game? No, the servers stopped working since 2014. Oh, rip. Yeah. Big rip. But yeah, dude, uh, it's funny too that we were, that we were talking about it earlier. Um, hopefully, my, my team uh, that, that's been like, you know, getting me to do a whole bunch of stuff and everything, um, they're already trying to set up, they're already trying to set up like a meeting and like hangout session with Lewis, believe it or not. Wait, what? Yeah, like just to like sit down and like have a conversation with them and stuff. And like, I, I don't know exactly what the, what the plan is, but like, like, you know how Lewis just did something with like Will Smith? Yeah, 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 but who, who's trying to do that? Like, RJ or something? Yeah, RJ. Oh, RJ's trying to... Does RJ even have connections like that? He so has like, some connections, yeah. So that's why I'm... Kinda, what, so like Bose or something? Or Mercedes or what? Uh, might be a little bit more than that, which is kind of why I know what you were asking about prior, which is why, like, I was like, let me hold off for a split second to make sure that I have this right prior to, like, going, hey, this is what's going on. I already told him about it, so he has it's like okay like we've already started to kind of put some stuff like together and kind of go okay we already know who we want to speak to we have the connections in order to get to them now is you know and like that whole thing so it's like it's been kind of crazy but like yeah we're still kind of figuring it out but dude that, that, that would be badass Lewis Hamilton so, might be happening next year <laughs> I mean, you know, for the crazy ass, you know, for the people who think that you're fucking insane for saying all this, tell, just tell everybody what you do because I don't, you know, you haven't been on the stream for like a long time, so it's like just let everyone in the chat know who you are and exactly what it is that you do. You know? Oh God, um, I'm a total homeless man. Um, I don't know what he's talking about. I don't do any of that. Um, no, I'm originally an actor. I've been doing it for like, it's gonna be actually close to 20 years. Um, I've been in shows from like iCarly to Cold Case to. Um, of course, uh, Black Lightning, which is currently on the CW as of right now, so I'm with DC Comics. Um, I've been doing music, which I've been writing some stuff recently, and I just got in the studio with a guy um, out of uh, what is it? I just got out. Of, I just got in the studio with a guy that works with people from um, uh, from the Migos to Cardi B to Twenty One Savage, a lot of the ATL rappers, and um, him. And then did some other stuff as well. So it's been like insane, like just putting so much of this stuff together. Like we have like this whole plan and and list of stuff for like 2018. Like we already have like um, <clears throat> a couple of sponsors that we're trying to like put together. Cause I also Twitch stream as well. I stream on Twitch. Um, terms of service. Um, <laughs> terms of service. Twitch streamer talking to a YouTube streamer. Uh, yeah, I, I gotta hang up the phone right now. Yeah. Sorry. Um, we don't want your kind here. No shit. Toxic. <laughs> and then video, video buffers. <laughs> um, hey, hey, Mushy, how's it going, dude? Good to see you here, man. So the goal is to. Um... <laughs> so RJ actually put in one of my my goals and actions is to participate in a F1 National Continental GT. 
wait, what? <laughs> like, that's his goal? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm like, yeah, it's a goal, but I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? Like, look, dude, I, the way I look at it is like this. It's like, if you had asked me in the beginning of 2018, like, if you had asked me, like, a bunch of this stuff and you told me, hey, I'm going to be trying to do this, I would say, you're fucking insane. There's no way we're going to do that. But after the kind of year that we had, dude. Oh! You know, especially, also... like, after E3, uh, after E3, after Comic-Con, dude. Like, I'm like, you know what, man? Anything is possible at this oh, point. Oh, and dude. we're actually talking to Porsche. Remember that whole thing I was telling you about the a driving course and shit? Uh, you're talking about the experience? Yeah, the four-day driving experience with Porsche. R right there in Carson, right? Yeah, we're trying to make that happen. Ooh. Yeah, we're trying to make that happen. So what I want to do, or what I would like to do, is do like I would try to make it even. So four people. So like yeah. So so you and maybe we pick two people, like selectively pick two people, um, and we do like a whole you know four day thing, or even like two days with with Porsche. Which I've been trying to push for a while, and he has contacts over there, so now he's just like, okay, it's only, it, like, now it's like, this is where, like, the whole social media and growing, like, the name and, and like, all that stuff kind of comes into play, because then they go, oh, he has an audience, he has this, he has that, it, it's, it's much easier now to go, yeah, let's do that, that's nothing, you know, whatever the situation, I think that's where... More like more of that will start to come in, and then there's like other stuff that we're planning on doing, especially with like a show that I'm producing, and then my EP with some visuals, met my collab with some people. Um, um, let's see, still talking, to possibly getting in game, but then also putting a song in the game as well. Um, Wait, which game? Uh, NBA 2K. Oh shit! Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm still talking to them about that and everything, and it's been it's been crazy. Was, dude. was that after, was that all at the house party that we went to after? Yeah, after that was a two K that was a two K thing. Yeah, I know, I know. They had the uh, demo kits and all, and that was at a uh, wasn't okay. So uh, that wasn't Twenty One Savage's house, right? But he was there. Whose house was that? I don't remember. So it's somebody's. That's like it. It's some artist, and I'm and he like rents out his house. For like house parties to like all kinds of celebrities. Oh shit! Okay. Which is actually and really sick and smart because like when you're not there, you're making money off the house. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> they're spending like. And, and all these celebrities and rich people are there, and then two of the brokest motherfuckers come in yeah, but, into the house, <laughs> <laughs> making names. But imagine and connections. But imagine having like, and then, and then going. That's 150 grand or something like that to have the house for one night. And just, you know, party or whatever and like whatever, you know, whatever situation they're doing. And usually it's like companies that do it because, you know, they never want to, they never invite people to their mansions. It's always like a mansion yeah. that they rent. So there's a, there's right. really a few places so in Hollywood or like Beverly Hills or even like Bel Air that they'll rent knowing that people ask, who is this person? Oh, we don't really know. It's not okay, like, so... it's not like Savage. It's mostly to just keep them safe, you know? Right, exactly. So in this particular case, this was a uh, 2K house party that we went to, exactly. and you got invited by RJ. Right. That's why we were there in the first place. Okay, that makes sense now. Because I, I remember just walking in there, I was just like, dude, I feel so out of place, but then I was like, you know what, fuck it, let's just start talking to people. I, and like, I love you know, I, that. <laughs> like, you know, you've, you've actually gave me a lot of confidence to start doing that kind of stuff. Like yesterday, dude, I got a little story. So yesterday, I was at the LA Auto Show, and... Um, me and my buddy Mikhail, we were just at the at the Jaguar booth, and we were looking at the Formula E car and the schedule. We were talking about the schedule for a bit. We were like, "Oh, you know, Saudi Arabia is cool. It's too bad that Chile they um, you know, they changed the track because of the people complaining in the city." And then this dude walks up and then he's like, "Are you guys um, are you guys uh, Formula E fans?" And then we we're like, "Yeah." And he was like, "I work for one of the teams." And he's, I'm like, "Oh, really? What do you do?" I was thinking, "Oh, maybe he's like a tire change, not tire changer, but you know, maybe he does like." Maybe like some PR or something, but he's like, I'm the team principal. I'm like, oh shit! <laughs> in my mind, I was like, oh shit! In, in my, you know, my actions were like, ah, pleasure to meet you. My name is Elmer. I stuck my hand out professionally. Shook That's his hand. my boy. We, That's we talked my boy. For a bit. We talked for a bit, and then like, I told him like, you know, I really want to join motorsports, and then he just kind of gave me this look like, ah, oh, not one of these people again. Like, how do I drive for the team? But I was like, you know. I want to join in like a public relations communications field. And he kind of looked at me like, oh, 
this is different. I was like, I was like, what kind of advice would he have for someone like me? And then like, we talked for a bit, we talked for like a good like 15, 20 minutes, dude. And then he gave me his business card and then we just called it a day, dude. I was like, oh shit. Like, did that all just happen? Never thought I'd meet Roger Griffiths, you know, the freaking team director for Andretti's Formula E program. That's insane, dude. Oh my god, that is fantastic. That's my but, boy! <laughs> you saw Francisco's comment. Yeah! <laughs> That's what I love, though. I love that. I love that you developed and eventually was just like, fuck it. And now it's like, what I do. And I love it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I love that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, man. Because it's like you're only I was here just... once. You never know when you're going to come back. You might as well just, like, just take care of it and just. And just go hard in the paint, and then it's just like it's... <laughs> hard in the paint. Yeah, you gotta go hard in the paint, bro. Bro, you gotta go hard at these parties, man. Like it's one of those things where you gotta be like, where you just gotta not give a fuck and just talk to people. You never know who you're gonna conversate with. You know? No, absolutely, dude. Because what's the worst thing to tell you? No. Exactly. Like, and then you move on. It. You go, oh, I appreciate you. You have a good day. And then the next person is probably even bigger than the person you just talked to. Like, right? Exactly. So but yeah, I, I mean, shit, dude. I mean, like, look, look at what happened at Comic Con when we met freaking Anderson Silva. Like, I don't like. I, I think that's what really gave me like, like, like the, the 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 confidence to be like, okay, yeah, dude. Like, maybe nothing can top this. <laughs> right. Maybe nothing can top this at all. I'm just like, you know what? If that all happened, and if we're friends with him now, anything could happen on this planet. You know? Exactly. That's where that whole thing comes from. That's why I'm like, I'm hyped for you because bro, next year is going to be even crazier and it's only going to get better. Like it's definitely one of those things where it's like, bro, the money is out there to be made. Like, no, absolutely. In, I mean, and you, and you would know, you would know since you're getting, since you're like really not, you're not even putting your foot in the door. You're kicking that damn door down, dude, with yeah. like the black lightning roll and like all this stuff that's been happening to you this year. You know, you have to kind of be like, Hey, like, I'm here, but like, fuck this. Pay attention. Like, y'all gonna miss out on an opportunity, and when somebody grasps on it, they're gonna be like, damn. You know what I feel like? I feel like Netflix, when they were trying to talk to Blockbuster, and Blockbuster laughed at them, and now Netflix is like the biggest, like, video organization company in the world, and like, Blockbuster yeah. is like bankrupt. Yeah. I feel like Blockbuster, like, pitching the Netflix. I th no, I feel like Netflix pitching to Blockbuster. Like in the early. Oh, really? Like you're gonna have the last kind of laugh thing? Or that's not what, it, that's that. what it kind of feels like. Only because like, you know, it, it's it's one of those things where there's so, you know, and it's not that you really take, um, take personal to it. It's more of like, you know, all right, like, okay, I see what rebound. You rethink Let's, and then you keep, yeah. you know? No, of course, of course. So that's where I come I mean, from. I, I, I rethink, I keep moving. I, I mean, and I can only imagine that because of the fact that, like, since you've been enacting for 20 years of your life now, right. like, you, you, you've you been denied so many roles and stuff, and, you know, it's always just been kind of like, you know, it's been part of the game, but eventually you just kind of figure it out, and you figure out how to attack it, you know? Exactly. It just, it, and all of it just takes time, but... Awesome. It's like... Dude, did you hear that? moving it's like bro it's like you don't even have to worry about it like like look like look at you i know you was you know struggling trying to figure stuff out and everything and then you you took on streaming and now look at you like now now you're like after streaming like i, I could be streaming right now like and you're like on this grind and like people see that and they appreciate that like you know and it's like that's what's cool like that's what's fun and and like once you enjoy that the rewards i'm not even really gonna say that they're the icing on the cake they're almost the same as the journey because when you appreciate the journey the rewards are just it, it just kind of adds on to it and you're like oh thank you i appreciate that like that means a lot you know right absolutely i mean I, i'd say i'm kind of reaping in the rewards right now because i never thought i'd actually have a small but like bit of a close following oh antonio wolf what's up by the guys oh, what's up by the way guys sorry <laughs> got tongue tied there um yeah i mean i never thought i'd actually have like 275 people following my youtube channel and just you know have like a, a regular 
you know, audience just tuning into the streams and just chatting and stuff. And I'd say, you know, it'll get bigger from here. I understand that. It takes time. It takes work. It takes energy. But, like, I'm determined to make it happen. And even if it doesn't, I'm still happy with whatever outcome I'm having right now. Okay. Look at that. Exactly, Mushy. Exactly, dude. That's all that matters at the end of the day. Just work hard, and then it'll all pay off at the end of the day. That's the biggest of facts. Like, seriously. Like, it all will come together, and... and it's enjoyable, you know? That's why I'm proud of you, dude. Like, look at you, look at you. You just, you just got some new channel art, like, that's about to be popping off on your stream. Like, just like that. Why? Because you're streaming, you're racing, you're doing what you enjoy. Like, you're my boy. I'm trying to make it to where, like, I hope both of us can be able to benefit from what we're doing right now and go, yo, like, like, we, it's time to put in more work, but still enjoy what we're doing. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, that would be nice. That would really be nice. Hey, Trap, how's it going? All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to get some water. Entertain my audience right now. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> get that water. All right. All right, I'll be back. Oh, my goodness. I got to see this, though. This is interesting. Let's see this. So, is this qualifying time, I'm guessing? What up, Wolf? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to uh, the moving chicane stream, uh, the main streamer himself just went to go get himself a nice little glass of water. water. This is actually really interesting. Welcome to uh, the... I can't even like actually watch the stream just because my loud ass is over, <laughs> is over this, so I have to like watch it on mute, and I hate it. I cannot wait. The goal is to try to drive like a classic like classic car like that one like old like that niece like bro man the goal is to have what do you call it um a jay leno garage but like that you know what i'm saying that's the goal i'm trying to have that type of fun where like i like i can give away a car. like what Who does that oprah ellen this is a race four hours in. This is four hours in? Good lord. A moving chicane garage. Ooh. And then, but then, like, every, like, but then every corner of the, every corner of, like, his garage looks like an actual chicane. <gasps> <laughs> that would be cool. Um, this is a 24-hour race, dude. What?! Yeah, this is a 24-hour race, and I streamed this race for four hours uh, Friday. Oh. Now I'm streaming however many hours I do today. This is crazy. Yeah, exactly. The goal is to get the most left in 24 hours. So yeah, um, these really? are this is the this is the 24-hours of Le Mans on GT5. Oh, so that wow. big race in France. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's in Gran Turismo, and um, I'm doing the B-Spec version. So I have three of my drivers that I'm managing doing this race because they all switch they switch drivers whenever they're in the pits because they actually go ahead i can't wait until we can do our own i know like uh like champ car endurance or lemons or something dude that's gonna that would be so much fun um or like even thunder hill that's like a good uh amp like a really big uh 25 hour endurance like no, amateur race like, no, no, thunder no. Hill. no but like think bigger team owning <laughs> well that yes but i mean like think Let's see. You like All Star Weekend? Yes. What if it was like? I'm trying to think. What if it was like, 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 a, like streamers? Or not even like streamers, but like streamers versus like actual like race car drivers. And maybe it's like a fundraiser. And it's 24 hours of Le Mans, and it's like half streamers, half, you know, um, half actual race car drivers and we race for a charity of course we probably probably all get like some form of a profit but then it's just like you know maybe we do like like one race somewhere really huge we invite everybody out it's like a really cool thing and then it's just like this whole like dope event of just like racing for 24 hours and it's like i don't know that that would be awesome. You know? Yeah, Wolf, the 24 Hours of Lemons, that's one thing I was referring to. Or the 24 Hours Citroen, Citroen 2 CV Enduro. Good lord. Yeah! <laughs> Imagine! Hell no. <laughs> Not the 2 CVs. 
dude, I would I would be bored in a minute. Like twenty four hours with that damn core. Twenty four hours of lemons and tomahawks. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to die from G load overforce, bro. Oh my god. That will, or, or not even like twenty four. Let's say like four. Twelve. Yeah, or four. I mean, I know there there are like endurance or there are like endurance charity races. You know, like there was one recently on iRacing for like Make a Wish, which was pretty awesome. Yeah. What's wrong with the two CV? Well, it's not fast enough. I mean, it would be fun to do a 24 hour race, but dude, I, I'd do it. But the problem with the 2CV is that, do you really think most people out there would want to drive a car that's 12 horsepower <laughs> for 24 hours? Nope. <laughs> 12 horsepower? <laughs> yeah, dude, the 2CV is like I'd one of those drive cars from like the 50s. <laughs> Knowing that it would break down six miles in. I had a Hummer in, in Underground too. Oh. I gave it like dollar sign spinners and like freaking uh, the little like ace cards on the side. It was so goddamn funny. Oh my god! <laughs> like some typical pit my ride shit, dude. Oh my god! We're gonna put a brand new 50 inch plasma in the back seat of your car. <laughs> Did you hear that? Like in the show, like they would do all of that and then they would take it out after they were done filming. Oh yeah, because none of that stuff will actually pass. Um, <laughs> DM DMV safety regulations. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. Yeah, dude, like you can't have a but you can't have like a smoothie blender in the goddamn middle of the of like the of the seats, dude. Like, <laughs> you know, like uh, shit like that just won't work. That's... You can't have TVs in the bumpers, like. You can't have TVs are... in the bumpers. Dude, there was one episode. Oh, hang what on. What was the point of putting TVs in bumpers? <laughs> oh what was no. The point? <laughs> you trying to give the people behind you a good view of- <laughs> I guess, but all they show is exhibit videos anyway, so I guess that's all you can watch? Exhibit- <laughs> <laughs> Oh god- It was on the lights? No. No, 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 Wolf. There was an episode, I think it was season 3, where there was like this dude who drove a Toyota Corolla, like a 2001 or 2002 Corolla, <laughs> and it had- they- they- uh, my, Mad Mike literally put TVs in the bumpers. I'm not shitting you, like, on the sides of the bumpers. <laughs> TVs and bumpers, new show on Netflix. <laughs> I think uh, I think uh, I, I think Fifty Cent would enjoy being a part of that. <laughs> oh, hang on, I'm a, I'm googling that shit right now. Good, I'm gonna show you. That's so funny. Oh my god, it's the first picture that fucking came up. <laughs> oh. oh god, hang on. Take a look at this. Can we just talk about how horrible the designs were on some of those cars? I'm posting it on my Rice channel on my Discord. Fuck that. <laughs> the look, I sent it to you on Discord. It's right there. Oh my god. Like we definitely need to talk about some of these. Some of these were so bad. Oh <laughs> that Corolla! Oh, oh my god, it's on the sides! It's not like anybody can fucking see them! <laughs> <laughs> At least if it was in the back, you could kind of see it, like near the trunk. They put but the fact that they put TVs on the fucking bumpers, dude, like, like, like it's so stupid. Like, where are you gonna see those? Like, it's funny too, cause you know what was funny back in the day? We thought that shit was cool. <laughs> I know, dude. Like back in the day, it was like, oh, that's so sick. But nowadays, you're like, what am I supposed to do with that? Right, dude. It's like. I remember, I remember one of the episodes that was so cool because like this lady had a Ford Escort and they turned it into like a BMW kit car and I was like, oh my damn, it's a BMW. But then I, then I realized I'm like, it's a BMW body kit on a Ford Escort and it's still a Ford Escort <laughs> engine that hasn't been fixed. Oh wait, what about the pickup truck that had the pool table in it? <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> Do you remember the ice cream truck that had the fucking mechanical ice cream hand? Yes! That fucking one. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, what about the hey, Civic Ramon, what's with, up? What about the black Civic with the Lambo doors? Oh my god. Do, do you remember when they, they did that Need for Speed Underground 2 like collab and they made a 240SX in the game? No! And then they made, yeah, dude. They made a 240SX in the game and it looked horrendous. And then they made it in real life, which it's kind of cool they made an NFS underground car in real life, but at the same time, dude, they made a really ugly car. Like, it was so bad. I'll show you right now. What about, and I know some of y'all forgot about this one. 
Y'all remember that 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 SUV truck that had love for on it with a chocolate fountain in the trunk? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what season was this? <laughs> no, but I gotta tell you, I kid you fucking not. <laughs> oh, Wolf. Oh yeah, Wolf just posted that uh, BMW kit car on fucking uh, on Discord on my Rice channel. There you go. Nah, you that's need a to Ford. see this shit. That's I a Ford Escort. That's not a BMW. Look, look at this. Hey, GT player, what's up? <laughs> Why? Why is the obesity time? Why is this a thing? I don't know, but it's so funny. <laughs> oh, obesity time. <laughs> I, I... I swear to God. Oh my good lord. That's one of my... That's one of my favorites. That's so funny. It's like, bro... That's so bad. That's how you get ants, so okay? <laughs> <laughs> that's how you get ants. <laughs> I, I never thought about it that way. It's like you have a fucking food dispenser in your car, so like you're gonna get <laughs> you're gonna get infestation there, dude. dude. Like that's how you get ants, okay? Oh, good <laughs> lord! <laughs> oh my god! I'm trying to I'm trying to remember some other ones here. Um, shit, I'm trying to remember. Let's see. I'm gonna look up Pit My Ride. Let's just look up Pit My Ride on, on Google. Let me see. Let's see. <laughs> For Jake Glazier, MTV pretty much went, just went with what I told them. But Glazier had said that his grandmother smoked in the car for the show. MTV threw an extra few dozen cigar butts in the car to make her look like a total disgusting person. MTV apparently didn't really listen to Justin Deringer when they asked about his favorite colors. He said he hated red, and then the interior of the car ended up mostly being entirely that color. <laughs> I hated red. Cool, we're gonna make your car red. <laughs> Ambush swears to TMC. TMC has three letters. God has three letters. Coincidence? I think not. Yeah, Illuminati confirmed, Francisco. <laughs> um, um, do you? Okay, I actually. That story is funny because I remember hearing one where it's like this fat Asian dude who, um, who, who said that one of the MTV producers actually put a candy bowl inside his car. <laughs> like, b before they pimped it out, they said they put a bowl of candy in his car and told him to tell the camera that he has candy in there in case he gets hungry. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, dude. Some of those MTV producers were real dickheads, dude. <laughs> Oh, good lord. <laughs> they really went and just fucked around with the goddamn um, guests of the show, dude. And just made them oh! seem like the scum of the earth. Bro! Bro! Oh my god, I gotta show you this one. Which one? You think you think LEDs on the bumpers was bad? Yes. <laughs> bro! Wait. Nah, bro. LED fenders! <laughs> Because why not? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why is this? Why is this a thing, no, dude? No, oh, you, this was this. Hey, hey, but if you're sick, though, is that a CT scan? <laughs> That's not fucking real, dude. <laughs> No, no fucking way. They didn't. No, dude. This has to be one of the later episodes, not like the later season. <laughs> I don't remember that, dude. <laughs> I can't even see T scan it. That's so dangerous on so many levels. Dude, imagine just like you crashing the car. That's like what a radiation like Bro! emergency right there. Dude. Everybody like, in that accident is dead. Like <laughs> from a hundred mile race radius. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> who thought of this shit? Back to this back, back story. To this. Fucking owner, Mad Mike. The owner Mad of the Mike car. thought that was a good idea. 
the owner of the car is a nurse, so of course West Coast Customs thought a mobile CT scan would be ideal. Nay, Ness. Edition. <laughs> it's so dangerous it keeps the cops away. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Bro. Oh my god, dude. See, but that looks like gas, though. It doesn't look like West Coast Customs, so that's why I don't remember any of the episodes I gas. I remember all the West Coast Customs ones. Because, I don't know, I thought the guys on gas, like, yeah, the West Coast Customs guys were clowns, too, but I feel like these guys were even worse. Like, because at least the guys from West Coast Customs had some sort of personality. These guys were just douchey, you know? They're just like, <laughs> yeah, put this in the car. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Wait. Oh, that AMC Pacer? Oh, God. Wolf just posted that on my Discord. Honestly, honestly, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, some of these cars, they should've just scrapped the shits. They should've just- Magnus- Magnus Walker? Uh, I'm not sure who that is, Ramon. What about the Silver Surfer 1991? Wait, Silver Surfer? They did not make a Silver Surfer car. Stop. <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, okay. That's gotta be one of the ugliest fucking cars I've ever seen, dude, oh, on Pin My Ride. Oh my god. I can't breathe. <laughs> TMC, I have a challenge for you in Ace Bank. Paint the car you drive the most pink, the rims, those steelies in lime green, and always drive it with camber at negative 10 and stanced. Oh, good lord. <laughs> negative 10? Yeah, so he wants that camera to be really fucking deep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, n no worries, Roman. I didn't even notice you made a, a, a typo. Don't even worry about it. God, dude. But seriously, like... Actually, do you remember Pit My Ride International? No! So, MTV had, like, a spinoff called Pit My Ride International. And it was, like, Little John going and pimping out people's cars in Europe. No way. Yeah. International. Yeah, dude. But I can't find any of the episodes online. It's like it, it, it doesn't. I don't know, man. Like it, it just. I, I, it's not. It's not as popular as the original Pit My Ride, of course. But yeah, dude. Little John was was the host of that damn show. Oh my god, that's amazing. But yeah, let me see if I could find. Let me see if I could find it anywhere. There's hey, an IMDb page for it. Hey, chat. I'm curious. Um, for everybody. What's what's everyone's dream car? I'm cl I'm, I'm very curious. Hmm. <clears throat> Does that include us? Yeah. What's your dream car? Mine? Yes. Oh, uh, if I had to pick one. Um <clears throat> hmm. Tough one. Francisco says, Red Bull X2011. <laughs> Dude, you're gonna die from all the G-forces in that car. What? Or 2000. Yeah, that Red Bull car from GT5. <laughs> you remember that fast Red <laughs> No! Car? Yeah, don't you remember that fast Red Bull car that go like 300 miles an hour in the corners? Oh god, you're gonna die, bro. <laughs> yeah. Or a 2002 Lotus Esprit V8. Okay, yeah, sounds sounds more reasonable. Wolf says a 22B, or in private 22B, oh, I remember or 32, I remember or like This was like the shit. Whatever happened to them? I don't know, to be honest. Like, does Lotus even make... Well, they probably do make new cars still, but I don't really hear about them as much. Let me well, because we're in... Well, first of all, we're in the States, so, like... Lotus isn't even that big out here. Lotus, let's see. I'm a, I'm a, Ramon I'm a, I'm a, says a Honda S2000. I agree with you, Ramon. I'm about to go to there. I would love... I, Ramon says an S2000 is his dream car. I would love to have an S2000. That's a good classic. Me, my dream car would probably be a 96 Viper GTS. 96 through 99 Viper GTS. Honestly. Uh, let's see here, Lotus 2018. Yeah, Lotus still makes the Evora. 
they still make the Evora to this yeah, year. The Evora, but... Yeah, the model range is the Evora 400. I don't see anything in, in terms of anything like new new. It looks pretty good though. I could hear that. <laughs> I could hear that video. <laughs> I'm gonna say, why is it still playing even though I paused it? <laughs> <laughs> S2000 API or a 2002 Viber GTS boy, gimme. Oh, if, yeah. if it was me, really have been keeping my eye on that McLaren 720S. I don't know. Yeah, why. that would be a that would be a sweet car to have. I don't know why. I've been really vibing with that one a lot. I don't know why. You can never go wrong with the Honda S2000 though. No, of course not, dude. Yeah. I mean, like, it, it, it it's really hard to find one like oh, in the real mint yes, edition. Though. Yeah, I would do a Viper GTS. I think a like a 96 through 99 Viper GTS, that particular model range would be my, my dream car. Bro, the GTS I, when, I was, sick. when I was in North Dakota, I saw a 97, dude, in... I think it was a 96 or 97 in blue with white stripes, dude. Why did they and fuck it, up the, the, the Viper after that, though? I don't know if they fucked it up. I, I, mean, I didn't... I, bro, I did not like that Viper, dude. Like, that Viper you know, after the, 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 the GTS, bro? I was like, bro, what is this? You don't like the SRT10? No. Wow. I was not a fan of. I was not a fan of it. It just looked fat for some reason. Like I was not a fan of it. Wow, I'm actually surprised by that. I've actually never met anyone who actually went and. Um... Didn't like the Viper GTS. Yeah, no, I like the Viper GTS. It's the SRT10 I was not a fan of. Oh, right, SRT10. That's right, SRT10. I'm sorry. Really? Not even, not, not even like the ACR or any of those ones. Let me see the ACRs. Let me see the ACRs in a lot. Yeah, look up like the one from GT5. Look up 2008 Viper SRT10 or ACR. I mean, ACR. I'm. Uh, I mean, it's. But I'd take that GTS. Yeah, I mean, GTS is my favorite Viper model, yeah, that's without awesome. a doubt. That SRT-10, though, I'm like, uh, I don't know. <clears throat> but, yeah. Um, no, nah, dude, I don't know, dude. There's something about... Uh, SRT-10 is not my favorite, but I still really like the car. I don't know, dude. Just for me, like, Vipers are, like, my favorite American cars ever. Yeah. And it sucks that they don't really make them as much anymore. I think I think Dodge is trying to take like a new direction or something. I, like it sucks that they don't race Viper professionally anymore. Like they used to race them in the GTLM category in IMSA. It's because they were like, losing worldwide. They over that shit. Not maybe they're losing money or something, or maybe they just like did a whole change in management. But yeah, dude, like the last year they were in in racing, which was 2014, like as a work as a factory team. Yeah. They end up winning the championship and like they still pull out. They're like, oh, we're done racing. Like, Cause, fuck. Cause, Cause look at like, cause look at um like people like Lamborghini and like Ferrari nowadays. Like Lambo, like they, basically, like they're trying to like, they're trying to like market towards like the more comfortable lifestyle people rather than like the racing racing fan. Why? Because this hype beast thing is such a big thing now that it's like people want like more of that luxury, like cool shit. Like, yeah, I got a Lambo. Like Lambo. I like. I accidentally hit the intro screen. Sorry about that, guys. I just noticed right now. But I was once typing in SRT10 because I forgot I have the number zero on the right side number pad on my keyboard as the um, the hot key for the intro screen. Sorry about that. Lost the true Viper essence. That's what I'm thinking, though. Like that's that's how I feel. Yeah. Okay. I. I... I can see where you and Francisco are coming from now. Like, the look is that... just, I don't know, they just lost me. It's weird. <clears throat> Chicane ignores Discord? What? Oh, you're talking about... Dude, that Honda CRX appears in Gran Turismo. Ew! <laughs> That's what you want me to do? Fine, I'll do one car like that <laughs> that's so fine <laughs> but yeah um yeah man um damn you're looking for channel art yes i am um i uh i i've i've got a friend who does uh, channel or like like uh social media designs and stuff for like logos and whatnot and youtube channel art so yeah gotta Thanks be to the curry gotta be good channel art sir uh, have you seen Diego's uh, social media designs? No. Look at his um, look at his uh, logo designs. That's um, that's his buddy Ryan who did that for him. I'll, I'll send that to you. Hang on. Let's see here. 
And we'll do. You know what I've been thinking? Like while I've been here in Atlanta, I don't know why. I've been watching a lot of like BuzzFeed Unsolved, like murder mysteries and shit. Murder mysteries? Yeah. Like, like what shows? Um, one of the big ones I saw just recently. Hold on, let me find it. Um. All right, thanks for that UFC and Francisco. <clears throat> so under BuzzFeed Unsolved. Um. Or isn't on your playlist. Yeah, it's BuzzFeed un Unsolved True Crime. Um, let's see here. Because they were like some crazy ones. Um, oh, let me just go to my history. Duh. What the fuck was that? What? Sure. That loud b boom noise? Yeah! I heard that through the mic too. It, that was on your end. What the fuck was that? That was weird. <laughs> Why is running and screaming, so I guess I'm safe. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Um, BuzzFeed hates everything. Yeah, I don't really know much about BuzzFeed. Uh, about BuzzFeed. Um, okay, so let's see. I was looking at um, the odd vanishing of Amelia Earhart, the strange disappearance of D.B. Cooper, uh huh, um, the horrifying murders of the Zodiac Killer. <laughs> the fuck was that? The D <laughs> last word. <laughs> Francisco Francisco says the fuck was that? Last words before ambush got ambushed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I give him that one. I give you that one. That was good. Well done. Um, let's see. The strange drowning of Natalie Wood, the disturbing murders of Kevy Keddy Cabin, the creepy murder room in ten forty six, the grisly murders of Jack the Ripper. There was one that actually was Um The Bizarre Road Trip of a Missing Family. That shit was crazy. This is truly a Le Mans stream. Yeah, pretty much just absolute dominance from the leader and like no competition whatsoever. That's why you're the best. Choosing. <laughs> I'm the best team manager. <laughs> Leading my guys to victory every so time. So, Brad, oh. did you hear in California, like, lights was flashing, like, yellow and blue in the sky and green? No. Wait, when was this? It was literally, like, two days ago, bro. What? In Cali, there was, like, it was raining, right? Yeah, it was raining. Oh, well, no, wait. Two days ago. Two days ago was, that was Friday. It was raining Thursday. Okay, well, it could have been Friday, but whenever it was raining, dude, there was, like, weird flashes of, like, like green, yellow, and, like, blue in the sky. Like, at night. Really? Yeah, freak people out. Like, what the fuck? It, they say it's, like, a, a phenomenon when it comes to, um... I think they said it was something that involves the rain and something else. But it was something, what? But it was something that, like, made sense, but then it was, like... It still was, like, dude, what the fuck? Yo, that's crazy. It was super weird. Yeah, I, I don't I don't really remember much of, of that to be honest. Like, could it be aliens? Aurora Borealis? Aurora Borealis at this time of the uh, at this time of day, at this time of, at this place of the country. I'd be terrible. Localized entirely in my entire kitchen. <laughs> I hope anyone gets that. That was a Simpsons meme. But anyways, um Well they all in DMT. <laughs> I'd be terrified. Okay, Francisco says, read the comment that Francisco just posted. He wants you to try saying uh, tongue twister. Oh god, Amber's trying to say phenomenomenomenon. <laughs> hey Arthur, what's up, dude? Wait, in, in Discord? <laughs> no, on, on, on my uh, on my chat. No. That's what he wanted you to try saying. For blue, yellow, and green is someone trying wait, which one is it? <laughs> is someone trying to get Cali into the EU? That's what he wants me to say? No, no, no. He wants you to say phenomenomenomenom. Oh, phenomenomenomenomenom? Who's okay. prepping dinner? Oh, yeah. It's dinner time in Brazil. Cool. Phenomenomenomenomenom. 
That's still crazy though. Yeah, but that shit was like, man, I tell you, that shit's crazy. And it's crazy how some of them weren't solved. And you know what sucked? They could have caught. Which one was it? They could have caught the Zodiac Killer, but because they said that the police taken him for a black guy, <laughs> and they actually ha was in contact with him, like the police actually stopped him while he was walking, they let him go. Really? Yeah, the Zodiac Killer, killer could have actually been caught, but because someone said, oh, it was a black guy rather than a white guy, they let the guy that they had go. Which was the Zodiac Killer. <laughs> Damn. I was like, bro, how could y'all, like, really? I was like, really? They, like, like, they actually had him and everything in custody, and yet... No, not, not in custody, up, but like, they was, like, actually wait. talking to him. Like, on the Oh, they were like, like, oh, talking to him on the street. As a mur Ten minutes prior. Like they, oh, wait, ten minutes prior to the to the murders? No, ten minutes, no, ten, or sorry, not ten minutes prior, ten minutes after the murder. Oh, ten minutes after the murders, oh. Like, bro, it was like crazy, dude, it's absolutely crazy. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> like, two police can actually say that they probably talked to him, like, yo, we probably talked to the Zodiac. No. Oh, my, wait, Francisco, what? <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> So he went, so Francisco went to the, let's see here, he went to the Disasters and Accidents Wikipedia page and it added shutdown of Gran Turismo 5 online servers to the list of disasters and accidents. Oh in the world. no. <laughs> Wait, did you really? <laughs> yeah, he did. Hang on. Let's, let me look that up. I need to send the link. I need to send the link. All right, hang on. Disasters <laughs> and accidents. That is in, that is incredible. I can't wait to get back to the streams. I can't wait. Probably do a full twenty-four hour stream too. A twenty-four hour stream? Yep. Yo, that would be sick. That's, I might Shit. go for it. My my dad said he'll he'll have coffee ready ready for. <laughs> I'm like, cool. I'm gonna need two of them. I'm gonna need two of them. <laughs> oh shit, dude. Oh, we have the pit. Okay, Alonzo's gonna take the wheel. All right, cool. On Hall of Fame is fucking crazy in my career. My cow's blown out by 49 versus Toronto. Plus, as a 62 overall, you just feel super sluggish and bleh. Gotta wait till I have a higher. <laughs> That's funny. May 20th and March 28th, 2018. That's so funny. That's crazy. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> God damn it. I'm trying to find where, where Francisco just posted that. Like, I, I don't see it anywhere else here. Um, search and discussion? Or, no, no, no. It's here. Yeah, because all I see is disasters and environment. Disasters. Unless that's where he posted it. No, I don't, I don't see that. Lackey waving and failable arm failing tube man. TMC is furious, furiously typing. Francisco, can you go ahead and um, link that? See, this is like the one time where I actually allow you guys to post links. Lackey waving and failable arm failing tube man. Lackey waving and failable arm failing tube man. <laughs> Lucky. All right, so Alonzo just took the wheel. Full fuel, new tires. It's still raining. Oh, we just reached hour number five, by the way, of the race. Nineteen hours to go. Woo! <laughs> when am I going to continue the race after this? I don't know. Um. I wasn't planning on streaming today, but considering the fact that everyone left the house, I was just like, hmm, I could stream. Might as well stream. Fuck it. <laughs> Is it weird that some of these old cartoons, like, they don't age? That they don't age? Yeah, like, to me, like, should be, like, 25 by now. <laughs> oh, that's the problem I have with The Simpsons. 
that the show has been still going on since 1989 or 1990, and yet I, I guess the environment changes, but the characters don't age, where it's just like, it, it just doesn't feel right. Yeah, they should be grown by and, and I, I, I'm not picky about it, but it's just like, well, shit, if the show sucks still, and the characters are still the same age, and the, and the show just sucks, then just end it, please. Hey, how's it going, dude? Welcome to the stream. That's crazy. When you research Wikipedia, but you never find it. Yep. That's because Wikipedia is a tube hole. You get lost in that shit real quick, real easy. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> like, you'll be looking up, like, like a certain word, and then all of a sudden you'll look at, like, like, <laughs> like, what is death? <laughs> oh, like, wolf. Oh, wolf just linked. Oh, okay, list of accidents and disasters by death toll. Is this... Is this where Francisco posted... Let's see here. Hang on. Grand Tur No, it hasn't came out. Nope. There's probably somebody that has to no. prove it. Oh, list of disasters. Wait, wait, no, is this 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 isn't it. Damn it, Francisco, where did you post that? I really wanna see. Damn it. <laughs> well, enough of that. So, why haven't you played UC Sport recently? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Because I'm out of town and I'm garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I might get back into it, though, hopefully, actually, pretty soon, just because I've been, started, I've been playing uh, Red Dead recently. Red Dead oh, nice. How is it? It's been, dude, it's been fun, bro. You get hit and run people with a horse, bro. Like, yeah, dude, I, I I heard that, like, Rockstar really went all out with, like, the animations and everything. Like, bro, they right. really, really went all out. Bro, like, if you're wanted, bro, like, to you, my dude, like, it's not a game. Like, bro, if you kill somebody and someone witnesses it, it literally says, witness. And you have two choices. You can either kill the witness or you can keep it moving. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? Like, I, I'm killing all witnesses. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. To the game because I accidentally killed somebody and like one person came and saw it and I killed him and like three more people came behind me I was like what the fuck <laughs> I mean I haven't really watched much of the playthrough of, like my brother's playthrough but like what I've seen from him was like some of the train robberies and some of the train robberies look dope as fuck dude oh my god it's so crazy dude it's so fun I enjoy it a lot I have like a cowboy hat on I put my flannel on with like my you know like the cowboy dicky thing like the necklace thing that the cowboys rock yeah I wear like that shit I put on my cowboy voice and I tell him right here hey what's going on partner do we got we got ourselves a problem <laughs> I get real loud I'll let him know I'm not the one to mess with you. Okay. <laughs> Francisco posted on, on the current events um, uh, on, on the Wikipedia's portal slash or portal current events slash 2018 March 28th. And it's you know, it's a bunch of messed up stuff like terrorism in the UK. You know, it's like Oh no. Uh, a, a, a constructed building collapses in South Africa killing three people and then shutdown of Grand, Grand Turismo 6 online servers. <laughs> 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 That's so funny. <laughs> hey, Gus, fact. what's up? This is a fact. Good, good lord, dude. This is a fact. He's not wrong. <laughs> okay, so he posted in the current events of whatever day Gran Turismo 5 server shut down, so that's where you have to find it. Oh, got it. Yeah, because he posted Gran Turismo 6 mm -hmm. in, in March 28, 2018's Disasters and Accidents of the World. Mm -hmm. Disaster. What you had? My accidents. Well, yeah, it was a tragic day. That so, uh, GT6 servers were actually pretty good, but like, unfortunately, GT6 came out around the time where the PS4 did, so a lot of people kind of jumped ship to PS4 and didn't really play GT6 online. Because remember, Gran Turismo 5 online was like really big and really cracking. Mm-hmm. But like GT6 is wasn't really as big, but it was still like much better. I'm, I'm gonna send you a link to a clip from um from when I was streaming um. <laughs> <laughs> when I was streaming uh, Red Dead, it's a funny clip. It's a pretty funny clip. What, you clipped it on Twitch? Yeah. Nice. 
Wait, when did you stream Red Dead on Twitch? I don't... Uh, I streamed it... I started streaming it, like, early November. And then I was doing a lot of practice for the Fortnite Winter Skirmish. So then I didn't play. So once I go... Come back, I'm definitely gonna be playing some, uh... Some of that. Hey, Luca, how's it going? Um... Wait, you're competing in a Fortnite tournament? Well, I was. I was, um... I, I tried to call for it, and I was close, but I didn't make it. How close were you? Two points. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I know it hurts. Was this one of those like big like money tournaments? Yeah, one million. Holy shit. Yeah, Fortnite. One mil. Not last the last people that placed to end to make it was twenty six. I was twenty four. Wow. We're doing great. Thanks for asking, Luca. So let me ask you a question. Since we went to the, um, went to that Fortnite after party, I know you met, I, I don't remember what streamers you met, because I'm not really much into Fortnite streams except for, like, yours, to be honest, and, like, maybe one other, and another buddy of mine who streams. Um, have you, have you ever played with the people that you met at, at the Fortnite party? Like, yes, I think I one of those guys was named, like, Lupo, I think? I haven't met, I haven't, um, um, I haven't played with Lupo yet. I've just, like, ha like, talked to him and whatnot through, like, Twitter and such. Um, and I haven't been able to get into a game with him yet. That's been like pretty crazy, just because it's like you know everybody loves to um, want to play with Lupo. So it's all about timing. But I have played with a couple other people from like Phase Clan and stuff like that. And that's like one of the bigger clans. Of yeah. Game. So I've been playing with like a few of them, cool guys, and it's been it's been pretty good, dude. Just been, like yeah, you know, I've been I, I've been enjoying it. They've been coming in. And I've been just enjoying it, like, little bits here and there, and it's it's been crazy, dude. It's honestly been really, really fun. Yo, that's insane, dude. Who am I talking to, Luca? Um, this is my buddy, Ambush King. Um, he's a streamer on Twitch, and also he's an actor, um, in real life. And he's a really good buddy of mine. I've known him for practically my entire life. Do I want to know when the night ends? No. That ruins the fun. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't really want any backseat gaming, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, uh, that's crazy, dude. So, like, okay. Yeah, because I remember when I was at the Fortnite party with you after E3, and I was like, you know, you were talking to all these people and stuff, and I was like, who the fuck are all these people? And, like, I, I, I guess it was kind of weird, because, like, I don't like Fortnite at all. Well, it's not that I don't like it at all. I just, it's not my cup of tea. And it's just, like, I'm supposed to know who all these streamers are, but at the same time, it's like, I don't. <laughs> You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's been cra it's crazy for sure. I definitely get it. Yeah, <laughs> a bit overwhelming too. Just you know, being there and stuff, and just. Come on, Twitch. especially Luca. Yeah, you can go ahead and link your Twitch. Um, you can post that if you want. You're more than welcome to. To your Twitch, I'll go ahead and post it for you. <laughs> I was say I didn't want to be that guy. Yeah, I mean, like, well, I mean, if if you're, dude, if if you're on my stream, you're more than welcome to go and put your plug. You're not one of those people that just comes in and be like, "Hey guys, check me out," and then just leaves like five minutes He's after. He's self promoting. <laughs> <laughs> He's self promoting. Wait, what? Francisco, your lady actually likes playing GT? I told you she was gonna like playing. I told you to let her play with your steering wheel, and then she'll she'll end up liking it. I think any person that like just like that like does the racing, like if you give them like a like a steering wheel, it makes it like way better. Exactly. Like even if you're new to it. Right, right, right. Like, dude, that's what I'm saying. Like every time, like. Dude, every time my parents have, like, house parties and they have, like, fucking... Oh, on the controller? Well, even then, that's still good that you're at least letting her try it out. And then, you know, she's enjoying it. Dude, you should, like I said, do the endurances with her. That'll be fun. Um, but yeah, every time my parents have, like, a house party or something, they, they always go and, like... They, they always go and say, hey, bring your wheel up. Because, you know, people are going to want to play with it. I'm like, god damn it. But then now that I have the Thrustmaster wheel, I'm like, fuck no. <laughs> like, the TGT, I'm like, no, it's not coming out. Like, like... They're like, well, yeah, look, they can send you another one. I'm like, no, that's not how it works. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, no. 
Right, right, right. Did she wreck my poor Midnight Purple NSX? Oh boy. I'm back. Hey, welcome back, Abstract. Have I heard about the new update for GT Sport? I mean, I've seen the silhouette cars on... Uh, the silhouettes of the cars on Kaz's Twitter. And I, you know, we pretty much know what they are because of the GT Sport World Finals. And we didn't know the new track, so eh, it's not really much of a surprise at this point. Are oh, you playing Fortnite right now? Me? Yeah. Um, currently not at the moment. I'm just watching you. Oh, okay. I thought I could do Fortnite in the background. Unless I'm watching... Unless it's the audio... Oh, that's the audio from... Oh, you're hosting exclusive. And I can hear his audio just barely. Really? Yeah. Is he, oh, that's is what exclusive he, looks like. Is he on the stream right now? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's actually streaming right now. Yeah, that's exclusive streaming. Oh, yeah. Well, let, me, let me make sure I am hosting him because I don't see it on my page. Your mom plays GT better than your girlfriend. <laughs> I don't... My mom's never played GT. Hell, my dad used to play games with me, but then, like, not even now he wants to try them. He's like, eh, I don't really want to try them. I'm too old to play games. I'm like, really? <laughs> Lies! Yeah, exactly. I'm like, games are for everyone. My dad still plays. You know what? I, you know what? You know what, like, tilts me? Oh, these people are virgins. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh my god, that tilts me so hard, bro. I swear to god, like, bro. Yeah. I get more bitches than you, yet I'm the virgin? Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hold me. <laughs> god damn it. Um, let's see here. Has there been any snow maps in GT Sport yet? Nope. There's only like three rally tracks, and they're okay. They're cool rally tracks, but there's no Smoky Mountain, and there's no, there's no Swiss Alps. So I'm like, eh. They're like, whatever. Let me play them. The Lambo truck looks kind of cool, though. Which Lambo truck? The new one. The Earth. Earth. I haven't seen the new one. Let's see here. I'm gonna tag you in one right now on Instagram. Here in Portugal, the ladies. They don't like any of GT, they prefer to be famous by having Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> if that ain't true. Or or or, or a private Snapchat. They're cam girls. <laughs> Let's see here. Um Me and my stepfather must have one console for each of us, otherwise things get messy here. <laughs> Your stepdad's dad's a gamer. Oh, that Lambo's not bad. Listen, man. Okay. Those be scary, bro. I'm telling you. The girls that got the cam, them cam girls be scary, bro. Yeah, I don't, I don't even bother with cam girls, dude. They be scary, Honestly. bro. Oh, that's hard. Wait, have you, have you, did you see it? You think GT Sport will have a Christmas update with five cars, spawn, dynamic weather? Well, I wouldn't really believe that, you know, unless there's evidence for that. I don't really believe what most people speculate. I don't believe speculations because most of the, like, 99% of the time speculations are completely wrong. Bring out the obesity SUV, boys. <laughs> He's talking about that Lambo. <laughs> Dynamic weather isn't going to come to GT Sport. Yep. It's not coming anytime soon. iRacing has dynamic weather, finally. That's like really driving me to get back into eye racing. Oh, cause already yeah, cause already said that dynamic weather isn't the focus in this game. Yeah, oh, there you go. I just tagged you on Instagram. What for the other Lambo? Yeah, the Lambo. I just, I, yeah, I saw I saw both posts. Oh, okay. Dude, it's a really nice Lambo truck. I, I, I for I actually forgot that they actually made trucks. It's like the it's like the first of their kind. Are you sure about that? Because I remember they actually made SUVs or trucks or something back I in the day. I don't remember them making SUVs. It's not that I know of. Hang on, I'll show you. Yeah, show me a link to that. Show me that. Yeah, I did like in the 1980s. Yeah, I, I remember seeing this truck online on the internet before. Look, there's a Wikipedia article about it. Would you, would you, would you date a girl that 
has an Instagram full of people, but it's like an Instagram model. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't know, dude. Like, the, the thing with me is that, like, you know, my thing is, like, I really would, I'd rather date a girl who shares the same interests, so, like, who's into, like, gaming, comic books, cars, that kind of stuff. Oh, okay, it doesn't have to be all, now, what it doesn't have is. to, okay, well, what if she is? Okay. I would. You know why? Because I'm not the jealous type. Like, you can have a shit ton of followers, you can have all these guys fucking try to slide into your DMs all the time, but I'm not fucking jealous, you know what I mean? It, like, I, I, ex you know, I, I don't really get jealous if a girl, like, if, if a girl of mine has guys friends, a guy friends, you know what I mean? I don't really give a fuck. Because you're in a relationship for a reason, right? Like, right. So, what about you? Depends. Probably. You'd have a problem with it? Not, I mean, not really. I think it just depends on, like, how crazy, you know? Well, how about this? Would you rather, would you date a girl who's a porn star? Mm, that definitely depends. <laughs> that definitely depends. But it's just a profession. That they love you, they seriously love you. But it's a profession at the same time. Right. That's how they bring money, and that's how they bring food to the table. Well, you know what? If, if, if well, she ain't wifey, so it's not really. I'd be like, all right. <laughs> she ain't wifey. She's, you know. But what if she's like a hardcore porn star? She's just like hardcore porn. Yeah. She does like oh. multiple partners oh. and stuff. <laughs> like some Gianna Michael shit. <laughs> 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 I know she's done a cream pie video. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. That, that crosses the line. I'm out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> out, sir. Have yeah. a good day. Have, have a good luck with the rest of your life. Hey, good luck with your profession. Hey, you know what I'm saying? But like, I'm, I'm out. Right. <laughs> Dude, I haven't even caught up with the chat. Let's see here. The reaching has been reached. <laughs> you have a shirt saying, da Danger, jealous boyfriend close to you. <laughs> but yeah, dude, when are you back in California? Tomorrow. Nice, dude. Nice. We gotta hit up the LA Auto Show when you get here, dude. I'm down. Let's get it. I'm trying to. Uh, I'm, trying to I'm trying to tell Porsche and Audi. Y'all looking for y'all next person? I'm here. <laughs> I'm gonna need two in my garage stat. <laughs> Just like BMW when they sent you that M4. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Damn, we only have about. 30, 35 more minutes for this video recording because I'm actually doing six hours for uh, I'm doing six hour um, sp splits for this 24 hour race. So hours one through six, hours seven through 12, hours 13 through 18, and then hours 19 through 24 for all 24 hours because YouTube can only upload 12 hour videos. And there's ways to do upload 24 hour videos, but you have to like compress the video down a really? lot. And I don't feel like doing that, you know, because you like lose the quality and whatnot. And I record videos at a high quality. I record videos at like 720p or 1080p. Really? I record them at 720p and then I render them at 1080 for whatever reason. I don't know why. It doesn't gotcha. do anything, but yeah. All right, Lucas. See you later, man. Have a good one. You have a plastic guitar, so you get all the blow up girls. Nice. Ah! <laughs> God damn it, Francisco. But yeah, how big is the lead now? It's still only a lap? What? It can't be. Oh, okay, we're chasing down. Okay, Alonzo's barely gonna uh, lap the second place car. Okay. Okay, we've already lapped the car that's in third place. Or did we? Let's see here. Fourth? Third? Hmm. Man. Yeah, second place is going down that mini straight. 
Alonzo just entered the straightaway, so I think we'll be able to catch up. You know, it's actually weird though, I'm actually, since I have you as a guest, I'm actually playing this game with no audio. I mean, obviously the streamers can, the, the viewers can hear the audio and there's audio on the recording, but I don't have my, you know, headphones plugged into my TV, so I'm hearing this game with absolutely no sound. Which you don't need sound for this mode, but really, it's still kind of weird, you know? Because all you really have to do is just direct the drivers and like tell them what to do. So like, there's four different or there's six different buttons for the endurance races. Four for regular races. Uh, there's pace down, which okay, let me explain this in a little bit more detail. So look at the screen right now. Let me know when you're on the stream itself. Yeah, I'm on the stream. Okay. Do you see the driver's name F Alonzo there, and do you see the little bar on the bottom that's like blue to red? I see it. I see it. So that's their emotions. So if it's all the way in the blue. They're really slow, but they're really calm. If they're in the red, they're going really fast, but they're more prone to make mistakes. Got it. And then on the right, you can see his strength, which is his physical strength, and you can see his mental strength, which is obviously his mental strength. Now, the four commands are this. Pace down, which is self-explanatory. These are all self-explanatory, by the way. Pace down, which means like slow down your, your pace. And then ma maintain pace, which is keep the pace you have. Pace up, which is telling them to go faster. And then overtake, which is telling them to pass the cars ahead of you, or try to. But, blue equals TMC mode, red equals ambush mode. <laughs> <laughs> I like no that. No kidding, dude. I like that. No, <laughs> no kidding, Francisco. But the thing is that it's all situational. So if you have cars ahead of you, or if, I mean, if they have cars ahead of them or cars behind them, even if you tell them to calm down, they won't calm down. Really? You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. It, the, the system in this game is kind of complex. And it sucks because they never brought it back in the future games. Wow. I mean, GT6 has a B-Spec mode as well, but it's not as in-depth as this one. That's crazy. Yeah, dude. So I'm actually having a lot of fun doing this. And to be honest with you, um, this race, like, my drivers don't even meet the level requirement here. But because the car is so good at this track, they have a whole, what, two laps ahead of the entire lead. And they're going to level up a lot, so they're going to be probably really good drivers by the end of the game, you know? Like, they're going to be, like, exceptional. Except in 2011, where they s stay blue because the car is auto-driving from the driver being passed out. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of reminds me of when I did the Indy 500 in this game, and then uh, Alonzo had no mental or, or physical strength left, and then you have, my buddy UFC veteran was like, imagine Fernando getting out of the car, it's like, are you okay? He's like, Ugh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, because I actually made him do the race with like, I made him do the final last with like no strength whatsoever, because he had like a low level. Really? Yeah. But the thing is that it, obviously if their strength and their, their physical and mental strength are down, they're just gonna fuck up all the time, so they're gonna like hit the walls and stuff. So that's why when it gets too low, you gotta slow them down. Got it. Wow, that's damn. That's a lot to kind of. Okay. Yeah, like right now, like um, he's losing mental strength, so I'm starting to slow him down a little bit more. And he just finally lapped the uh, the second place car, so now he's two laps down. We're on lap 72. They're on lap 70, and um. Yeah, I'm trying to get him to calm down a bit so that way he doesn't screw up. Because since this race is going to be just kind of a snooze fest, what I'm planning on doing is this. I think after maybe hour six or hour seven or something, I might just let him, I might just let the team run by themselves. Even if they run a slow pace, we'll just let them put laps in. Because, dude, doing this race for 24 hours straight without you driving is going to be brutal, you know? Right, right, right. That makes sense. And, you know, I'll just post, you know, I'll just maybe do some post commentary and say, like, you know, the, the next couple hours will just be by themselves, so blah, blah, blah. Enjoy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Gotcha. Yeah, exactly. Like, like that's... Because, dude, like, like, I'm trying to figure this out, too. It's like, I knew this was probably going to be the most boring part of the race, but it's like, that's why I wanted to have a guest, because I was like, you know what? Got to mix it up, you know? Got to mix it up. Also, why is it my last name purple in the stream? Chat XD. <laughs> <laughs> I think my name is purple because I like the yellow font for the regular commentator or regular commenters and then blue for admins and then I'm pink. Just to tell it apart. Pink! <laughs> so yeah, um yours is pink. Yeah, mine is pink. 
So for this stream, I think I'm going to end the stream after the sixth hour. Like once we hit hour number six, I'm probably going to call the stream off because I just got a text. My brother is going to be coming home soon, so no streaming. But I'm going to let the race run and I'm going to record the footage still in case anybody really wants to watch it. And even if we lose our laps, who cares? I mean, you know, we'll get them back because, dude, we're, our cars are unstoppable. Our cars are unstoppable in the rain. Uh, no, this is part of the career mode. Oh, uh, okay, cool. So you can, like, pause it, save it. You can't have purple because I'm not supplying enough GT photos? Uh, yeah, exactly. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, the, the, the thing... You can stick around? Uh, I mean, I don't really want to stream if I'm just not going to commentate. That's the thing. You know, so I'll just do a regular recording. Um, no, the thing is, is that, like... I can't change the colors for specific people. It's weird because... I tried using Streamlabs comments, you know, comment system or whatever, but it really sucks on YouTube. Yeah. Streamlabs is more meant for Twitch, so I've just found this, like, online website where I can have um, my comments show up, I can customize my comments, but it sucks because you can only limit comment or comment colors to, to roles, so uh, obviously just regular subscribers and then admins and then hosts. It, it really gotcha. sucks, but it, yeah. Yeah, and, and it needs a role thing, dude. That that website really needs to do some role stuff. But yeah, man, hopefully Streamlabs can fix their stuff because, like, at least with YouTube, it sucks. Twitch, it's, like, instant. Just instantly comments show, uh, show up. On YouTube, they take, like, forever. On, um, Restream, it's so delayed. Like, really? Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, unfortunately. Also, why is there a good generation Viper there? Why? Well, back marker's sake, I guess. <laughs> There's two. There's two Vipers here. They're both running in 11th and 12th place. And the reason why is because they're not prototypes. Everyone else is driving a prototype car. Well, I don't know if a McLaren F1 is considered a prototype and R390. There's like, I don't remember what these were called. GT900 or LMP900 or whatever the hell. But yeah. Uh, let's see here. Lap 73. Oh, prototype. <laughs> you know what I love is that vibe where the dude's like ginger white ginger white good lord the F1 was just a race car yeah exactly yeah uh, GT1 cars there you go thanks abstract appreciate it anyways um so yeah dude what are your plans for next year like can you talk about any of that, or do you have anything going on yet, or... Let's see. Works? So, the goal... Well, okay, so here's what's going on. So the goal is a lot of shit, actually. The goal is to travel... To, the goal is to get my YouTube, like, in terms of the, um... What do you call it? Like, kickstarted? Because, like... Not, not kickstarter, but, you know, like, get it started up and running because yeah, like, like, you've been filming the, yeah, you've been filming course. vlogs but nothing's been going on with yeah, that the goal is to get the vlogs going by next year to get some really really good stuff um we might be actually siding with the media company to where they'll actually be filming my vlog stuff for my channel oh really so I'll, have, I thought... I'll, so I'll have a dedicated view of editors a, a dedicated dedicated editor and videographers that'll help shoot us. Oh, no way. Hey, Barney, what's up? And then I'm hopefully... The goal is to try to travel to three places next year. So far, Tokyo might already be confirmed for the Olympics. Tokyo? Yes. Oh, you just travel or, like, business-related? Both. Oh. Big both. Big both. Oh, because you said you're gonna, you, you might sign with a media company. Yes, but but that'll be out here. What I mean is is that is out there. That's for the Olymp for the Olympics. Yes. Wait, the Olympics are twenty nineteen. Yes. Oh shit! I thought they were in twenty twenty. No, I thought it was. I thought it was. Uh... No, the Olympics are uh... next year. Oh shit! Okay. But wait, aren't, aren't isn't skateboarding now a um, Olympic sport? Yeah, so they're, they're and, and that's why you you're going for skating related stuff, right? Uh, something like that, yeah. But but my team, RJ and them, they actually represent like twenty five different um com like different people that compete. Holy shit! Yeah, in all different types of categories, so it's more than just 
it's more than just that, you know? Damn, dude, that's that's insane. <laughs> so the other two would be Australia, and um, I'm hopefully like Italy. Yo, dude, that that would be sick. So that's the so the so the the the, the those uh, is those three, and then kind of like you know go from there and such and do that whole stuff. But it's it it so far it's already looking pretty good. The goal is to to gain like different. The goal is to gain five different. That's more than just my gaming stuff. Um, the goal is to get the new computer rigs, make a million dollars in gross revenue, which that's gonna be tough. Um, <laughs> that will be tough. Have though. different type of shoots. Um, build on my followers for Instagram, Twitch, and. T um. Increase social and lifestyle equity. That's what he put. I don't know what that means. Um, hey, I'm um, sorry. Pause that for a minute. I'm actually getting a phone call. Can you entertain my chat for a bit? Pausing. Yes. All right. Thanks. Uh, um, make some more music. Get some more stuff. That's like the whole thing. You're still live on mic. Yeah, so we're going, we're, you know, we got a lot of stuff on the table. We're going to figure this out. We're going to figure this out. <laughs> Ambush mine taking me to Tokyo. Hey, if we can get the, we can get the charter jet, let's get it. We can get the big old jet. I've never flown private. The goal is also to fly private next year too. I've never done that before. That would be a big factual leap for that somehow. We'll figure it out. It's gonna take some time. That's what we gonna figure out. How's it feel being a real actor? Um, it's interesting, you know, it's enjoyable, um, there's a lot of stuff, it, there's always something new, it's, you know, it, it definitely is kind of, definitely struggling sometimes, but then other times it's like awesome too, you know, just, it's just, a, it's, it's a lot to take in, you know, it's a lot of hard work, some people think it's easy, but it's really, it's really not, that's actually pretty tough, it's a crazy, crazy business. It's almost like hitting the lottery. I tell people. Sometimes, like when you hit a, um, like I tell people, sometimes it's like, imagine like hitting the, imagine hitting the lotto. It's rare. I feel like acting sometimes is similar to that. It's not easy, bro. It's tough. It's tough out here, man. It ain't easy, bro. I think the only thing that's funny is seeing that people live stream on Twitter. Like, who live streams on Twitter? <laughs> uh, I live stream on Twitter. That's a lie. <laughs> nah, I know. <laughs> Wait, but doesn't Twitter have their own uh, live streaming service, like Periscope or something? Something like that. But who uses fucking Periscope? Who uses Facebook to live stream? <laughs> <laughs> the only person that I ever that I know who does. Uh, Periscope is JC, but that's it. I've never seen anyone else use Periscope at all. My sister told me about that, and I was like, "Oh, that's cool." Yeah. Not <laughs> F1 uses Periscope. Ugh. What? <laughs> Formula One uses Periscope to stream stuff. Sometimes. Well, that's why they're losing viewers. They need to be on Instagram. What? The hell? Well, no, they do Instagram Live as well. I think they use like. I think they simultaneously use Instagram, Periscope, YouTube. They use a bunch of stuff at the same time, I think. Well, Periscope became a meme here in Spain. You know what? You know what app really pisses me off, to be honest, like social media wise? What's that? TikTok. <laughs> I, I can't stand it, dude. 
I, I have little, I have nieces who use TikTok, dude, and it's so annoying. And like they, they were using, they were doing some like duet or like song singing shit in my house once when they were like over, and I and and like they were like, like I, I was like, what are you guys doing? They're like, oh, we're doing TikTok. I'm like, you you guys are gonna. I was like, dude, you guys are gonna regret this for the rest of your fucking life. Trust me. Like, I'm, I'm like, watch, you guys are gonna end up on, like, they were like, just like, shut up, because I told them, like, you guys are just gonna end up on some cringe compilation, and then you're gonna get made fun of, and then you're gonna find that video eventually in your life, and then you're gonna start getting angry that people are making fun of you, but you're making an ass out of yourself, you know? <laughs> Honestly, like, I'm trying to save them from embarrassment. And then, what happened? <laughs> people who use TikToks are virgins for life. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started on TikTok. Go ahead, Abstract. Vent. <laughs> TikTok. Vent for TikTok. I never use TikTok, nor will I ever work. I was like, why is this a thing, bro? Yeah, dude, I thought Musical.ly was bad, but TikTok's even worse. <laughs> Musical.ly? Oh, <laughs> wow, Musical.ly. Dude, I would just rather get my MySpace account back from like, when I was a kid. Thank you. With, with what we originally had back in... Oh yeah, you know, like my my good old Paul Wall song on my goddamn page, you know, like right. cringe shit like that. Favorite Christmas movie? Um, good question. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. You know, to be honest, I'm not much of a holiday theme kind of person you know, when it comes to movies and film. I guess Home Alone is one of them, but I don't know. Like, I love that shit. Charlie Brown Christmas. Christmas. Okay, yeah, Charlie's Brown Christmas. Yeah, Home Alone, I like. Um, I can't really say they're favorites of mine, but I, I like to occasionally watch them on some Christmases. They go hard. TikTok is just pure why. <laughs> Virginia is implanted <laughs> on their why. brains as soon as they log onto TikTok. <laughs> why? Oh my god. Yeah, fucking TikTok. Yeah, dude, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to think about other other cringy ass social media platforms from back then like that just came and went like tiktok is well tiktok is kind of here to stay i guess because they they have a lot of users but musically uh, i always thought it was bad i never liked vine to be honest vine was sick i kind of liked it i think creatively it was it was pretty cool there was a lot of genuine funny people on 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 vine i don't know why they just kind of just disappeared though like, at the top I mean, of their game, but, like, you know, whatever. I mean, maybe maybe it's just me. Maybe it's not my style of humor. I just felt like... I just felt like some of the people on Vine, like, a lot of people were getting popular just weren't funny, in my opinion. And, like, you, it was hard to find a lot of, like, the funny talent out there on Vine, you know? Was... Musical.ly is TikTok in disguise. Yeah, dude. Like, that's why I was just like, I thought Musical.ly was bad, but TikTok is just even worse. <laughs> And every time I think about TikTok, I always think about that damn song. Uh, what, how does it go? It's like, TikTok on the clock and the party don't stop. Whoa. You know what I'm talking about? Kesha? Yes, Kesha, that's right. <laughs> I always think about Kesha. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. Oh, that just made my day. That's all I think about, dude. Like, I like, I'm like, is this like some sort of Kesha app? But no, it's just, it, it's I don't know what it, I don't even know what to think about it, dude. I'm like, this is just stupid. You know what I think about whenever I think of Kesha now? Besides that song, I think that about it's going down. I'm going timber. Oh God, <laughs> not that fucking song. It's going <laughs> down. I'm going timber. Dude, I would just rather listen to Friday. By Rebecca Black over and over again, and that shit. I, I would rather hear um, <laughs> Timber over Friday. <laughs> Come on, dude. Friday's at least fun to make fun of, especially the dude rapping at the end. <laughs> no, bro. No. <laughs> it's just funny just to go, I'm going Timber! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. It's Timber is the code word for boner now because of ambush. <laughs> I'm going Timber! <laughs> yeah, Friday, Friday, gotta come on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, 
God damn, dude. <laughs> I was looking kind of dumb with a finger in the thumb of a shape of an L. Well, the years start coming, they don't stop. You know, they don't stop. you know what's funny? They don't Smash stop. Mouth, <laughs> Smash Mouth actually played a, uh, a, a concert at, at, at the NASCAR race in Fontana. No, right. At, at Auto Club Speedway, and, like, Diego saw them, and we were just like... Are there any like real Smash Mouth fans? Like, who can sit there and just be like, "Yeah, Smash Smash Mouth is my shit, dude." Like, like besides that one song. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Besides people who watch like Shrek as a fucking kid. That's so funny. But yeah, somebody. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't the oh, in the shit. Who can smash their mouths? <laughs> smash Mouth. The micro, uh, Gus says the microphone makes the best part of make it. The microphone is the best part that makes him laugh because how how loud you are on the mic. Wait, what? Yeah, so Gus is saying that like that just the microphone's like echo of how loud you are is is what's making him laugh his ass off. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> it's all good, man. It's all good. But yeah, um, dude, do you remember the jerking movement? The what was it? You remember the that. Do you remember jerks? Jerk? Yeah, do you remember jerking? Do oh, remember yeah, dance? The dance! Oh my god, that's just something else I thought about too, dude. Just cringy ass, like, trends and shit, dude. Like, oh my god. Did you ever do that dance? I, you know what was funny? I did, but I wanted to, like, fit in. And I think what was funny about that was I so wanted to fit in that I started jerking, even though I was skating. Like, you know, I was deep in skateboarding. Everybody, yeah. everybody around me stopped skateboarding for jerking. I never understood it. So, as I was skating alone, everybody was over on the other side, like, learning how to jerk for some random reason. And it was weird because everybody was trying to get sponsored through jerking. Like, yeah, this is going to be a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Francisco's like, I started jerking Ambush 2018. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I started jerking. <laughs> 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 but yeah, like, it was one of those things where I was like, I, I joined in on it, but, but I wasn't, like, good. I was, like, okay at it. And then... I just was like, fuck it. Like, I, I continue to skate. I continue to skate. I got better. Eventually, I started to hang out with people. I went to Cherry. And I met, like, a whole new community. And it's funny because now they look at me and they're like, yo, you still skateboard? I'm like, yeah. Now, sometimes I ask them, y'all still jerking? <laughs> <laughs> dude, that trend died, like, in a year. That dude. trend died I, I, as quick I, as it created itself. I remember one of the biggest teams, dude, one of the biggest jerking teams actually got on Univision and they thought they were hot shit for that and then like they all like disbanded after like a month, dude, and they were like nowhere to be found anymore. Oh. I leave for a bit, come back to jerking. Well, not what I expected to hear. Well, Mushy, <laughs> th that's the craziness that is my stream. Just my stream is very disorganized and it's NSFW sometimes. Yeah. You know how it be. But yeah, just uh, since you're overseas, Jerking was a stupid dance, like, back in, like, 2008 or 2009, and it was only popular for a certain amount of time. And it was mainly because of a song. Like, one song kind of made it, like, a thing. Oh, that, that New Boy song. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's oh, really kind God. Of like what it was. God, dude, that... It was funny, though. It was really <laughs> funny. That shit was awesome. <laughs> that shit was forever funny. I was like, oh yeah, that's a thing. Cool. Awesome. A song a song made jerking a thing. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty One much. fucking song, yeah. And then that group created that damn dance. And then every, and all the kids in the school wanted to follow and be cool. Welcome to the jungle. They were like, <laughs> yeah, we're awesome because we can jerk. And they were doing like these weird dance moves. And I remember one of my friends successfully did get sponsored by, you know, remember Volato Footwear? <laughs> A lot of footwear. Yeah, and they had like really shitty shoes, like big, like like different bright colors. Remember ice creams? Oh my god, dude. Yeah, and they used to get sponsored by ice creams and shit. And yeah, 
Yeah, bro. Let me just go. Let me go quickly. Put on my fucking oversized Lakers shirt with like my my Lakers jersey with my Mark Echo pants and my my Hurricane shoes, bro. Give me a second. It was like one of those. Like it was crazy, bro. I'm telling you. Oh god, dude. Like now, I, ice creams, dude. Didn't Pharrell make ice creams a thing? I think he did. Yeah, dude. But like, but then now look at the shoes that he makes. His shoes are sick. Like. <laughs> But back then it was like, <laughs> dude, the ice creams are stupid. Yeah. I can imagine all the jerking jokes when this came out by people who didn't know the meaning of jerking. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> it was great. I know, right, Arthur? <laughs> oh god, it was much. fantastic. Fuck, dude. Let's just say it would have made your entire year. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> oh my god, it was so fantastic. Plus. It was one of those things where it was just like, it was so crazy that you just met, like, I remember how crazy that was. So as I got better at skating, everybody like stopped skating. Like everybody just around me just stopped skating. And it was funny because I got good. I started to skate with like pros and everybody and they're like, bro, you skate? Like, man, I remember when I was skating, <laughs> which... I remember yeah. when I was skating. Yeah, because it was like, yeah, you could have still skated, but you decided not to because you liked fucking jerking that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jerking is contagious, my friend. <laughs> it was. Dude, it was weird. It sounds like he's an addict to jerking. It was weird, bro. <laughs> That's all I gotta say is it was wor weird. But... <laughs> I will say this though. Um, yeah, Francisco, actually, Francisco said it right. Back then, jerking was a dance. Now it's a certain move. <laughs> <laughs> That's back to what it originally was. That's. Oh, God, dude. Oh, so what were you going to say? I'm sorry. I forgot at this point. We went deep into jerking, and now that shit's just funny to me. <laughs> No, I thought that shit was super funny. I was like, this is a thing? This is what we're doing? Really? Cool. <laughs> oh my god, dude. This is what we're supposed All right, guys, to do. so I'm going to go ahead and end this stream and obviously video recording when we hit about the six hour mark. Because, yeah, I mean, um, you know, my family's going to come back home soon. And also, yeah, I'm just going to let the race run. Obviously, start a new recording for hours 7 through 12 of this video or this little mini series for the 24 hours of Le Mans. you know gotta do our thing gotta do the race as much as i want to stick around for the entirety of the race i don't really want to <laughs> i didn't expect i didn't i really didn't expect like alonzo kobayashi and weber to have a two lap lead over the rest of the field two laps well it doesn't show yet because nobody's really crossed the line yet but two laps on the entire field like holy shit they really dominate this race for the first six hours so they're gonna do just fine without my help you know at the very end obviously if the racing was really tight like if we were battling for the lead every time i think i would stick around but i think the rain is actually helping us out because maybe in the corners you know we're telling alonso and the other guys to gun it while everyone else is really going slow around the corners because they don't want to you know spin out when it's raining this hard right yeah imagine when you're in the 80s back in my day we all we had was jerking and we liked it <laughs> 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 Freaking mushy. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, Drake was definitely yeah. a thing. People won't admit it back then, but I wonder what the yeah. earliest. I wonder what the earliest like, like the earliest of masturbation was. I'm curious. <laughs> the earliest of masturbation. What was the earliest? Oh, okay. It's not like we were talking about you know jerking. Off, yeah, we were talking about. Yeah, we were talking about the dance, dude. Jerking. That's. I don't know where you're going with that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, really? Oh, okay. So I'm the only one? Did you get hidden? No. <laughs> no, you didn't get hidden at all. Unless you hit it, unless you hide him, Dobby. You're hiding Francisco. You have the power to ban people now. Oh, really? Yeah, I made you a mod. Oh, right. I saw that. Wait, what do you mean hidden, though? What did I do? Well, uh, no, you didn't do anything. I was messing with you. Francisco's asking if you got hidden. I guess you made a comment and it didn't appear. Which oh. YouTube sometimes be like that. Your last comments didn't appear? Dude, that's really odd. Like, they didn't appear at all. It's it's a YouTube thing. I know some other people on my chat were having issues with that as well, but yeah, it's a completely... It's a YouTube thing. I don't know why. 
YouTube is being done. So Kobayashi's taking the wheel for this next stint. And yeah, let's go ahead and get him to pace up in the pits. So yeah, one strategy too is when they're pitting and then they're taking fuel, you gotta pace them up while they're, you gotta tell them to go faster in the pits so that way their emotions can be to the red. So that way they can just start putting in fast laps right away. Because gotcha. if you leave them in the blue, they'll just go really slow around the corners. Yeah. But at this point of the race, we have a huge lead, so it doesn't really matter. You know, we can lose some time. <laughs> some time. Can figure it out. Why is it not appearing? I don't know, Francisco. It's just like Mushy said, it's YouTube being YouTube, unfortunately. I didn't do it! <laughs> I didn't do it! I don't so we got two more minutes left in this video and slash stream. Got any last words you want to say before? Um. Uh, give probably, yourself, give yourself a plug. I'd probably give yourself a quick plug. I'd probably say something simple like the, all the aliens in the world are gonna uh, enslave us all. Um, we'll be like Bender and Fry in the year 2024. Um, we're all gonna die. I'm <laughs> um, yes, we all will. <laughs> we're all dead. Um, you know, just you know, make sure to. Follow my social medias um, at official Dabier, D A B I E R, and Ambush King, which you guys already saw the link to it on my Twitch. I actually, I think my first stream will be Monday when I fly back home. I think I'm probably going to do a full 24 hour stream. Um, it's going to be fun. I'm just going to just goof around and just have a good time. I miss you, fuckers, so I'm ready to go back and do all that. And um, I'll probably start racing pretty soon with, with my boy, Chicane. Um, and all the other boys, yep. And definitely all the other guys, for sure. I need to get back into it. It'd be fun to get back into that whole craziness. And yeah, I'm, uh, I'm definitely ready to get back into the madness. So uh, you know, let's uh, let, let's get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just sent you a message on Discord. Just give me some specific instructions. Don't read them out loud, or else you will be banned. Or else we'll all die. <laughs> last words. Any last words for any of you before we end this video slash stream slash everything? You give up on YouTube. Bush the 9-11. Okay, last word. <laughs> <laughs> the FBI is going to come to your door now. Yeah. I think we all know that I, one. I give up on YouTube comments or else we will have to jerk our timbers. Tell us to, to jerk our timbers. <laughs> it's going down. <laughs> I'm going timber. I want, I want two number nines. All right, guys. So that will do it for this video. <laughs> next time <laughs> on... Nice. Next time on... Grand Turismo 5 B-Spec, it'll be hours 7 through 12, so see you then.